Okay, can you guys hear me? We have, we have been having some technical difficulties, okay? I have not streamed in uh, three years, actually, since, like, the whole Kai stuff, I think. So, uh, bear with me. Hopefully my mic isn't isn't shit. Can, can everyone hear me? 52 people. Oh, fucking nice. Okay. So, we got quite a bit to talk about, if you guys can hear me. Uh, a lot has happened. A lot has happened. We've got uh, all right, fantastic. Let's 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 get her going. Um, uh, relentless savagery time, indeed, indeed, Mary Puppins, indeed. So what's what's gone? Uh, what's basically happened is uh, there was an announcement in Senate, and I, let me see if I can pull that announcement up for you all. Um, I was tagged. I was tagged in it. Now hold on, here it is. Oh, it's Fruitcake Leaks has it right here. Hold on, let me see if I can shimmy it over here. I would be using uh, OBS, but um, OBS and Discord and YouTube all going at the same time would like, I don't know if you guys were there when I streamed like three years ago, but it absolutely ham fisted my fucking laptop. So uh, not going to work this time. But um, let me see if I can pull this up, get a, a good uh, yeah present here, uh, share screen. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and close Discord. Um, how do I share a specific screen? Can I even do that? Can I even, I don't know if I can do that. Well, of course everyone's streaming. It's fucking insane what's going on. Um, it, it's actually, it's, it's, when I said this was a shitstorm, I had no fucking clue this, this, all this was going to happen and unfold. Uh, but it's, it's, um, it's something. So. Let me see if I can uh, I can um I can present this to you all. What is a slide? Oh, that's a Google slide. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Um, share screen. It, it would be nice. Yeah, yeah. Let's let's share this one. Okay. So can you guys see it? Let me check real quick if you guys can see it. Can you can you guys see my Twitter? Uh, the document is on Twitter. Gilded Pooh actually made a tweet containing all three of them. But uh, for for context, we're going to start right at the beginning. Oh, it's blurry. All the stuff lost and not archived. Okay, all right. So here is the the posts. We have um. We have a, basically an announcement, which is Lumi making an announcement to everyone, adding everyone in the peanuts, talking about, uh, well, if I can read it, read it here. Um, uh, hold on. You know what? I got a better idea because this, this sucks. This actually sucks. I have a better idea. I, I bet he did. I bet he fucking did. Of course he did. Hold on. Uh, stop sharing. All right, we're gonna we're gonna try this I, again. Chat. I'm very sorry. I haven't done this in such a long time. It has been a, a good a good um a good sec. So um, bear with me, please. Please bear with me. Okay, it's WB. All right. So we're gonna go with this one. Yeah, this is the first one. All right. So let me know if you guys can see it. Yes. All right. Um, so let's let's get to reading. Hello, all. This is the last you'll be seeing of me in Senate in any associated circles. And this may come as a, as a surprise, but it's something that I've been thinking about for a while. And given how things are going now, I feel it isn't right for me to stick around when I've made my morals crystal clear. Oh, we're, we're getting a, a moral grandstanding moment. Here we go. None of this is influenced by the claims coming out coming out about Lyle. None. It is my personal experience as well as a compilation of events I'm after uh, I'm after witnessing of events I'm after witnessing within Senate what happened without my knowledge. I cut off multiple people who acted that way in the past, and it would be absolutely hypocritical for me to keep Lyle around, especially given the flashbang, especially given the absolute flashbang the various older messages truly were. Definitely puts that call that's linked in the, in the statement into a whole new perspective. It took a whole lot of deep thinking 
and looking over what I've seen, and I'm not happy at all. Below, I have linked a more raw statement in relation to my feelings on the matter, as well as a statement from Aaron on their departure from the Senate server and the abuse they've endured. Goodbye, everyone, and take care. My statement. So let me move this over real quick. And then uh, afterwards, I'll, I'll pay attention to chat. Present. Share screen. Well, I would imagine she would be. I'm going to be honest with you. I'd imagine she would be. This is, like, this is a shit show. So here it is. My statement. Below, you'll find Aaron's statement. I was asked to pass this along. This is Aaron. The reason I'm leaving Senate and why I have purged all my social media is to get away from Lyle Convoy. It has taken me a long time to realize the abuse didn't stop and to say to myself that Thomas Guerrera is an abuser. Now, apparently you're, you're supposed to roll the R there. Uh, unfortunately, I kind of speak like a gringo, as Lyle would put it. So uh, I'm not going to try it. And this is my final statement. And the last you'll hear from me. Hopefully I don't get doxxed for daring to read this. We'll see. We'll see. Um, so there's been three Google documents, okay, that have been shared. There have been three Google documents that's been shared in total. And it's, uh, it's something else. It's, uh, they've actually, you know what, I'm going to, I'm going to invite Kumo on real quick and we're going to get a good kick out of it. We're going to read it and get a good kick out of it. Um, because it's, it's something else. Let me read chat real quick. Oh, yeah, no, Peach has suddenly left after the FCK stuff, like literally right after. But we're supposed to believe that it's because of Lyo being abusive, which I'm not going to, you know, necessarily deny, but I'm also not going to entirely agree with because I don't know jack shit about it. So uh, let me let me get the let me get my 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 partner in crime here, Kumo, up on this up out of the stage and onto this one. You there? Uh, Yeah, yeah. Hello. Hello. What are your thoughts on all this? <laughs> uh, I called it. Yeah, you did. Yeah, yeah, absolutely did. We had a conversation about that before. We were wondering who's going to throw who under the bus first. Yeah. But, I mean, I, I already said, like, she can't afford to, to lose her channel. She doesn't have a fucking job. Well, I, I don't believe for a fucking second. I tell you this right now, Chad. It, it, she's not staying gone. Peaches is not staying gone. It's not happening. It is not fucking happening. Well, I mean, why else would she have doubled down on everything she's been under fire for? If she doesn't on top of on the fact, staying. you know what? I don't want to spoil. I don't want to spoil. So, you know, what? we're going to get into which statement you think we should get into first. The Lyo statement, the cosmic bye-bye, which is another good one, or the or Peach's one, which is the last note for Senate. What, what, chat, which one would you like for, for, me, for me to get into first? Vote. Give me a one, a two, and a three. Do you have it up so you can start a poll? Uh, shit. Uh, can I even start a poll? Oh, I don't yeah. know if I have that option with uh, StreamYard. Uh, you can. It's it's a YouTube. So if you open up the thing so you can view your chat in YouTube. So I would just go open up Studio. Damn you, Alex. That's not an option. I would just open up uh, your live stream in, stu in YouTube Studio. Okay, I'm seeing a lot can... of threes. And I don't think we'll have to do it that way. I, you'll show me later, though. All right. All right. Threes? Yeah, I think I think we're getting... Yeah, yeah. Peach, people want peaches first. All right. We'll do peaches first. We'll do peaches first. Um, so here's the document. Uh, let me pull this thing up. Let me get rid of these other tabs. I don't really want to stress my laptop too much. My poor little laptop. All right. Uh, present. Share screen. Last note for Senate. Okay. Can you see it? Yeah. Okay. Hey, this is Hopeless Peaches, and this is the last time you'll hear from me. You'll hear from me. That's a fucking lie. First off, I, I want to again apologize for my part in the Rosa call in 2022. I wanted to state so earlier, but everything else that piled on since since made me shut down. And well, here we are. If you've been in Senate for a while, you'd know of the Rosa call and that I've regretted that call daily and genuinely done what I can do to change the servers so that it could never happen again. I don't know what happened for me to be so out of character as to allow that, let alone join in, but it doesn't erase the call though. And that's why I've pushed myself, but I can't push myself or Senate anymore. 
the reason I'm leaving Senate and why I've purged all my social media is to get away from Lyle Convoy and to find myself again. Oh, how wonderful. What a, what a wonderful retreat. You got to find yourself. I used to say that I had been abused online for 10 years straight, but it has taken me a long time to realize the abuse didn't stop. And to say to myself that Lyle Convoy, Thomas Guerrero, is an abuser. It's scary to admit it, but I feel it's true. He isn't a child predator that I'm aware of, as some people have claimed. I, who the fuck has claimed that? But that doesn't mean he's some savior of the innocent, either. Thomas Guerrero is a man who has taken in vulnerable, pe vulnerable people, most he knew as minors, who have trauma relating to sexual abuse by older men to fulfill his fantasy of a perfect family. All of us had been sexually abused by older parental figures. Jordan, Jay, Opal, and myself, my groomer, posed the same family dynamic. Recently, I have found out that Thomas tried to push the push two other young, barely legal AFABs, that's a female at birth, I, th I think, who were specifically groomed by Joshua Vita, Thomas Guerrero's ex-friend, into this dynamic too, then treated them like shit when they refused. All of us AFAB and all of us with deep-rooted trauma that made us susceptible to further abuse. Thomas used that to his advantage to play house, and if you didn't act how he wanted you to, he would verbally and mentally beat you down into a pulp. This is a pattern, and I didn't see it until now. I want to stop here, Chad. I want to stop here and, and, and make note of something. So she says that this is a pattern, and she didn't notice it until now. And me personally, I don't buy it. For, for one main reason, you're telling me you're watching because we're going to treat them like a family. They want us to treat them like a family because it's completely normal, right? When you're sitting there watching your, 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 uh, your siblings on the receiving end of the abuse and you're mocking them and laughing at them. And then when, when, it's, when you're at the receiving end of it, suddenly it's an issue. You didn't notice it then? You, what you were hee-heeing and ha ha at? You, you just didn't notice it then? That's what that's what we're supposed to believe. Yeah, because we have like screenshots that contradict like pretty much everything she's trying to like uh, like this entire like narrative she's making here. There's have, like... I remember there's one where I think she drew uh, Jordan, right? Jordan. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, and was well, mocking Jordan. Well, she. Uh, never mind. I would be spoiling it. I think it's funnier that if I, I think it'd be funnier that I let you get to that part. <laughs> but but there's another. We have another thing related to Jordan that um or somewhat related to Jordan that kind of spits in the face of this entire statement. Oh, okay. So should I continue? Uh, well, I think right now something you should have pointed out was, um, was how she said that they, she's since she's since regretted that Rosa call and tried to make changes accordingly in the Senate. Uh, but in this, in this document, uh, I have to spoil it. In this document, she doubles down about the shit she, she's been making up about me. Mm. Oh, I think I screenshotted it on Twitter. Yeah. Um, I and my my badgering session in the Senate happened after the Rosa call. Oh, yeah. And, and okay, interesting. And I was apparently actually in the Senate for the Rosa a... call. Oh, sorry, my bad. No, you're fine. Apparently she claimed to have apologized to Senate, and yet if when, when Rosa was asked, uh, there was no apology given. So, yeah, um, yeah, I don't have money set up. I'm sorry, it's it's okay. relax, relax. Um, I don't, I don't have the money stuff set up yet. You guys can I'm, give I'm, me I'm, money though, you can give Kumo money, but yeah, I, I will eventually set up the money stuff if you want to do that. Um, I, I'm not even monetized, so I, I've, I've been pretty lazy on setting that up. Take my <laughs> relax, Jack. Relax. All right, we're gonna continue. So, oh, uh, I did want to say though, I was in the Senate for uh, when the Rosa call happened. I was just asleep because they did this shit at like three a.m. Oh yeah, yeah. The Rosa call happened at like the most ungodly hour. Oh yeah, you got you got to put those phrases in bold, Jack. You got you have to do that. You got to really emphasize the point in text. You got to do that. We're gonna get it. All right, my bad. So, in mid-late 2022, I had just separated from an abusive partner and was still coming to terms with the abuse I faced IRL and online, which is when I started talking to Thomas properly. He seemed nice at first, but after a suicide attempt that resulted in my hospitalization, I had age regressed in the aftermath. Oh, boy. Thomas pushed the idea of family onto me while I was in a vulnerable state, and when I woke up to being in this 
family. I didn't know how to set that boundary again and say no. That was on me. Well, hold on. Well, but you did, didn't Peaches participate in various uh, family related matters like pushing for hold on, which which didn't they like watch movies and shit over Discord? Because I know this is like really terminally online shit, but I swear there's a conversation yeah. that I heard somewhere about them watching movies and stuff like a family. No, we have everything to provide. Like we have everything to corroborate the narrative that the entire like uh, found family and finger quotes was just the Peaches support group. Okay. Yeah, like everyone I, and their mother is like is yeah. saying the same fucking thing that it was just it became the Peaches support group that everything was catered to how Peaches felt and it's even made it's even made apparent that way and how she behaves when she doesn't when she rarely didn't get her way. Sorry. Well, I I don't know much uh and I'm going to be honest with you Chad, I don't know much about um the 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 dynamics between uh, Jordan and Lyo and the the found family stuff, aside from out of nowhere, you know, Lyo adopted Peaches, and then he went from four kids to one. That's it. Uh, I can only notice things, and maybe I should stop noticing things. And now but... he's now he has no kids. Yeah, yeah. Um, look, look how fast. Yeah, I could give you a quick TLDR if you trust my uh, my paraphrasing of their dynamics. It wouldn't take long to tell you. I could just yeah, go for it. Go for it. All right, so uh, Lyo and Peaches were very clearly, uh, very clearly glued together. Nobody liked Peaches. Uh, Lyo gave everyone up for Peaches and even threatened to divorce his wife for Peaches. <clears throat> well, hold on, hold on. Well, yeah, it's stop, a lot more let's, interesting let's than you button. probably thought. Let's stop yeah. the button. Let's roll it back for a second. Let's roll it back. Yeah. Did did Lyo get onto Jordan for uh, disrespecting his wife? Yeah. Okay. And yet, with with Peaches, he he threatened to. Is there? Do we have like? Is a testimony from Jordan that that? It's actually wow. testimony from Peaches, twice uh, over. Ah. Uh, uh, however, the first, the second time in this document you're reading, she's a lot more uh, sparing about the details. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Yes, Chad. Yes, the, Lyle has a wife. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna keep going with this They're document. Probably related. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, okay, so he, where were we at? Uh, that was on me, however. How, how Thomas treated me the moment I was in that family is not on me, and it's taken me too long to recognize that. For eight months, Thomas would verbally and emotionally abuse me. He would use my triggers against me to push me into a regressed state, and then would scream at me about my own abuse. He would tell me how I must be an abuse apologist because I doubted my grooming experience. I, really, because... When we watched that February 25th call that he put out in the Crystal Flame video, that call was held on February 25th. That call was held before Peaches made the thread. The second Peaches admitted to knowing that there was one minor in there, Slimmers, he immediately went in to to say, well, you were being groomed at that time. You know, you were being groomed at the time, making excuses for Peaches. So I don't know. That behavior seems inconsistent with with, with what Peaches is saying here. Um, well, two things. I don't think we've ever known Lyo to be fucking consistent, not a day in his life. And yeah, that's uh, a fair point. Yeah. It's also, we've been pointing it out that these people, these people probably don't actually or haven't actually experienced any of this. And it's just a convenient tool when they're under fire. Yeah. It's a little convenient that, you know, once Lyo's uh, doing a bad job at handling it, he said he's going to get it handled. Yeah. He's, he's doing such a good job with that. And yet, and now, um, Peaches, Peaches is accusing him of abuse. Now I'm not going to deny it. I just, I, I find some things a little off about this whole thing, a little stinky, as all. But well, I mean, something we have to do whenever there's any kind of allegation levied against someone is, uh, well, what does the accusing party have to gain? Something we always have to look at. Well, and considering I mean, what, in this case, I'd say, yeah. what does the accusing party have to lose if they don't do this? And we've already logically deduced that this bitch doesn't have a job. She makes yeah. a living off of YouTube, fucking like just like uh, the Brony community Lyle and handling from. Yeah. yeah, she makes a living off of scamming people out of their donation money. So it, it would it would seem so, Tooney. Yes, Peaches is throwing Lyle under the bus. Yeah. You know, he actually here's the baffling part. If you look at any situation Peaches is in, and I mean any and every single time. Um, she always finds a way 
to be the victim. And I mean every single one. I mean every single time. For for some somehow some way, peaches can never do any wrong. And and when it comes to the Rosa call, when people drink, it usually their true selves usually start to come out. Usually, that's usually how it goes. Truth starts to spill out when you drink. Okay, so if if she was drunk during that and she was drinking, and that's how she thought she should go about that call. Mind you, she's she's an adult now. She can't exactly blame Lyle. Sure, he's a father figure, but she's an adult now, okay? That's how she chose to behave in that call and go about it. And I'm not even going to shit on her for it. Other people have an issue with that call. My issue with that call is, I think it's pretty funny that, you know, you want to, I'm pretty certain, you know, dog on someone who has disabilities, but then hide behind someone who has disabilities. That's what Lyle was doing with Nil and the two black and um, conundrum call. He was like, well, how dare you? Nil has brain damage. So, I I don't know. I find it... Well, the, it's also funny that he did that in the conundrum call, because I didn't watch the conundrum call. Um, but the fact that he did that, he, he also threw Nil under the bus and, like, completely disregarded the fact that Nil had brain damage then. It was no problem when Peaches wanted to berate Nil and say Nil didn't, couldn't possibly have given a fuck, or when they wanted to uh, guilt Nil into believing that all the Necopon shit falling flat on its ass was Nil's fault. That that wasn't an issue then. That's publicly available on his channel. Uh, the problem with Carmen Rider, and it's like about Call Me Nil the entire thing. So Carmen Rider is really only in the title to kind of like suggest that Nil is a predator. Yeah, because Nil is yeah. the subject of the entire fucking call. Well, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna continue this this document, which there's 43 people on right now as we speak. So, for eight months, uh, Thomas would verbally and emotionally abuse me. He would use my triggers against me to push me into a regressed state, then would scream me, scream at me about my own abuse. He would tell me how, how I must be an abuse apologist because I doubted my grooming experience and made extremely graphic and sexual comments about the abuse Jordan and Opal went through while I was age regressing and begging him to stop as some sadistic way of making a point of what real abuse is. I have no recorded proof of this, but this week I re realized during my social media purge that I do have evidence of this behavior, albeit reined in, on the 28th of February, 2023. Thomas and the old Senate mods had a call. Holy shit, that's like a fucking, that's literally a year ago. Well, wow. Thomas and the old Senate mods had a call with an 18 year old victim of Joshua Vita who will have their identity protected due to the comments made by Thomas being too disgusting to ever want to forever, you know, be tied to this person. Which, uh, one, they did a terrible job trying to hide who this individual is because if you know anything about all this stuff going on, he, you know who it is. That's one. And secondly, they quite literally state this person's name in the, the call and, to this individual, and it's not blurred out. So not, you know, perhaps not the best job. Um, oh, let me read chat. I love how the issue with him making sexual comments about the abuse of Jordan is that the, not the fact that he sexualized their abuse. Um, that's a good point. That's a good point. Yeah. So she also did that with Creep Show Art. You know, actually, this is a somewhat... Uh, Lyle used to be an edgy medic, right? He made a le hard left turn. You think this is all clout chasing? Okay, so um, to, to make a point here, it's very painfully obvious. Let me move my mic closer. It, it's very painfully obvious that Lyo is grifting. And I don't like to accuse many people of that because it's a stupid thing. But in this case... Oh, is that hidden heroin in the chat? I it, might, it might actually be. Who knows? Um, so... To, to make a point here, I, I do believe Lyle's grifting in this case because the second Peaches came around, there was changes being made to Senate. Like, like the second Peaches came around, there was changes made to the Senate because that audience, the art community audience that came from Peaches, doesn't like the behavior in particularly like with slurs and stuff. They really don't. That's one of the reasons why they don't like me. Um, so... I definitely think that Lyo in a way, is, 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 is very much grifting. And, you know, the, one of the biggest excuses I've seen is um, you know, that Lyle's changed. And I would believe that, considering the changes made to Senate, if it wasn't for the fact that Lyle still lies about shit from, like, 2022. For example, the Jax call. As you all seen in my LARPer Lyo video, he's still lying about that. And he's he's now changed his tune. So, I, I, 
I personally, I don't, I don't think he's changed that much to, to the point that a lot of people have been using to defend Lyle. You still there? Or is it just me? Yeah, I'm still here. I'm just drawing while, uh, while I wait for you to. Oh yeah, I should, I should, I should, I should finish up with this, this, this doc. I'm taking forever. Sorry, chat. Uh, by accident, in verifying information about another young, young individual, Thomas was weird with Lumi. Thomas was weird with Lumi. Stumbled upon even further evidence of Tama. Uh, Tama, what? Sorry, I'm having some trouble here. Uh, by Thomas, thirty-five, thirty-six at the time. So this was also two or three years ago. So this shit spans like what, twenty twenty-one even. Was was Peaches around then, in in twenty twenty one? Yeah, actually, that's when, uh, according to the testimony Jordan gave me, that's when Peaches was even invited into the little found family thing. Well, hold on, twenty twenty one, because Peaches, you know, says I have no memory of the FCK stuff, and I just want to make this point here. It's it's somewhat irrelevant, but I'd like to make this point. Uh, you know, Peaches has no memory now, at least in twenty twenty two. Uh, or three of the FCK, but what about in 2021? Like, I don't know. I just, I, that, that whole memory thing that a lot of people use in situations like these, I, I don't tend to buy, but someone did mention she's an alcoholic. So uh, in that, in that case, um, you know, it, it is, it is possible. Are you familiar with Zade, Magenta, Misanthrop, or Lyle, call me the cynic. I, I am not, I've heard that name actually be mentioned a couple of times, not familiar whatsoever. I, I know a little bit about it, and it's just, like, TLDR is that's the person that they even, like, uh, that's the only reason they were, the Senate even, like, ha got into a call with Rosa, uh, or Lyo was even beefing with Rosa, is because Rosa was, like, uh, obsessively beefing and having slap, slap fights with uh, Miss Anthropony, um, and Miss Anthropony ended up being completely, like, thrown under the bus, and uh, cut off by Senate after that. Oh, and Misanthropony is also the person that uh, the Jordan alleges like, like uh, coerced them into making either originally made or coerced them into making the GoFundMe that com like completely ruined the the uh, the molestation case. Oh, okay, all right, yeah, okay. Well, that's that's a little bit of some information lore for you. Yeah, yeah, I did. This, this whole thing is a fucking shit show. But all right, I'm going to continue reading this. Yep. Okay, so berating and slut, slut shaming the, the victim uh, in this call, 16, 17 at the time, as well as mocking and dismissing their sexuality because they were abused by a man. This is still publicly accessible in the server. Their behavior is proven in this call to have not changed due to Thomas's continuous homophobic and slut shaming comments. If this is how he would treat victims in front of other people, I hope he can understand even in some small way how he would treat me for eight months straight behind the scenes when he can and has lied about the severity of what he did to me. How this victim was treated was disgusting, and I, was disgusting, and I can assure it was not a one-time thing. Thomas Guerrera keeps stating he has changed since the Rosa call in 2022. Whilst lying behind the scenes and pretending the work with me and Lumi did to restructure the Senate was on him alone. Despite the fact that Lumi and I left the Senate for a while because of Thomas's lack of accountability and refusal to let us put changes into place. How ironic is that? They love that word accountability. We came back because we thought Thomas changed and genuinely wanted to have a better place for people. To later find out he only placated us because he ran out of mods. Uh, well, I wonder why. I wonder, should we should we talk about the old mods? You think, Kumo? You think we should talk about the previous mods? I, I think it's a relevant talking point, yeah. Okay, so um, here's some interesting fun facts about some old mods, two of them in particular. So one of them is, it goes by, it goes by Baji, or Dolphin Man. And this 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 individual would, would make people as punishment draw uh, feral porn. And he would also raid servers with with feral porn and at one point would send people in senate feral porn in the in their dms so uh and, and you're in leaving out an important detail what, what's that important detail I, 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 uh, you you forgot the part entirely where uh baji would also make people in the senate if they broke one of the many ridiculous thousands of rules that they for some joke rules by the way that they still enforce uh, Baiji actually made many people draw that fucking dolphin comic as their punishment. 
Oh, uh, okay. So you wanted to, you wanted a defini definition. I can give you a definition. Uh, mm -hmm. Imagine a normal horse. Okay, this is actually one of the images. Imagine a, a horse sitting in water. Okay, water coming up to the legs, and a dolphin. Okay, comes around, all anatomically correct, by the way, and then slides itself into the horse's vagina. There you go. You wanted an image? I gave you an image. Yeah, have at it. Have at it. You, you're welcome. You wanted that image. You wanted it. Be careful what you ask for. I also have to preface that Lyo, I don't know if he's like if he's ever grifted about this uh, recently, but when I was in the server and the first time I ever fucking saw this, I actually shouted at Lyo. I was like, Lyo, what the fuck? I like literally I raised my voice at him. I was like, what the fuck is this? I was like, this is not funny. He's like, why are you pinging everyone with this? And he sat there and giggled. He's like, oh, it's just shock. It's just for shock. And what, were you, um, what year was this? Uh, this was this this was in fucking um I think it was 2020 like somewhere in 2022 when this happened actually. Listen, listen, listen. You got to be careful what you ask for now, okay? But yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, but yeah, life's changed. You know, it just just it just so happened to change when Peaches came around, right? Just so happened. I I don't even think it was when Peaches came around. I think it was when Peaches realized it was going to be bad optics for her that she wanted the change. No, hands down, because this is like maybe there is some truth to this and I wouldn't doubt it. OK, I wouldn't doubt that there's some truth to this. But the fact that Peaches is saying something now when all three of the other siblings had something to say and Peaches was what in calls and live streams and, and behind the scenes making fun of them. Uh, not taking them seriously, like it, it's it's it, okay. It, imagine it like this, Chad. Okay, I'm gonna put this on autistic detail for you. Okay, imagine you're outside and um, you're renting an apartment. Okay, and your apartment manager, right, the whatever the owner, uh, comes by and he starts harassing three other tenants across the street. Okay. He's knocking on the doors, harassing them, berating them, yelling at them. They're crying in a mess, threatening. Their, they're, all, they're all single mothers, by the way. They're all single mothers, and he's threatening to raise the rent. Okay? And then you're, you're, you're sitting. You go outside. You prop up a, a chair, and you start laughing. You're just, you just keep laughing. You're having a good time with it, just laughing, mocking them. And then he walks up to you, and then it's your turn to receive the berating and, and the threat of rent going out. And then all of a sudden, oh, God. Oh, God. What's happening? What, 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 what's happening? My life is changing. Like, that's basically what's going on. When, when it was happening to the other siblings, Peaches didn't wanted to downplay it, mock them, not take it seriously. When they made their, when they wanted to come out through Kumo, not take it seriously. You know, how dare they reach out to Kumo? How dare they? How dare they do that? Now that, now that, but, but now that Peaches wants to say this, um, wh why, why, what, wh why is it different now? What exactly is, is so massively different, right? Because what now you were on the receiving end and now, you know, when, when you were making fun of them, hold on, Hidden said something. This is a sin that mod. I don't know if you ever went over that already, but one of the calls in the dock is private now because the victim was, uh, so I think I know what call you're talking about. Um, yeah, I won't go over it. I already watched the call ahead of time. So, but for, for the sake of that, yeah, I'll try and keep this. I already this have all those fucking calls. I had them before they were even released. By uh, Peaches and Company. I hope I hope you guys and yeah oh I bet but I hope you guys enjoyed the um the 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 autistic example there to give you an idea as to what uh, how I view this so far is, is what it looks like. Um, so let me keep going here. I'm taking my time. Um, where was I? We came back because we thought Thomas changed and genuinely wanted to have a better place for people to later find out he only okay placated us because he ran out of mods. Oh wait, wait no, I I missed one thing. I have to share with you. There's another mod. This this mod goes by Drunkleby. And this mod made a post on Reddit. And oh, it's now not deleted. This guy. <laughs> um uh, basically it was another age regressor, you know. Um, you know, maybe I can, uh, I'll pull it up after this. If you, if you guys want me to, it's, it's, um, it's pretty neat, but let me, let me, let me actually read this and get done with this. I'm taking my time. So, uh, Thomas said he wanted mods who would hold him accountable. But when I called him out for his continued ableism towards Rosa in February, 2024, he snapped at me and K cosmic had to step in and stop him from yelling at me. Oh, here's the dots only for him to then pull me into a private call and yell at me there instead on the 22nd of February 20, 
2024, Thomas had a call with a person called Raven from the SEC and was aggressive from the get-go despite Raven being civil with him. Thomas then chose to, by his own admission, assess their cognitive ability in front of over 100 people. I asked him to stop. Lumi tried to make him stop, and Thomas kept going, which made me have to server mute him, and he proceeded to get enraged at the staff, linked a call, and then came at me with only aggression about it when he heard from his wife that I was in distress and suicidal. Thomas has pushed me to the point of self-harm and suicide, even up to the present day. I thought it was only me who was being affected, so I bottled it up. I wasn't always treated like shit, so I convinced myself it was fine. I was told to get over being sexually abused only a couple months after it happened when I was still dealing with the PTSD flashbacks of it. I was told I let my groomer get to other people because I didn't realize what he did to me until I was 21 years old and lost his information. For Thomas to then backtrack when I told other people what he said and pretend it never happened. Recalling how he spoke to that victim in 2023, how he would use that same language against me for eight months straight, how he defended Kumo pushing a girl to self-harm in February 22nd, 2023. So yeah, you're right. She, she is dying on that. She is really pushing it. Well, here's what I think is interesting about this. And I don't think you necessarily agree with this point, but I, I, I feel like it's a valid point. So you're not allowed to talk about Peach's grooming. You're not allowed to judge Peaches for the FCK stuff because she was groomed even though the groomer was not in the FCK. Therefore, couldn't really be responsible for her actions in the FCK. And yet, if you look at Kumo's situation, and I've seen it, the messages in the group chat, Asta's very clearly, the girl that uh, Peaches is referring to, is very clearly trying to get him into, into, into this kind of behavior and normalize it for him. Very obviously, even surrounding him with people that also intend to do the same thing. But they can make fun of Kumo for it. But you can't make fun of Peaches about the FCK stuff because, and you can't judge Peaches for the FCK stuff because Peaches was groomed. But Kumo's situation, they can keep twisting and they can keep laughing about. Mind you, I think everyone should be able to laugh about whatever the fuck they want to. But the fact is, these people moral grandstand and say, no, nope, you can't laugh about this. You can't talk about this. <laughs> but then in this situation, it's all laughs. It's all hee hee ha ha's. And what the point that I'm making here is they're inconsistent. When it gets to yet again, this is another example of when it's when it gets to them, it's not allowed. But everybody else, it's perfectly fine. That's the that's the point I wanted to make. What are your what are your thoughts on that? Well, I mean, not only that, the fucking in the clip they love to tout around as if it proves their as if it proves what Peaches says is true at all. Um like you can deliberately hear that Asta waited for me specifically to answer her. What should I cut? What should I cut? And so it, it, it's just more to the, and it's not that I disagree with you. It's just that I, it's embarrassing to even like, oh, no, it's I embarrassing. Get it. And like, even in my initial like response to everything, I even emphasized, I'm like, you know, I don't want, I don't want to be victimized in the long, for the longest time I stayed quiet because I didn't want to feel like I was throwing them under the bus to save my own skin. Um, in which I even said, you know, at this point, I regret, I regret that line of thinking. I wish I would have just like shut everything down and like, and just kind of told it how it was. Um, but yeah, no, it, it's, it's perfectly fine. Uh, and that's, that's my other thing that pisses me off is how she's acting like the Rosa call, uh, was her wake up call because she was like, oh, I was being a bitch and that's not like me. Um, she was so fucking giddy in the call where she, she was so giddy to confront me herself in my situation. Um, and she was trying to act like she was trying to act like a fucking mean girl the entire time. Didn't she admit was, to already disliking you before all of it? Yeah. Um, okay, so I find that I find that fascinating because um, when it comes to us and me talk or I'll use myself as an example here. Me talking about the FCK. You all can see that the Senate, the people defending Senate, want to talk about intentions. Doodle Tones, Zach even did it, uh, or, or Lyo's Twink Secretary, or uh, Boone Slayer, many of them. Uh, even Ephraim suggested this, that, that because I didn't like the FCK already, what are my intentions? My intentions are bad faith. You can even see it when... Um, has granted permission for the discussion of the uh, of their personal stories. They've uh, successfully reclaimed control over certain elements of the narrative, though. 
Oh, uh, okay. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, we we may or may not discuss it, but what I what I I think is interesting here is they talk about intentions in regards to me. They talk about intentions in regards to you because uh, you don't like peaches, therefore you must have bad intentions of talking about this because I don't like uh, because I don't like the FCK. I must have bad intentions with talking about this, but yet. Peaches can admit to having to not liking you before all of this. They don't talk about her intentions with blatantly, obviously fucking twisting the shit with with you. Or how about this? The Camilla Cuevas videos. Peaches disliked Camilla Cuevas before she even made those videos. But no one whipped out the, well, Peaches disliked Camilla Cuevas already, so we should question her intentions and not take this video seriously. No, people still listen to Peaches, despite the fact that she still disliked Camilla Cuevas. But when it comes to people, us, who that community, they, they fucking hate us because we say it like it is, and we also don't entertain their stupid shit. Uh, and they have other reasons why they dislike us. Those aren't the only reasons. Um, but those are the main two ones, at least in my opinion. Like, otherwise, why else have this, like, this such a, a massive issue with daring to have anyone listen to us? And I'll get into that more later because I want to talk about Senate. That's why this stream is called uh, Hopeless Peaches and, you know, Lyos Gate, because we're going to get into Senate afterwards. But I want to talk about the stuff recently to keep you guys uh, informed. OK, so let me finish this. So how he's treated my friends and recently how he has been using ableist language to justify the Rosa call and to justify embarrassing Raven. I realized I can't be his lightning I realized I can't be his lightning rod anymore. Okay. After that point, I distanced myself from Thomas since rewatching the recording of the call I made to protect myself after warnings from the mods. It made me reflect on how I've been treated for these past two years. I thought I could collect myself and now understand how best to cut him off uh, softly in a way he wouldn't blow up. But it seems even just staying within a group of friends away from the Senate and Lao convoy was too much for him. I found out... Uh, Thomas had been going around to commentary channels before and after this point, saying his own outrageous beliefs and passing them off his mind, claiming he solely changed Senate after the Rosa call, despite me being yelled at and belittled for months after that call, whenever I begged him to restructure the server. And creepiest of all, to me, he pretended him and I were still close and familiar. Oh, familial. Okay. We haven't been family for a while, but Thomas would refuse to give me that space and made me feel unsafe correcting that. Thomas didn't want the public to know he mistreated yet another family member. Well, hold on, yet another. You see, you're you see, you're saying that Thomas mistreated the other ones, but beforehand, just a few months ago, you were laughing about it. I, oh, but she was under the influence of uh, Thomas this time. Thomas is the new groomer. She was under the influence of. Don't you get it, Akumu? Come on now, get with the program. I. I, I it's funny that a lot of these people want to talk about fucking accountability. And you know, she insinuated in this that, sorry, I have to point out because Gilded pointed this out earlier when we were reading this, like when it first dropped, she insinuated that she was groomed by Lyo. Well, you know, let's it's keep like reading. heavily insinuated. No, we already passed over it. I oh, think. okay. Yeah, where she was like, uh, where she was like something my my groomer had done, um, where where she was like talking about the familial thing, saying even my groomer tried to make it seem familiar, tried to create this familial relationship. So she's like insinuating that he groomed her. Okay, hold on, I'm I'm checking chat. I haven't I haven't been paying attention to you all in a little bit, and that's 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 uh, neglecting your children, are you? I'm I'm neglecting my hellions. I'm sorry. Uh. I can't believe you don't uh, want to go through with pandemonium after this. I've, I don't know. I've, I've, on one hand, I've tossed it up. The other, other hand, just discord just results in a lot of stupid shit that I don't feel like dealing with. I do, but I also don't, you know what I mean? I feel like, like on one hand, yeah. I feel like but, you got to trust the method. I, I mean, I, I already offered you the sauce and the keys to the kitchen. You just refused to cook. Oh, boy. Okay. You know what? I'll think I'll, you know what? How about this? I'll put it into question because a lot of people have been asking me for us to do a discord. So, um, yeah, I tell Kuma to finish what he was saying about the call with peaches. Yeah. Finish what you were saying about the call with peaches. That's oh, what which part? Uh, which presumably part? your call with peaches. Oh, my call with peaches. Yeah. I don't remember what I was even saying at this point. I, I've been drawing. So I, I like was listening to you and I, my brain already relocated. Uh, whoever in the chat, could you like, could you like uh, uh give, give him a bone here reference what i was talking about yeah I, I i forget shit when i'm when we're talking about multiple different things 
Peaches did not throw Lionel under the bus. She picked him up, placed him in front of the bus, and held him in place while doing... Yeah, <laughs> that's a pretty good uh, fucking summary right there. Yeah, I don't remember. What um, I was you said Peaches about. was fat. I don't know. Uh, and trying to be tough with you. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, the okay, we're talking about the the fucking the the call that happened with me late February. Like I'm telling you, this happened at like the ass end of the fucking Rosa call. But Peaches wants to act like she at all regretted any of that. But she was so fucking giddy, uh, which I I will be going over and displaying in my video how she, like it's it's complete and utter bullshit. And I've already in my initial video on Peaches little curious in case you were curious as to why she might want it taken down in my initial video on peaches i completely debunk her like re i completely debunk her like telling of what happened and kind of get provided the context and ex like displayed uh displayed like her actively like lying about it like knowingly lying about it um in that video i did all of that and that video got taken down but it, it notice how um notice how she goes off and says that she had changed since the rosa call and how she conducted herself in that rosa call uh what, what was it is like deeply bothered her i forget how she said it um but she had no problem a few days later getting in a call with me someone she already had a pre-existing she had pre-existing animosity with and completely misrepresenting my situation which I have proof of her doing that and actively doing that because she confronted my ass uh, in that call over things that Lyo had said and said they were my words. And by this point in the call, I was too tired to even call her on her bullshit or pick up on it. Um, but she confronted me for shit that Lyo said that she was mad about. And I ended up just taking the fall for it and just conceding because I was tired. Like I had been badgered for hours by this point. And she ran with that. And she ran with it so hard that it ended up in a fourth call um, where she tried to rehash it. And by that point, I had already had time to digest the uh, the call that happened the day prior. And it didn't fucking work out. And so she kept moving her own goalpost. And that's why they were like mocking me like citation. I'm going to need a citation for that editorial. I was uh, so they ran out of her narrative where she kept saying I lied to her because I was like, no, I actually didn't lie to you. And I'm a little annoyed that you, you ran with that so hard because those were Lyo's words, not mine. And I was too fucking tired to recognize that what you were doing. Um, so by that point, this is when the Senate decided that they were going to continue the thing that was pissing me off to begin with. They were doing this really annoying thing where they go, you encouraged self-harm. And then they would add on a million other fucking head cannons to make it sound even worse than what they had just said. As if they needed to like, as if they all, as if they even needed to exaggerate. Um, and I took great offense to that. I, I'm sure you can understand why. I took great offense to that. And yeah, I got defensive. Uh, I got defensive talking to them. Um, I'm again. I'm sure you could understand why. And they immediately, because like the, the call was never about like accountability or like understanding or uh, hashing out hashing out problems like adults. They immediately took that and said, "Oh, so clearly you didn't learn." Um, I don't know what it is with these people and every fucking like. It's always the art community. And commentary scene, but especially the art community, they love to talk about learning lessons and love to think that they're teaching people lessons. They love to do it. And and actually, really, if you think about it, look look exactly where that got them now, right? They wanted to teach me a lesson so bad, and now I'm sharing that lesson with everybody. So I, I don't know what it is with these people and wanting to like tell themselves that they're going to teach you a lesson. I, 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 otherwise, plain and simple ego. I mean, what else could you call it? And, and what lesson, and, well, I mean, what, like what makes them think otherwise, that they're, you know, the right person to teach people a lesson? Um, I mean, you got, you know, Lyle over here telling himself that he's a moral figurehead. So, or no, not moral figurehead. Sorry, sorry. He calls himself a figurehead and that he has to be accountable and tell the truth. As, as ironic as that is. 
I mean, it just goes to show that these motherfuckers don't stand by anything they say. Of course not. Because here's the thing, and, and, and this is also another thing that uh, I want to make clear to, to some people in my audience that have been watching stuff recently. Um, the best way to compare the community, it's not like it's broken. OK, and I used to think this way, too. I don't see it oh, as, as broken. The broken clock. Yeah, the broken clock analogy. He's he's, he's heard this before. Um, I, I don't think that the community is like a broken clock. I think it's like a clock that's set wrong. Right. That's the best way to view it. And the people that set it wrong want it that way. And there's really hardly anything you can do about it aside from showing everybody else the the, the problems and the inconsistency so that less and less people fall for it in this charade and this performance that they all put on. Because this is, and the reason why they're not consistent is because it allows them to do shit that they would condemn everybody else for, and that's all they want to do, because it allow it makes them feel like they have more going for them. Okay, that's why all these people have nothing going for them in their private lives, and so they, they want to be able to do shit that they can condemn everybody else for. That, that's all it is. Yeah. But let me finish this up real quick because I really want to get into the cosmic bye bye. I really do. That's one of my favorite ones. Okay, so where were we? I have so much regret for not seeing through his persona sooner. I was always brushed and I always brushed it off as it just being an issue with me, and that I deserved everything I got, especially with how Thomas would seemly would see would seem genuinely nice whenever he wasn't being questioned. When the call in February 2023 happened, I was shaken to my core. In regressed. She was shaken to her core and forgot most of everything, including the fact I was the one who had the recording. I'm sorry. I feel stupid. Honestly, Thomas would go to such extremes to make me feel unsafe, and then I had to be around in the first eight months. My known suicidal ideation would be used as an excuse by Thomas to threaten me with police visits and being put away for a while if I stopped responding to slash hung up on Thomas when he was screaming at me. I could have just refused to listen and plead a case for myself if Thomas did this, but at the time, I was I freshly out of an abusive That's pretty fucking based. That's pretty based, Peaches, because I, I think if you're going to weaponize your suicidal ideation, then he should be allowed to, too, whenever he sees fit. Interesting take. I mean, if she's allowed to do it, why can't he? It's for their benefit. Why can't he use it for his benefit? Unless it's like you can only weaponize your own suicidal ideation, but I think that that's probably what it is. Like you can, but you that can wouldn't only... be consistent with either of them though, because they weaponize other people's. Uh, I think they did so with Nil actually to try and like start shit with Tommy. I think. Well, I mean, or, she just or, said in this idea. fucking doc that I pushed, I pushed Asta to fucking self harm. So. Oh, I see what you're. I see what you're doing. Yeah. 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 I get your point. I get you making a good point there. Now that it clicks, you know. Yeah. So where, where, where was I? Um, if I st uh, stopped responding to slash hung up on Thomas when he was screaming at me, I could have just refused to listen and plead a case for myself if Thomas did this. But at the time, I was freshly out of an abusive relationship and was constantly pushed to regression. I know better now. Thomas, a real father, wouldn't yell and scream at family. A real hey, father whoa, 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 wouldn't. Okay. Yep, listen, yep. listen. Lyo, man to man at this point. Don't let hoes with no father tell you what a real man is. Thank you. That that's my TED talk. Oh, here it is. Uh, a real father wouldn't use their kids' trauma against them as a means of winning petty arguments. A real father wouldn't threaten to divorce his own wife to keep their kids in check. A real father wouldn't make graphic sexual comments while they're age regressing, uh, age regressing and begging you to stop. Hell, a real father wouldn't take months, multiple scoldings being cut off, and having your entire script re reworked just to respect their family's gender, only to keep calling me your daughter despite me. Oh, here we go with the virtue signaling. Despite me being neither a, a woman nor part of your family. Stop pretending we're close. Stop pretending you're looking out for me. Stop pretending we're in contact. Full stop. How much more is... Oh, she gives a definition. You told me many times that the reason you had never had real kids, biological or adopted, was because you knew you would abuse... Oh, shit. You would abuse them. If you know this, stop beating down on vulnerable victims of sexual abuse and instead get some goddamn help. Also, stop pretending you care about victims of grooming. You found the information of my groomer and all you did was use my abuse against me, play it down because it wasn't Joshua Vita, and tell me straight you only desired to make fun of my groomer in a Senate call. 
Oh, big shock. You mean the guy that hasn't gotten anyone arrested and only wants to drag people into calls to make fun of them? Wants to only drag him into a call and make fun of him? Who could have seen that coming? I mean, who, who could have seen that coming? Not to help report his predatory actions. And you blame me a victim of his for his potential other predatory actions. I have deleted everything to be away from you and to finally find myself. Respect that. Do not contact me. Oh, note, this testimony has nothing to do with Jay and Jordan's claims. I could go into detail about how it is flatly disgusting to knowingly run to Fox Mafia and people who have said slash platformed videos saying how I should be sexually assaulted. I cannot comment one way or the other on the speech, on the specificities of the relationship with Thomas Guerrero. I was never present for it. That being said, I won't just dismiss the fact that Thomas has been an abuser. To the usual suspects who have been stalking me for nearly a decade, for nearly a decade now, nearly a decade. Did she just say nearly a decade? As she's talking about Omnia. Oh my God. He LARPed too close to the sun and ended up believing his own make-believe world. Holy shit, that's great. I'm putting that up. Wow, nearly a decade. D does she not realize, like, the, the the shit with Omnia is like four years ago? I guess I guess half a decade. I guess half a decade. I guess. I'm sorry. After four years, your only topic is gone now. Hope you find a new way. No, you're not. No, you're not. No, you're not. No, no Milk one's it. believing that. Milk that cow. <laughs> Milk that cow. <laughs> Milk that cow. Um, Milk that cow. Thank you, Peaches, making it easier. Now, uh, we can just fucking say whatever we want about you now, right? I mean, Normally, it's, it's this narrative that we're all just that we're all just bullies and we're lying about Peaches and everything we say is a lie. Then Peaches, you're doing everything we wanted, right? You're just leaving so we can say whatever the fuck we want about you and you're not here to defend yourself. No, Omnia is not innocent either. And me and Om like, here's yeah. the thing: me and Omnia, we don't like one another. Okay, um, mm -hmm. and I'm I'm not gonna sit here and, and pretend Omnia is innocent either. But at the same time, I'm not gonna I'm not really gonna count out to this whole thing of 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 Omnia is the only problem here when it's not. Uh, so basically, Akumu likes when, where where and when did I say I liked pedophiles? Where and when I just said where and when did I say I liked a pedophile? Please enlighten me. Everyone in chat, bully that retard. No. Wait, wait, wait. He's some I, some some random you guy saying it? I like pedophiles. I don't know this guy. Kumo is racist. Awesome, fantastic. I thank love you. For that. Very thank cool. you. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you for the compliment. Cool. Wait, where's right, the one? So back to the so, point. So basically, Akumu likes PDF files. Oh, I think they're just fucking with you. Probably. I think they're just. I think they're. Oh, like, it's a cinetard. Hi. Okay. Hi. I, right. I, I'm, I'm hoping so. We're going to get to you in a little bit. Don't worry. Fret not. You, we'll, we'll talk about Senate in a little bit. So, it's a troll. Yeah, I figured they were just fucking with you. I think they're just being exaggerative. Uh, uh, doesn't help my trauma for easy money, my ass. Okay, so um, we're going to get into the next document. Uh, oh, that's why I reported the stream and sent privacy complaints. Oh, that's very cool. Very cool of you. Thank you. I appreciate that. So, um, touched my cat and now I need therapy. Oh my. What, what's that say? It's hysterical watching the Senate implode real time. No, it is. It actually is. I'm not even going to lie. It is fucking hilarious to watch that fucking, that, that, that discord of window lickers pretend as though they're the grand fucking pedestal of this and then lose their mind. And we'll get into Senate really soon. I promise you. I have so much to talk about when it comes to Senate and what they've been doing since February. I pinky promise. In regards to Senate, if you guys have questions, let me know if I can answer. You know what? I'll gladly do so, Hidden, so please stay for the stream because I do have some stuff. Um, I do have some do really funny stuff mod? that I'd like to share. Do hmm? I get to meet the mod? Do you get to meet the mod? You want to meet Hidden? Yeah, yeah, I want to meet Hidden. Uh, I mean, Hidden, if you want to come on stream, I mean, I, I could that we could potentially do that. Uh, I would really actually really love for... um. What, what was his name? That'd be I'm such gonna an stand insane that. turn of events that a Senate mod comes in, acts civil with me, and apologizes. Oh, I don't know if Hidden was there. How many of you Senate that. members are predators yourselves? No, I don't think the Senate members are are, are... are are you saying... What does it say? What does that say? Senate members... I think they're just all... I think what happens is like the majority of Senate are the band kids that got bullied. So they want to be the bullies. Which is fine. That happens. It's a normal thing. And here's, here's actually... You know what? I'm, I'm going to make this point once I get into the document. So let me get into that document really quickly. 
because Red this is Harp said we're getting banned off YouTube for this one. Oh, sick. All right, so let me let me actually I want to do the cosmic uh, document because that one is fucking hilarious. I love that one. Um, have you read the cosmic one? No, I didn't get I didn't get a single oh. fucking opportunity. Okay, that's perfect. I'm gonna read this to you guys in one go, and then I'll provide all my thoughts so that I'm not taking forever because this has been like almost an hour already. Share screen. A cosmic bye bye. Oh yeah. All right, you guys ready? Content warning. For talk of ableism, grooming, and abuse. Also, this is not some sort of cancellation Google document. It's a statement. Same goes for Lumi's and Aaron's. Hopeless peaches. Hello, this is Co Cosmic, and I'm also leaving. I want to say that I am not saying slash doing this because of what Jay, Jordan, Kumon, etc. are saying. This is all me. There is a call that I am heavily referencing in this statement, and I encourage everyone to listen to. I say this now because I know this is a lot to read. I was unaware that the victim in the call did not give their consent to have it shown. For this, I deeply apologize. My ignorance isn't an excuse, as the harm it has caused is already done. I am so sorry. Let's continue. Also, before I talk about my experience of being a mod, I just want to say on the record that the Rosa call was disgusting. I've said this openly. I don't tolerate ableism, and I am tired of people trying to defend that call, staff included. If you defend the actions of the people who were treating Rosa like, that sh like shit during that call, you need to take a long look at yourself in the mirror. And ask yourself if you truly care about disabled people. There's also a big difference between holding Rosa accountable for her actions and the conduct of the people in that call. Lyo, you yourself have said that some of you, some of your calls where you berate people start to feel like you are just ragging on a disabled person. Reflect on that. It's almost like he only manages to intimidate people that are literally autistic. And I mean that in the literal sense. Or, or children. And if he can't intimidate children, he threatens to ruin their life. On the other hand. I'm also so incredibly tired of people dragging the call back into the open end of the open after years, just years. Wasn't that call like a year ago? Just for a gotcha. You guys aren't saints either. No one actually, I don't, me, Kumo, and anyone else that's talking about this, no one's saying we're saints. Not a single fucking person here is saying we're saints. The entire point is you all LARP as saints, as moral fucking pedestals that people should look up to you. That your morals are these 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 ten fucking commandments that everyone has to follow, and if they don't, you drag them into a call and lose your fucking shit. That's the point here. And you y'all you all yourselves don't follow this, whether that be Senate, whether that be the art commentary community. And people are upset that now they can see it. They can see that for years now, the people that have been telling them all this information have either been lying to them or have been complete fucking hypocrites, and they're upset by that. Because they can see that the joke was on them. And of course they're going to be upset by that. The call should absolutely be looked at critically. But some of you guys are using ableism as a tool to push a narrative. When I, What narrative is that? Please, uh, they keep saying um, we're making false accusations or we're pushing a narrative, but they can never specify it. So cowardly. When I became a mod, I already had an idea of what I was getting into. I was informed of Lyle's past actions, but was told that he was making significant changes to himself. So I went through with it because I believe people can grow and change. How wonderful. From the first mod call I was in, I saw significant issues in Lyle's leadership and the culture of the room. And for as much as Lyle says he wants and accepts criticism, he doesn't. Oh, big shock. In fact, he prefers criticism to be handled in DMs privately. Oh, I wonder why. But he doesn't change his behavior with one stipulation. Lyle doesn't change unless Aaron brute forces him into doing so. I didn't know the full extent of the issue of the issue until I was behind the scenes. I thought, as I'm sure as many other peanuts do, that Lyle restructured Senate of his own volition for the good of the server after the Rosa call. But it took months. Aaron and Aiden left Senate because of his lack of change. Aaron posed an ultimatum to him that they would cut contact unless Lyle made changes to Senate. So, like I said, he changed the server for Senate. I, I don't know why people are telling me I'm wrong about that. This is confirming that. He agreed, and Aaron and Aiden made all the changes. Lyo, your morals shouldn't be determined by what should keep Aaron around. Well, Aaron, right, is an art commentary cow, you know, and, and, and him working with Aaron has promoted his channel, you know, up higher. Why would he not? That's the whole goal here. He wants to be a figurehead. He said it himself. All the restructuring you see in the servers because Aaron and Aiden pushed for change, despite Lyo being vehemently against it. Let's look at the Raven Pines call. Raven fucking Pines. Oh, boy. That SCC member. 
<laughs> you know what? The, I don't even blame oh. Lyo for being condescending to Raven Pines and trying to like bully Raven Pines because Raven Pines fucking deserves it. So I don't know if this is the I don't know if this is the grift they want to die on here, but I mean I welcome it. It's not going to last very long when everyone if they make Raven Pines a fucking murder here, it's not going to go very far. Is all I'm going to say. It's this is this is pretty interesting. And I told you guys the SEC wanted to buddy buddy up with Lyle. I said it. I told you this in my previous video that the RCC and the SEC wanted to rally behind Lyle because they think he's this figurehead that they can wield and 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 and, and shield themselves with. And to a degree, they're almost right, but he's 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 not he's not exactly the greatest sword and shield, as as we've learned uh, in real fucking time. So here it is. Uh, where where was I actually? Oh, Lyle asked frankly awful questions to see what level of cognition Raven had. Questions that had no relevance to the conversation, despite Lyle claiming this. Him asking this was ableist, and this sentiment was expressed to him. Could we get an example of a question in the document? That'd be nice. At the time, I was talking to slash in class, or I would have done this myself. Aaron's server muted him to prevent a repeat of the Rosa call, and because Raven was at risk of saying very personal information, Lyle left the gallery. Oh, so when he's server muted, it's a problem. Look at that. Lyle left the gallery call, and in a staff call later that day, he proceeded to try to say that Aaron had server muted him to publicly humiliate him. Oh, my God. So him, okay, him saying Aaron muting him is publicly humil public humiliation tells us that when he server mutes people, that's what he intends to do. That's what he's getting off of it. Public humiliation. So when he server muted Jack, who was a 15 year old, he was doing so because he wanted to publicly humiliate Jacks. Otherwise, why think himself getting muted is public humiliation? It doesn't make it much sense to me, and wouldn't listen to anyone telling him otherwise. Let me be clear: Lyo knowing whether someone is autistic or not is relevant information for how to speak and address someone level of cognition on the other hand is something that should not be touched by anyone who isn't a psychologist or a mental health professional i don't care for your justifications or reasoning for this line of questioning it's ableist you were out of line just because slurs weren't thrown around doesn't mean it wasn't ableist i'm going to say this now i've interacted with raven pines they're not a particularly bright individual and i'm, I'm not even saying that because they're they're autistic because i've interacted with some really bright autistic people they're just a genuinely stupid individual. Their autism has nothing to do with it. I'm just, I'm just, I, I have interacted with them before. You can actually, you know what? How about this? Instead of just taking my word for it, how about this? Go to my SEC playlist and you will see when Raven Pines participated in the dogpiling of Alex the Critic, just how like really dull they were. It, it's nonsensical, okay? Not exactly the greatest example here to use for Lyle, because, again, Raven is not that bright of an individual. The Rosa situation, why not dig into the Rosa call more? Like, I'm not saying don't talk about Raven, but the Rosa shit is far worse. And yet hardly any specifics are. Have you noticed that, Kumo? They're getting into the, yeah. a little bit more specifics of the Raven call, but they're, not, they're hardly even touching the Rosa call. I wonder why. Yeah. So... And I'm not saying they shouldn't talk about the Raven stuff, but it's a little weird that they're giving us more specifics on this Raven Pine call and not the Rosa call. It, it's been years old, but it's only a year old, but whatever. Um, in another call, I have personally told Lyo to back off yelling slash getting aggressive with Aaron. He backed off, but proceeded to berate them later in private. So this is the individual that... Um, that Aaron was referring to. The same public slash uh, private disconnect continued to show up as I was told more about his past actions. He was friendly with Gilded Poo and, oh my God, and other members of the Fox Mafia, even though they were making horrific sexual comments about Aaron. He helped Lago Vert get rid of Feral NSFW art on his Twitter likes. Um, wouldn't D, de uh, degenerifying Lago Vert be a positive? Or are you saying that like he was hiding, he was helping Lago Vert hide it? That'd be one thing. If he was like trying to help Lagovert be less of a degenerate, I mean, I don't see the issue. But if he was helping Lagovert hide it, then that's another thing. You should just, you should probably specify that. Um, I listened to a call. Here's the link again in which he criticized a recently 18-year-old victim of grooming for going back to their groomer, saying that they allowed another child to get preyed upon, going as, going as far to say that they were a felicitor, 
He asked what was so appealing about the, about this grooming, raising his voice when the victim was having trouble remembering details of their conversations. I am disgusted with the conduct of him in that call. The person came to him of their own volition and passed him information about another potential victim, and Lyle berated them for their grooming. On top of all that, the other mods present at the time joined in because he was he he screamed at them to do so. Interesting. Hold on. Hold on, chat. I'm checking. I know I haven't been checking. Okay. All right. Sure, Lyle apologized in the call, but who spoke up but who spoke up to the point that his conduct was horrendous? Aaron, who was later privately yelled at for doing so. Also Aaron. I, I, here's the thing. While I it is true, Hopeless Peaches did speak up at the end of that call. That is 100% true to give Peaches her credit. Where it is due. 100% true. Problem is that doesn't exactly make Peaches a saint. Because she was perfectly fine with all the other shit that was going on. I like why else mock their siblings and their experiences? Why else try and grandstand Kumo as much as possible and then play victim to it, by the way? That's a real fucking thing. If you haven't seen his video, there's an archive of it. It's a really good fucking video. You should go watch it. Why else do all these things, mind you, these this is a year, a few months old behaviors. In fact, actually, let me give you a recent fucking example that I have. December 10th, 2023. They, Lumi, brought in someone named Ammo, okay, into the call. And they, to summarize it, because I spoke with Untitled Sunny, and they gave me a clear idea as to what was happening. It was pretty much another FCK situation. So while Lyle had the logs, and Lyle was in this call... They grandstanded someone else for doing something similar to the FCK, but Peaches never got a fucking call berating her for it publicly to the peanuts. Why not? Someone else could. By the way, almost just as old as the FCK shit, and that's no way, in, in no way an excuse for Ammo and what Ammo was doing in these Discord servers, but the point is, and, and actually Untitled Sunny specifically told me that Ammo would be a hypocrite, okay, to judge the FCK for this. So, why is it okay for them, December 10th of 2023, to grandstand someone else for shit that Peaches had done and not talked about that Lyo knew because he had the logs at the time? Because keep in mind, Lyo got the logs around October of 2023. So it's a little odd. But let me continue. I want to get this document over with because there's a point that I want to make towards the end. He also uh, he also encouraged a culture of bullying the same victim within Old Senate. This victim is a lesbian, but was groomed by a man. People would repeatedly tease them by calling him straight. As a lesbian who was a victim of grooming by a man, I am disgusted and horrified by the comments made by other members, but specifically Lyle. He allowed this behavior to run rampant, and he participated. I wouldn't bring this up if I thought he changed behavior, but he hasn't. People can grow and change with time, but I've seen a lot of this with my own eyes and ears, and the stuff I haven't personally seen, I heard from people I trust. To put it bluntly, I don't fuck with abusers. To Lyle, leave. Reflect upon your actions. Truly, you abused Aaron. I'm not trying to slander you. I'm not one of your haters. I'm a person telling you to truly look at yourself and realize what you're doing. Your mods, Aaron included, are not your babysitters. You should have the, with the wherewithal to know when to hold yourself back. And if you aren't capable of doing so, you shouldn't be heading Senate. To the peanuts, you don't need Senate. You can and should leave. Lyo is not your savior. Do not idolize people on the internet. Please keep yourselves safe. Lyo is not fit to be on the head is not fit to be the head of anything, let alone a conflict resolution server. I will not stand for ableism or by an abuser. That's why I'm leaving. Come to the Supreme Court instead. So basically what this individual is saying. Leave this delusional art tart hug box for my own delusional art tart hug box. Because these people have to have these, by the way. And I mean this for years now, they've had servers like these. Um, ever since 2020, the, the, the Art Tart audience that you know watches Hopeless Peaches and the rest, they have moved from server to server to server to server to server, okay? I'm sorry, Hidden. I'm sorry. I'm just telling you like it is. I'm sorry. I'm just telling you like it is. I have to be honest with you, okay? Because we, me and you both know people from Senate are going to move to your server, okay? And then your server is just going to become the next Senate. 
I promise you that's exactly what's going to happen. I'm not even going to sugarcoat it. Because in mind you, and I say this because I've had experience with this audience, by the way, for years now. I have had experience with these people. They have moved from server to server to server, forming different hug boxes that all do the same shit. They were in Darkness Stone server. They were in Fuchsia Butter server. They were in uh, Cloud9, which was Go uh, Ghost DXE, Holy Majesty server. Many of the same people. In fact, let me give you a specific example, because let's get into to, to, to Senate, that fucking cult. It is a fucking cult. That's why I called it Lyle's Gate in the title. Let me give you some stuff that they've been doing. February 29th, the day that Lyo dug into the FCK Leaks account and announced who was behind the account, despite the fact that that is entirely fucking irrelevant to the account's claims, but you got to distract people. Three people from Senate immediately took to Twitter to let everyone know who was behind the account. Boon Slayer, Heaton Mitsuru, and Ephraim. The first two that I just mentioned deleted their tweets very fucking quickly and at the same time. That's a little weird. That's a little suspicious. How about the fact that in the Senate, you have people lying to each other and telling each other not to question anything, that I or Kumo's side of things don't matter. Peach Reaver, for example. I'm going to start naming people specifically. Okay. Um, how about this? How about this? Because I, I, this is a good comparison for, for uh, Kumo. You still there? Oh, yeah. Yeah. What's you know up? what Heaven's Gate is? The cult? Yeah. <laughs> okay. You know how they would have like a buddy system and they would basically keep people from questioning things and looking at any sort of uh, content that wasn't approved by the cult? Mm -hmm. Well, guess what I have? I have a member named Jack Lockstyle who I have personal experience with and was in several of the previous servers that I mentioned to you, the, the several of the previous hug boxes that I mentioned to you, particularly Darkness Stone server. And if you want, I'll pull up the screenshots if chat, if you want it, if you want to see how fucking stupid he is. Uh, he ran to someone else that was in Senate demanding, okay, that this person unfollows Fruitcake Leaks and does not believe a fucking thing that I or Fruitcake Leaks puts out to only listen to Lyo, demanding that they unfollow Fruitcake Leaks. I'll put them on screen. Hold on. Hold on. One sec. Um, actually, the person he went to is actually willing to come on stream. So if you're watching right now, uh, just um, just uh, here I'll I'll, send, I'll message you the link, uh, and and you tell me your experience with this uh, with 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 Jack because I have my own experience with Jack. He's a dishonest fucking hack. I've always disliked him since that. And just to briefly give you my experience with Jack, um, I he asked me he came to me asking me questions about the Madame drama. Okay, he came to me asking me questions about it. And I answered all of his questions, and I even provided him evidence. And I can't remember specifically where this was, but he'll corroborate this. He's admitted to this. And then immediately after my after speaking with this guy, he went falling back on the false claims from Ponder Sprocket and Nezzy Monster. So that should give you an already in the, what kind of guy this, he's like. But he's also a fucking coward that goes into other people's DMs and demands them to own Jack Locke style. Okay, he's a he's a guy who um he's in Senate. He's one of the Senate tards and. Um, no, you, you guys won't know him at all, but he's a big Senate tart and he loves the art commentary community. All the people we've been talking about in the FCK, he's a big fan of them. Big fucking fan. So, let me, you know, I'm going to pull up these screenshots. I'm going to close this. Uh, I'm going to close this out. I'm going to pull up these screenshots. And I'm going to show you uh, just just how stupid this guy is. And this is this is cult shit, okay? You, what, why else? Are you are are okay? For example, if you go in uh, Lyle's comment sections, you have people lying to people in Lyle's comment sections. If anyone asks about what the fuck's going on, okay, you have people lying to them. If people ask in Senate calls what's going on, you have people lying to them. Why why is all that happening if this isn't a fucking cult? Why do you have people messaging other people demanding not to listen to us that our stories don't matter and to only listen to Lyle Convoy? That sounds exactly like a fucking call. Kumo, I'm going to put these on screen, and I want you to read these. Get you get you more active in this stream. Okay? All righty. All yeah, you can have fun with this. Go. And then we're going to have, actually, the person Jack messaged come on stream and, you know, talk about it as well. Um, so hold on. Let me let me pull these up. I got to go in my, my little thing here. CC. Where is it? Senate, 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 Senate Discord. Uh, Jack Lockstyle. There he is. Oh, so. jo uh, John Bubba. So you said cult with touches of fascism. I say touches because I can be mistaken. No, you see, 
they completely reformed after they banned Super Hitler. Okay, in uh, March of uh, 2023, I was Super Hitler. So no, no more fascism in the Senate. I can confirm. The evil Nazi Kumo is is no more. And I also, to clarify how I found out about this, this was shared in Darkness Stone server, which, if you watched my community tabs, I fucked with a few months back. And they're probably going to scream harassment. Um, but you know what? Actually, to any of the people that were watching my uh, community tabs, right, I want to clear this up now while I'm here. I'll go ahead and do it. I'll go ahead and show you why I fucked with Darkness Stone server. I'll go ahead and show you. Since they want to lie. They actually wanted to lie to my audience. Uh, they wanted to come to my community posts and start lying to everyone. I'll go ahead and show you why I uh, I fucked with Darkness Stone server. So just just in case you know they try and play victim. All right, how do I how do I share this? Present a uh, video file. Can I not present a um an image? Can I not do an image? Shit. Um. Share screen, share screen. Oh, here it is. Okay. No, here it is. I'm going to share this with you all. Okay. So this is just really quickly. I want to clear this up. This is the Darkness Stone uh, drama chat, drama time chat. This chat has existed since 2020. This is from another Art Tart hug box. And I want to go ahead and clear this up. So you're going to see I, I'm I, in this screenshot. I've controlled F my name. This is three years worth of a chat, by the way. Go look over here. Oh, oh. That's not what I meant to do. That's from the drama time. Right here. Look at here. If you look right here, <laughs> this is the drama time. 88 fucking mentions of you just. This in is the drama three chat. years, and this is just my name being brought up. This is not full conversations, by the way. So, this is why I fucked with Darkness Stone server a few months ago because they were running their mouth about my uh, Ponder video and losing their shit over it. And I thought it was hilarious. But yeah, this is how much they fucking talk shit about me. At one point, in fact, one of the individuals in the server threw a temper tantrum because I dared to defend Kyle Rittenhouse on Twitter. They actually cried because of that. So, yeah. That's why I fucked with Darkness Stone server. Jack Lockstyle used to be a member of that server. And so that should give you an idea as to how art hug boxes work. These things have existed for a long, long time. The audience moves from one to the next to the next to the next. And the Senate is just... The next one currently, the current one, the second Senate's gone, they're all going to flock to another one where they can cope and see about the people they don't like. That's exactly what's going to happen. And that's why I'm telling you, Hidden, if you're still watching, to be very careful with your server, because if not, it's going to turn into Senate again very fucking quickly, especially if you have people like Jack Locke style in it or Peach Reaver, so on. Many of the infamous names that I've seen years ago. So let me let me actually pull up the shit with Jack real quick. Actually, I already have it pulled up. And then afterwards... Um, I'm going to have, I'm going to have the person that Jack DM come on so that you can, you guys can hear their, their testimony and you can guys can get an idea as to how these, uh, yeah, absolutely gatekeep, absolutely fucking gatekeep. That, that, that's why I don't, uh, uh, um, cater my, my videos and I don't change myself to cater to that audience. I can't stand, uh, that audience at all. Uh, share screen. I'm going to, uh, window. So here is the stuff with Jack, all right? And let me know if you guys can see me switching screenshots over, right? So first, I want to know if you guys can see me. Uh, when I switch screenshots over, can you see it? When I move it over? I'm not, uh, I'm not watching the stream live, so give me a second. Okay, they said yes, so they can see when I move yeah. screenshots over. So this is Jack Locke style messaging someone. On, uh, uh, you should you, uh, watch the stream real quick. If you, do you want to read the messages or I will? Uh, sure, I can read them. Okay, let me, uh, let me, let me zoom in here. Let me make sure. All right. Uh, Jack's lock, Jack Locke style says, Feggy, why are you following the Fruitcake Club Leaks account on Twitter? Feggy says, to see the leaks and updates. Did it switch over? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Jack Lockstyle says, oh, sorry. <laughs> Most of the claims made by Crystal Flame are bullshit. You know that, right? I'm just here. To, uh, should I put on the fucking, like, uh, the nasally voice? For Jack? Yeah, absolutely. I fucking, I can't stand oh, okay. him. Go is Feggy it. based? Feggy is based. Feggy is 100% right. based. 
All right. I'm just here for the updates. I'm taking both sides with a grain of salt, and I think both sides aren't above criticism. What happened in the Senate was bad, but also everyone's screaming groomer and pedo are bad. That That is an interesting... Bad. You're both bad. Uh, that's an interesting way of seeing it. Jack Lockstyle says, This is a very mistaken situation. When dead... <laughs> Sorry. This is a very mistaken situation. <laughs> Teachers and anyone else in the SDK server who knew there were minors there should be held accountable. But really, Crystal Flame and the rest of the SDK leakers following Akumu? All right, let's move over. All right. He, he didn't link it. Highly advised unfollowing the account. Lyle will be going over the entire situation soon enough. I think these people should be held to a higher standard. A lot of my crews. A lot of my criticisms come from the hypocrisy of the situation, and I'll be waiting. Akumu, there is no higher standard when he's involved. Uh, I'm talking about the leaks. I'm just saying if there was, sorry, I'm just saying if this was anyone else, the Senate would go crazy. I love Lyo and his content, but I feel like these situations could have been dealt with differently, both sides. Akumu is, <laughs> Akumu is the one that basically started the leak. Also, stop fence sitting false allegations. Uh, okay. <clears throat> I'm not fence sitting. I'm seeing what's going on and I'm for wait. I'm seeing what's going on and I haven't formed full opinions simply because new things keep coming out on both sides. I'm more or less observing. I haven't been a part of the commentary community since 2022. Jack Lockstyle says. To say both sides need to be taken with a grain of salt when one of the sides are the one spreading false allegations against the other. You <laughs> you are, in fact, fence sitting on this. Unfollow that account right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. All right. I'm saying I'm taking things with a grain of salt, not engaging in the discourse. I'm following everyone involved because I want to see what's going on. It's just for updates from time to time. I'm not throwing the hat in the ring. You think everyone else? You think everyone I follow, I endorse? All right, let's go to the next one. Uh, imagine badgering someone over their Twitter follows. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's pretty fucking pathetic. All right. No, but, but he sure as hell is the one that started leaking EFCK. His words should never be followed, either at face value or with a grain of salt. It's always flimsy at best and outright wrong at worst. And this is the worst! I'm not listening to Akuma's opinion. I'm literally just here to look at screenshots when they when they pop up on my timeline and go on with my day. Akuma started it, therefore his opinion. Also, the screenshots are severely taken out of context. What's the video Lyle made? It disproves almost all of what Crystal showed in that hip in that hypocritical as fuck thread. All right. Oh, that's a long read. Uh, yeah, you, if you again. want, you can skip this if you if you really want to. No, it's okay. It's okay. Okay, I get to I get to show off and uh, and look and shut the fuck up about my reading comprehension because I can. It's just when I'm like, <laughs> on the spot. Yeah, I, I came yeah. prepared to read shit today. That's why. Um, again, I'm not in, <laughs> I'm not all into the situation as I've already explained to you several times over. I'm just looking. I'm just following for updates when they pop up. Which I, which they rarely do, which they rarely do. I didn't even remember that I was following them until you decided to DM me like two years. Wait, DM me after like two years and with art commentary. I'll zoom in here. Okay, yeah, I need to put on my glasses. That's my problem. I can't focus on what I'm reading. One second. All right. <clears throat> uh, let me wipe these. All right. Um, I didn't even remember that I was following them until you decided to DM me after like two years. And with the art commentary community, uh, you have to take things like you have to take things with a huge grain of salt. That's like basic internet knowledge. Uh, I don't know why you're acting as if I'm opposing you. In I don't know why you're acting as if I'm opposing you in this. Um, where am I at? 
where am I at in this in this conversation? I'm just trying to eat dinner. <laughs> I just had to eat. Uh, I was just I was just there for screenshots and nothing else. If you're so upset about me following the account, then you're free to unfriend me and unfollow. I've left the community behind and disconnected myself from it completely. It's no skin off my back, and it's not just the FCK leak situation that made me raise an eyebrow at the Senate. It's the Rosa one too. That's it, uh, and that's it. Okay, I love this next one without even like reading it yet. I already know this one. Oh yeah, yeah. One. It's a holler. It's a fucking game to get updates to. You're getting updated by false information. Do not follow that leak account. All of it is bad faith. If you want updates, wait for Lyle's video. Not a cult, though. Not a cult. <laughs> I love this degenerate hug box bullshit, dude. This is... I, I was getting and, a real it, kick out of it when Peach Reaver was saying, Kubo's side doesn't matter, though. <laughs> yeah. Their side no, doesn't matter. You don't matter need to listen to both sides. Just listen to Lyo's video. Don't listen to both sides. Only listen to Lyo Convoy. But that's not cult behavior. That's completely normal. Yeah. A sane, rational person. And also, if, if Jack wants to whine about us talking about him on stream, I went to Jack just as he went to uh feggy and i just as he barged into feggy's dms to bitch i barged in his dms to bitch and i offered a conversation i was like why don't you come on stream or just have a call with me i can show you uh you tell me what is apparently false and i'll show you it myself i'll even I'll, yet again i offered you know a, a, a personal walk through the server just as i did for the inframentator Mind you, the Ephraim has not accepted that personal walkthrough. He did ask for some evidence, and I easily went and grabbed it. Um, but he has not accepted that personal walkthrough. Um, neither did Jack. In fact, Jack deleted the tweet that I replied to and did not respond whatsoever, as usual. So the point that I'm making here is the Senate, because of it, uh, because of Lyo working with Peaches and doing these collabs. Okay, I don't know what is with like the really like autistic like creating accounts to pretend to be YouTubers that you're not. I don't get it. Like, I, I'm not getting the gag here. Uh, I don't, I don't, I, I think this is the same person that's, that did it in guys chat. I, I don't, I don't know. But point is, um, these people have moved from art hug box to art hug box to art hug box uh, and tried to downplay it. Oh, well, that's interesting. Is there any evidence of this? Is there any evidence of that? I would listen, listen. That's fucking hilarious. And I wouldn't be surprised because he's a scaly. Okay. And my like my bar for furries in scalies is like right at the bottom. Okay. Uh but it's uh it's <laughs> say it's Lyo time and lie all over the place. all over the place. Um but yeah, no, so these people they create these the these Discord servers constantly. And all you see, um, in fact, short story time. One of the reasons why I dislike the uh, Darkness Stone server is because of the fact that, oh, we have spamming. We have spamming. Can can someone take care of that? Can someone take care of that? Make me a mod. Oh, wait, I am a mod. You, lit <laughs> you literally already are. Um, oh, somebody already took care of it. Thank you. Well, it's probably it. I got hacked. All right. So it's a it's a fake channel, by the way. I know, I know. the at is Veritas sucks. <laughs> but uh, yes, yeah, so these people they make they make different stuff, and like my experience with the Darkness Stone server as one of the the previous old Art Tart hug boxes before they all left because Darkness the server died and Darkness Stone never it doesn't really associate with that community anymore. Uh, but there's still some of them left in there. And the reason why I don't like that server is pretty simple. They've always been extremely biased. My earliest interaction with them was them demanding evidence for Doodle's diaper fetish. I provided evidence for it. They then used the excuse of, this is old, then barred me from the drama chat. They wanted to ban me for providing evidence for it, by the way, originally. They didn't. They barred me from it. Hi, Teddy. Uh, welcome to the, ch uh, to the stream. And they wanted to bar me from the, the chat. They barred me from the chat. And then later on, I got banned for making people feel unsafe. Mind you, I never said anything or broke any rules in the server. Uh, and then just can, continued on to seethe about me for the years to go on. And then lie and say that they hardly ever talk about me. It's fucking hilarious. But 
these art hug boxes have existed for a long, long time, and they've always worked like this. You come in, if you disagree with a single fucking stance that they believe that's probably been fed to them by their favorite content creators, whether that's Ponder Sprocket, Nazi Monster, the FCK, Lyle Convoy, they lose their shit. In fact, one of my earliest experiences, and this might be a recorded call in Senate, I disagreed and I dared to talk about Hopeless Pete, not Hopeless Peaches, I dared to talk about Nezzy Monster and Ponder Sprocket and what they did. I dared to do that in the Senate and people lost their fucking shit, started throwing temper tantrums in the chat. I got pulled into a call where the individual resorted to, I don't like you, therefore you're wrong. So that should give you an idea as to how these communities work. And they move from server to server to server. So I want to make this very well known. The Senate is not going to be the last one. They always need a server to moan, bitch, and cry in. They always do. And there will be another one. It is bound to happen. That is the nature of this community. And this is also one of the reasons, again, like why you have shit like the FCK come into existence. Because these people love dogpiling people and controlling the narrative on situations. You had Lyle Convoy, okay, who in his video on me, in his video on me, accused me that he did on his first video, the conundrum video. Well, it was not on me, but towards the end, he ran his mouth about me, which he had, uh, he admitted to rushing. He accused me of trying to control the narrative. And yet he then releases a call with a crystal flame on the 25th before he finished the conundrum video where he admits you can actually go listen to his wording. He literally says it. You can barely hear it, but he says that he's going to get the video out before me. Well, actually, he says before him, referring to me. So he and he was he rushed the, to get the conundrum video out before my video, which is why it premiered two or three hours before my FCK server video. And he and they rushed to get the Twitter thread for Peaches out beforehand. And he also lied the video, saying that he didn't know that Peaches knew there were miners in there. But I'm the one who's trying to control the narrative. But yeah, yeah, exactly as Endless said, they're already trying to promote a new hug box. They're already trying to do that. They're going to. There's going to be several branches off. In fact, all the people in Darkness Stone server, because uh, the second they ran away when they were on my community post a few months back ago, the second they, I started calling them out for, I wouldn't say calling them out. I corrected them because they were lying to my audience. Quite a few of you, if you're watching, um, they ran back to their Discord server. And then they decided, mind you, they, they, t they kept telling you all that they had nothing to hide. Then they decided out of nowhere to remove the drama time chat. If you have nothing to hide and you apparently barely talk about me, why would you want to immediately delete the chat after I start pointing out that you constantly talk about me? That's a little weird. And that's because damage control is a natural fucking thing when it comes to the art commentary community and their hug boxes. It has always been a natural thing. And hold on, like I said before, and just as Endless said, they have to make new ones, right? The second the drama time chat got removed from the Darkness Stone server, they made a separate server to run their mouth in. Of course, making it highly private so that you can barely see anything in it. These people need these little like controlled environments where they can just spew the same horse shit and have nothing, no one question it. No one question it. And if you do, they start dogpiling and lose their fucking minds. That's exactly what my experience was in Senate. And that's exactly what my experiences in many other servers were. Uh, here's an individual. Sage is lazy. Okay, you, you, many of you may know that name. Many of you may not. They used to be uh, kind of commonly in the comment sections, like Kai Weiss, back in like 2021. They had their own Discord server, and I was a banned topic in it because they people just couldn't stop running their mouth about me in it. Now, with all that said, I'm going to invite on um, uh, Feggy so that they can. Someone remind me to get a coffee in a bit. Will do. Either Akumo, Akumo and Akumo needs to change their name, and there can only be one. Oh, we need to, to go to a, a fucking fight, a, you know what I mean, battle royale style fight, and we need to kill each other to figure out who's going to keep their name the same. All right. I'm going to send I, this I don't see a fucking problem, I think. Uh, I think it's hilarious. I think, yeah, I think, I, I think, you know what, I think if uh, we have to accommodate other people's pronouns, the very least you guys could do is pronounce our names, right? That's a fair we fucking point. Sentence. That's a fair point. If you if you're gonna virtue signal about pronounce uh about get, getting people's fucking personal choice pronouns correctly, you're going to differentiate the two names that only have one syllable in common. Thank you. The only I thing mean, we have in common is coup. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
you could do what Leia does and just say uh, both Akumo. Well, yeah, like, fair enough. I mean, we, we well, I know I'm not going to spoil that. I'm not going to spoil that. I'll keep that one in the tank. That's for later. Huh? Uh, the fusion. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> don't spoil that. Yeah. Um. So I sent Feggy the link, and if they want to come on and talk about their experience with that. But again, if it's not Feggy a call host, no, God, no, <laughs> no, but um, don't, no, no, remove that comment now. Remove that comment now. Remove that comment now. Delete it. De- you delete that <laughs> comment like yourself. A name. <laughs> you delete that comment yourself. You delete that comment yourself. <laughs> I mean, I gotta go into the fucking uh, stream chat. Hold on, the hold on. Wait, brothers. Light Eye Sky commented about me. I got mentioned directly. Monstrous, another Senate member. Fuck. Uh, Either Kuma. Oh, it was it was Dice who fucking said it in the chat. Fuck you, Dice. <laughs> Put your head in an oven. Thank you. Not right. de- you. Better delete it. You better delete it. You delete it right now. No, 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 <laughs> no bromance. You delete. I'm not it. deleting it myself. I I don't know where it is. No, 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 I'm not saying literally delete it. I want Ren to delete it. Ren, Ren, oh. Susan, Susan Gamora. Yeah, you delete it. You delete your comment. <laughs> I'm sorry about what happened. No, you don't have to apologize. Like, I'm not that pissed off about it, but it's just, like, if you're going to, like, have an entire chat pr- practically dedicated to me, don't pick at your face when I'm fucking with you. Like, that's that's all That's all I'm going to say. It's like, just don't pick at your face when, you're, when I'm fucking with you. Um, the, <laughs> God damn it. There's going to be Come Brothers fan art now. Oh, boy. Uh, we need to like we need to do like a corny fucking uh, intro, where it's just like it's like a Scooby Doo van, and it's just like the logo on the side of the van is the Cum Bros. <laughs> we do, we do need to have that. We could use it for a podcast if we ever do one. Oh hell yeah, the Cum Bros podcast. Yeah. Uh yeah, just just we're just waiting for Feggy to come on, uh, just so they can talk about their experience. But yeah, it's it's a little weird to say that you know for for Senate, you know, oh we're not a cult, we're not a cult, but. Only listen to Lyle Convoy. Don't listen to anyone else. Only listen to Lyle Convoy. There's Feggy. All right. We're going to have Feggy come on. I'm going to ask some questions. going to have them talk about their experience with that. Um, and, uh, yeah. And then, well, we'll I, I, I'm honestly not that interested in the other Lyle statement. Personally. And there's plenty of other people that have covered it. So, uh, I used to be in someone in the uh, art commentary community way back then. I was the one many people that drifted away from. I'll tell you right now, you know what you're talking about is true. Well, thank you. I heard Lyle made Peaches call him daddy. Uh, oh, I don't know oh, about oh, that Oh, no, one. no, no. Okay, okay. She did call him daddy on a live stream. <laughs> if you want to make that logo go short, go for it. But hold on, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Did, did Lyle make her or did she just do so out of her own volition? She did it out of her own volition, but she called him daddy. Uh, oh, was this during stream. the age regression thing? Was this during the... Uh, it was the ducky ducky, but here's the problem with oh. that. Here's the problem with that. Her ass was not age regressing. I'm sorry. Even if it's a coping mechanism, it I, st- I, I, it makes me uncomfortable. It makes it, me she uncomfortable. Fake, she fakes her fucking, I think, you know what I think is more likely? I think she just has like, I think she just has low functioning autism and she quote unquote age regresses as a stim. Where she like baby talks because it's like stimulating to her when she's uncomfortable. And I could understand if she's perpetually fucking uncomfortable because she digs herself into a like well, hold on, hold graves on. with all her lies. Okay. Um in general, calling someone daddy is very cringe. Um it's on that fucking ducky live stream where she's like, Thank you, Daddy, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> all right i'm gonna have Peggy come on guys all right um hey what's up hi howdy i'm doing pretty good right now how are you doing pretty good having fun just chilling okay that's Hello, good that's Kimmel good Twitter right now. so the thing with like jack and all that that he came out of nowhere a lot of the Sometimes people DM me from the old community I used to be in, like, randomly. But it was so funny. I wasn't even mad. I was just kind of, like, confused because, well, I was trying to eat dinner. (laughs) And the thing with Jack, he was banned from the Darkness Stone server a while ago. Like, years ago. 
for very specific reasons or, you know, like general making people upset and all that. So it's not, I'm not really surprised. And I have, I haven't spoken to him in like years, at least two at this point. And so he, after, after that time, he just randomly messaged you because he saw that you were following the fruitcake leaks. Yeah, that's basically what happened. That That's literally what happened. But I will give him credit that he did apologize like hours later, but it kind of fell flat because he was like, well, just be careful with that account. Yeah, it's 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 weird because it's very obvious he impulsively was like trying to get you not to, and then when you wouldn't, he was like, "Well, just be careful." Um, it, it's it's a little odd. Uh, that 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 was his impulsive reaction: is how dare you follow that account? You won't follow that account right now. Don't you listen to them? Yeah, it was funny. It was funny. I I can't even be mad at it. Well, uh, what what are your thoughts on the sin? Have you been in there before? Well, presumably since you were DM'd. I used to be in the Senate for like a, like a week or so, but then I just kind of left. It wasn't for me. I feel like if you're going to call a server a bully server and then be surprised when no one wants to join. It's a, it's a barbarian server. <laughs> yeah. But we're, but they they lose their shit over the tiniest of things. But these guys are tough guys. Yeah, and I remember there was um, a video that was promoting the Senate server while making fun of people for saying the Arsler. I forgot who the YouTuber was, but I thought that was really funny. Oh, yeah, yeah, because the, the Senate, they decide where the line of the sand is drawn, and it just so happens that any time, you know, they happen to cross that line, it just vanishes. It's suddenly gone. It's like the wind just blew the sand right over it. Like, I would listen to, um, you know, Senate calls. I, I enjoyed the content for what it was. But then again, I... Also, hi, Thuman. What happened with the Rosa call? I could not finish the recording i could not it was horrible i hated it it made me so pissed off it made me upset uh, when it comes to like the rosa call what i what i i can't exactly grandstand for the ableism stuff but i'll tell i'll say this what's what i find fascinating is they didn't stop and think after the call until everyone someone else took issue that you know their behavior in it was um was not right it, it took someone else pointing that out and then if anyone mentions it or dares to have hold it hold it against lyle right then all of a sudden it's well lyle's changed and all these people said that up until now you have people coming from senate saying lyle hasn't changed so it, it's a pretty interesting uh you know because their immediate defense was lyle's changed you can't talk about this anymore oh wait a second other people are saying he has it from senate from the same hug box uh, and like, the funny thing is, I've had, like, many people, like, disconnect from me, like, stop talking to me because of my, how I felt about, like, the Senate and its users and how they conducted themselves within drama that didn't really involve them. But, well, they're, they're there. And, honestly, with the FCK leaks, I feel like... It could have been handled better. That's like any situation could be handled better in if you know what I mean. Yeah. And I thought, well, my opinion was pretty solid. Like, I'm not very, you know, invested in the drama. I'll only see it when it pops up. Oh, Jibs is in chat. I'm listening. I'm listening. And apparently I was supposed to have like a very like you know, one-sided opinion. It was you versus us. But the thing is, I I didn't really care. I don't... Like, I'm not saying what happened was bad. The only thing 
well, wasn't bad. It, it was bad. Like the whole leaks and what happened within that server, it was horrible. And I think if it, if it were anyone else outside the Senate, they would go absolutely ham on that yeah, person, they call them like a pedophile. No, well, they didn't. They, they had, wouldn't call them a pedophile per se. I mean, maybe who knows? But yeah. I there's I've already found I already have a situation that I found where the oh, Senate really? dogged on December tenth, twenty twenty three. Look into that. Uh, they dogged onto someone for doing the same thing that people were doing in the uh, FCK server. Um, they had no problem grandstanding. Peach has recorded that call, by the way. If you want, I'll, I'll send it to you privately. And mind you, this is when they had the FCK logs. Oh and God. Lyle himself, and also this is another thing. This is why I think that the Peach is only wants to come out about this now because it's convenient. And she may have, there may be some truth to her statement, but again, I, that comparison of, you know, seeing other people get berated, she can hee hee ha ha and laugh all about it. But then the second she's on the receiving end, she, she you know, that's crossing a line for me. Uh, that's that on top of the fact that, you know, Lyo admitted to not taking interest in the FCK logs himself until he knew February 6th that I was planning on talking about Peach's involvement. So that in and of itself, like I don't, I, I don't know what made him think it was a good idea to upload that February twenty fifth call with a crystal flame. That was like the, the I, I don't know what clicked in his head yet. I should, I should upload this. I should share this because he shouldn't have. If he wanted to maintain everything that he had said so far, um, he should, he should have just left it, you know, kept it private. It would, it would have been dishonest, but none of us would have had confirmation of the stuff that we've been accusing him of. Um. And I think that because he's done such a, a piss poor job of actually recovering the situation for Peaches, that now Peaches wants to, you know, talk about her experience with Lyle and throw him yeah. under the bus. It feels that like it feels really convenient. I I'm not saying what the what Peaches is saying is like false or it's a lie, but I feel like it's very convenient for her to come out of her come out with her story yeah when she's being you know criticized i'd say like wait a few months at least or at least until everything like you know calms down but like you know a week after or it's just too convenient in my opinion no, I 100% agree with you. The Senate has fallen. <laughs> the Senate has fallen. Billions for scope. Uh, so, when, when, and here's the thing. Lyle didn't have to involve himself in the FCK situation whatsoever. He wants to paint it in, privately to the Senate and his, his peanuts that th this is some attempt to undercut his credibility. I had no intentions on talking about his involvement because he wasn't initially involved. And then he got himself involved. And, you know, now you have this with the whole peach is now coming out about her story. It's a it's a clusterfuck, and it's uh it is it is extremely convenient. It is, <laughs> yeah, disrupting support systems just like Emma said. Like, what the fuck does that even mean? Just 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 a buzzword salad, just bulimic, barfing up nonsense. Because what does that even mean? Disrupting support systems. You mean exposing you for a, being a lying hack? How is that disrupting a support system? I, explain that to me. How's that? How's that disrupting us? So is lies a support system now? That's news to me. Um, oh, like the funny thing is about like her document at the start. I know, like the Rosa situation, the call was bad, but you had so much fun doing it. Oh yeah, like, literally was laughing and he he ha ha about it. So like, it's it's bad now because people don't like that. That's why it's bad. Oh, and at the end. With the Jordan comment, it was so backhanded. Like, my statement is true, but theirs is false. You guys, listen to me, because I'm telling the truth, because I was Lyle's kid. I mean, Jordan was also Lyle's kid for a bit. And it just seems so backhanded, so condescending. What did you just send me, in law? What, I... I... <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna check this. Kumo, what are your thoughts oh, on this? You lead the stream. Oh, Queen quick. Seraphina, what's up? Oh, Queen Seraphina it's... just posted a meme. Is all it is. It's oh, dead, and it's, okay. it's like a bunch of furries dancing. It's lie over. <laughs> um, yeah, it's yeah lie so over. it's 
but there's going to be another hug box right after that is that is a guarantee i would oh, say yeah, definitely. i would say uh what's their name um hidden is like the person holding the keys to prevent to get other hug box from happening because i don't think peaches or maybe lumi could get another one up and running but i don't think peaches has the facilities to fucking figure out how to start up another server I, I imagine Peaches is someone who lets everyone else do everything for them on a technical aspect. Uh, Hidden, if you're still listening, you know, if you have any ounce of fucking humility for anyone who's been like subjected to the art community's bullshit, you, you'd probably just shut down your your uh, your next uh, your sort of Senate remake because everyone who's telling you right now they aren't just saying. They aren't just trying to like shut down your hopes to have like a conflict resolution space. It's that genuinely you're going to attract the worst people possible because a conflict re resolution space in this community is just not possible. Admittedly, everyone in this community is petty and vindictive, myself included. I'm petty and vindictive. I, I'm not going to sit here and act like, um, I'm not going to sit here and act like I haven't had a bone to pick with these guys for the longest time, you know? Um, but I think you should really consider, I think you should really consider not allowing them that, that space again, because it, whether you want it to or not, it's probably going to become it. And I love an eye for an eye. Same on petty. Yeah. That, <laughs> No more Senate. Yeah, no more. No more. It's not fun anymore. Um, I think it's one thing if you're going to be petty and you're just going to make fun of people and you're going to be a dick. But I think Medicare's video, uh, Tism Storm, Episode 7 or whatever, um, really puts it into perspective. Is We're talking about a group of people who want to be petty and vindictive and want to sit at the table with us and think they're cool. But they can't. They just aren't, they don't function enough. They, they are incapable of it. And here's why. Medicare said it best, is that we could joke about this, but we can't joke about this. And I've been yapping about it lately too. It's the selective application and, and imposing of arbitrary standards when it's most convenient for them. We're talking about a group of people that refuse to lose. We are talking about the absolute worst people to debate with or engage with in any sort of discourse. It is the type of people who refuse to accept when they're wrong. And they'll not only double down, but they'll dig a hole to fucking China to avoid owning up to being wrong. Um, and that we're not even talking morally wrong. We're talking about even the slightest fucking facts. Where, like, if I say... Actually, a perfect example of it was you guys might remember any of you who were in my community might remember a uh, you might remember a mod in my server. They're back in the server, but they're no longer a mod, and they never will be mod again. Um, but it was back when I was bullying the shit out of the Fox Mafia. It, the person was Cameron. Um, now, Cameron was doing this weird like autistic info dumping of useless information whether or not it's true it will be up for debate but they said some dumb shit about like um blue animals aren't real it's just a natural illusion that they appear blue to the human eye and i thought it would be funny to fuck with them by posting all sorts of blue animals and blue forms of life and then i got so bored that i started posting photoshopped blue animals and Cameron had a fucking tantrum over that. So much so that they felt the need to vent about it later on. And I got morally grand stood for it. <laughs> Cam mentioned, not the blue animals. Yeah. Um, but what I'm getting at here is, though, is that we're talking about, like, I wasn't even, like, actually, like, debating Cameron. I was just joking and posting blue animals saying they aren't real. They can't hurt you. Um and it got to the point where this person had to vent to a group of people, uh, confide in a hug box because I hurt their feelings. Uh, they they were traumatized by the fact that how dare I post blue animals in chat and say they can't hurt you because you said something fucking stupid. <laughs> Kumo can't just own up to the fact he was clearly gaslighting <laughs> SMH my head. So okay, I am back. Yeah. 
we were but, just talking about the hug box and the art community and how oh yeah they they have to have one they have to there will always be one that exists because they need an environment where they can bitch and whine about someone they, they that's why these people move from one to the next to the next to the next to the next and there's been many more i did not nearly mention all of them that have existed i have mainly mentioned the largest ones that were big at a time and later died and fell off when another creator appeared that they could rally behind thinking that they were going to intimidate and target anyone that they don't like, which is exactly why uh, if you go to Lyle's comment sections or Doodle's comment sections or even in the Senate, they're banking on trying to get some kind of dirt on me as if I haven't been like transparent about all of the shit I've done in my FCK videos. Um, but yeah, so they're banking on trying to get some kind of dirt because they want to distract from all this FCK shit. And I think Thuman said something earlier I'd like to touch on a little bit about uh, the fact that, like, they were trying to keep me quiet and, and shut me up about the um, the FCK stuff. So the, the reason why they were dogpiling me um, was was because they seen – they admit this actually in one of uh, – if you go to Foxton, the Freak Show's channel, they have a collab where they make fun of me in uh, my comments. And they admit flat out in that they were just doing it, you know, to have a bandwagon – to use me to make use me for views basically milk me okay uh they, they wanted to milk me for videos and that's exactly what they did what what is that hold on i'm gonna go check my door real quick i'll be back guess i'm back to entertaining his live stream um to continue my tangent um I'm all for being petty and vindictive and bullying people in the commentary community. It's just when you get people who refuse to take their fucking L's and you let you allow them to congregate and cultivate a autistic fucking hug box where they can do no wrong and they are always right and they always have to be right because that's the only way they can even, I don't know, live in their own head. Uh, otherwise, I think just like the 40 49 percent or whatever 41 percent these people would all fucking kill themselves if they couldn't have that at the very end of the day that they oh, were well, yeah they need, their they need argument. their um yeah. that's that's why they keep these little hug boxes and they wouldn't be nearly as bad if it wasn't a situation where you cannot question a fucking thing or if you speak out of time out of, out of out of tune out of line um they uh, i'm back guys everything's fine i'm back uh, Thuman Laos admitted. Yeah, okay. So, no, it's the I, I wolves. I have to that... ask. Yeah, I have up? to ask. Have these motherfuckers ever considered like daily affirmations, or are we just at a point where daily affirmations aren't enough? No, because you get more if you pretend like you're doing Game of Thrones over the dumbest internet drama. <laughs> right. I had no Bro. idea I was muted, so I was talking to myself the whole time. Oh damn. <laughs> that is oh. crazy. Yeah. Hello, Pidge. Stop saying you love me. Anyways, so, yeah. I if, A lot of these people who claim to be, like, you know, moral high ground, but literally they're just anime monologuing the whole entire time. And I can't help but just feel, like, so frustrated with these people. Because do you know how many bad people came out of these like servers these groups and it's just i feel like it's a pattern it's been a pattern and lyo has said himself that a lot of these people use it as like a disguise to hide their true intentions or you know to get heat off their back and we can see allegedly with lyo he's done the same thing yeah, yeah, point to somebody else's fuck ups or try and dredge shit up, and of course he's gonna do that because it like at what point what does he have other than pointing at other people? What what does he have, um, other than that? He doesn't he doesn't have anything because and they, this is entirely his fault. It, it was his own decision to get involved that led to the, you know this whole fucking thing stumbling out of control for him. Like as if I'm not going to talk about the fact you know that you're lying about all this. Um, and, and so if Senate, Senate is bitching that I've, I've talked about all this and, uh, it's, it's fascinating because a lot of people have made the point that this is something that I've tried to speak about for four years now, the FCK shit and what they were getting up to. Um, and now all of a sudden people, people can actually see it because guess what? 
be, because of the fact that these people can't be trusted anymore, the, the, they're hearing me out in terms of the FCK shit and all that. This wouldn't happen if you have lied. And that's, that's pretty much what it is. And here's the, the crazy part is if, if I didn't have that conversation on G, on February 20, on February 6th with Xeranthropy, I wouldn't have confirmation of any of this stuff that like accidentally me having that conversation. Cause I remember I, I told Kumo about it and he said it was a stupid idea to do it. And that I, I you know, I, and all that stuff. And then it turns out me having that conversation later on confirmed that Lyle was in fact 100% going at the angle to protect Peaches. And then Peaches uh, uh, stabs him in the back while he's leaning over trying to handle the situation. Dude, dude there is no fucking way. He lost more subs. I will focus on the FCK League since that's what I feel like is most he important. He just lost moment. another country in like the last couple of hours. It's actually, actually, John, John, just to just to be pedantic here, like Ephraim. It's actually, I will steal your essence. He leans in real close to the mic. Okay, chat. I'm gonna pull Lyo. So, so prepare yourselves. I will steal your essence. Okay, that's what he does. He always like closes closes in on the mic and he breathes it in. And that mic is practically in his mouth. Okay, and it's 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 like his lips and the mic are in this odd relationship. And every time he just gets real close and he, he gets real real growly. He almost it's almost like a lion growl. He does that. Uh, and he says that that's that's what he does. OK, so that's how you do the Lyo, uh, the Lyo LARP. You got to lean in, you got to lean into the mic and you got to say something really threatening and you got to lower your voice. That's how you that, do that, it. That's exactly how he does it. I've watched like a million of his videos. That's exactly how he does it. No. OK, so when I was watching the Doodle Tones Lyo SCC crossover, I couldn't like I, when I was, I, I actually had a hard, not a hard time, but a wild time making that LARP or Lyo video, because when I got to that point, it was already ridiculous. But when I got to that point, he, in him still doing the LARPy shit he did two years ago, where he's threatening Keyblade to like find his throat, or when the SCC are like trying to force apologies out of people and then demand the apologies be genuine, which is counterintuitive. Like, you better apologize, but it has to be genuine. But the fact that I'm making you do it means that it's not genuine, but we're going to ignore that. You, you better make it genuine. Um, it's, it, it was, and then threatening people with, with fucking Lyle Convoy was, was fucking hilarious. It was, it was something else. It would, I, <laughs> I, I, I don't know. It was something. Sorry. So does, I mean, a Mexican <laughs> showdown with Jibs. Lyo. I just messaged Jibs. I said, your PFP looks like a brown person making a kissy face in a white ball of claw, but it equals with your eyes. <laughs> Lyo, ASR, ASMR me again. Ooh, ooh. No, no. Delete your comment. Delete your comment. Delete it now. Wait, come on. I want you to open Discord. No, I think it's funny that Lyo grandstands and Lyo and, and Peach's grandstands the whole, like, kill yourself thing as if, like, Lyle hasn't done it. Um, did you ever see the video Lyle made on It's a Gundam? Felt like he was trying to punch up at him for some clout. I've never fucking seen that video, but It's a Gundam would. Oh my god, that's a stupid fucking idea. He it's unlike Lyo, It's a Gundam doesn't take internet shit that seriously. He he really doesn't, and so he would just do what everyone else that doesn't take this shit so seriously would do. He would just make fun of Lyle. Why do you have the TikTok accent? What is the what does that even mean? I that, that is an insult. That is an insult. What does that even mean? Oh what God. is the what, what is that even TikTok accent? If you don't explain yourself, you're getting banned. If Gundam punched back, hold on. Lyo would end up uncovered for LARP or he is much sooner. He literally told me to find a cliff. Oh wow. The internet is serious business, guys. Dude, whatever Lyle says, some dumb alternate for kill yourself, I always die. Like, yeah, why can't you just say, like, kill yourself? I, I, I don't know. Just sounding the way you do. What what do you mean by TikTok accent? What does that even mean? <laughs> Getting bullied by his viewers. Oh, my God. You literally sound like you're on TikTok 24-7. Okay. Forced to say I don't... kill yourself, forced to say unalive yourself. But, hey. 
Has Lau actually got into an IRL fight as an adult? Who knows? Um, he does some, he did, there's a clip of him that came out of him doing, I swear it came up in my feed of him uh, doing some like sword fighting. The stupidest video he did is, hey, it's comic, like it was a nothing burger video. There's this grovelly AI voice that has the same mic quality as you on TikTok. Oh, is that what you guys are talking about? What's better, being told you do have a TikTok accent or being told you sound like Mr. Medicare? I don't really know what the, I didn't, unless that person means, um, you know, the, that, that TikTok voice that Endless talking about. Uh, of course, she would know what that is. Um, it, then I don't, I don't know if it's good or not. So I would presume the Mr. Medicare comparison, I guess. The snake AI voice, I think. Anyways, it's been nice talking to you guys. Yeah, it's been Thank nice you talking to you. Me. Of course, of course. You were the one that Feggy ran to to bitch about, okay? To bitch and moan to. Of course. <laughs> Not Feggy. I'm at Jack's lock tile, okay? I'm having some trouble here. Yeah. Jack's lock tile, okay. Well, actually, his real name's John, and I'm not doxing him. I'm not doxing him, to clarify. That is literally on his Twitter account. So, to clarify. Wow. Any anyways, yeah, that was a whole situation and a half. I've had, like, multiple people DMing me about it, and then just kind of stopped. I said, I don't, I don't care what happens with the screenshots. I mean, he decided it was a good idea to go into someone's DMs that he hasn't talked to and try to play the moral high ground. It's his fault that it's out there now. I mean, my man, he needs impulse control. Yeah, it's a little weird that your impulse is, don't you listen to this person. Don't you listen. Don't you do it. Unfollow them. Don't don't buy into anything they say. You do not hear them out. That's a little weird as an impulse to, to go for. Um... No, yeah. <laughs> I can't believe that I used to be like, I worked with like half these people for a few months up until like, you know, just stopped caring about commentary in general. It's so funny to me because they feel like they have like, you know, the authority to tell me how like a morally correct person I am or whatever. But yeah. It was nice talking to you guys. Maybe I'll come back to one of your streams. I don't do live streams. I just kind of stay on, you know, watching videos. But bye. Bye. Uh, Thank you for having, having me. You. Of course, of course. Yeah, get this non-matching PFP out of here. Oh, we gotta we gotta match the profile pics. Did you notice that we're really like yes, I noticed matching. That's so yeah, we gay. both have the whole. Uh, chibi thing going on that is so gay i can't even change mine well you know what it fits the it fits the tone of the stream okay we're just chilling all right uh, oh my god so someone said that uh, that doodles denies doing the privacy complaint well okay then then why is it the privacy complaint is like the entire video who like did someone else do it on doodles behalf can, is that even a thing Wait. you can do Saw that tweet on uh, Medicare Fembot says, just saw that tweet on Twitter that where Doodle Diapers basically has a knife out waiting for Lyo to respond to Peaches. I think Doodles has me blocked on Twitter. Oh, thank you. Somebody yeah, tweeted yeah. at me. Um, a lot of people about pointed that out. So oh, wait, 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 wait. I've, wait. Do you want to pull this up on stream? Doodles uh, tweeted about it. If you want to give me a screenshot of it, sure. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Are you do you have Discord open? I don't, but I can open it. All right, here you go. Doo doo tones. Someone tweeted it at me. No, wait. They tweeted it at all of us. They replied to all of us. Under the uh, watching, yeah, Fembot said watching the Akuma, the, uh, the Akuma, Kum, uh, Kumo stream. Peaches, Peaches threw Lyo under the bus. Think Doodle Diapers at Doodle Tones will hit, will hit the draw cord or on the parachute or stick the ground. Uh, oh, stick around. Okay. Uh, uh, under the bus again, Lyo, free falling. So far, uh, so far, seventy, 
Oh, so they have seven votes. It says 71% says that uh, Doodles is going to throw Lyo under the bus. Hi, chat. Yeah, no, I wouldn't be surprised, which would be really actually funny. I'd get a good kick out of it if it did happen, because uh, I'll be defending for Lyle, only to, oh, no, not right in front of the bus you go. Look at that. Yeah. Hi, chat. Um, hold on. Let me pull this up for you guys. Oh my god, so, is that Bear Studios? Why didn't you say hi to me? You're brown. Nope, that's not what I meant to do. Pretty so good. fake. Share screen. Prairie. Da, 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 da. Oh, they're on stream. Not yet. I'm trying to figure out how to do this. I'm really not good at this. Uh. Okay, here it is. Here's the tweet. About the Senate stuff, I know about it. As I said about the initial abuse allegations towards Lyle from those who lived with him prior, I have a, res a right to reserve judgment until he responds. This doesn't change just because I know the people making them. Also, sorry I didn't make a statement about it. Uh, frame one, I was for once not staring at Twitter and actually working on scripting. Nothing commentary related, by the way. Something else I'd been working on for some time. Uh, so I, I don't really know if this counts as like waiting for a knife. We'll see. I it, I wouldn't be surprised because Doodles has thrown other people, uh, uh, <laughs> for you know, right in front of the bus before. Uh, it wouldn't be out of out of behavior, but um, I it, it, I can also see Doodles just the, choosing to uh, die on the hill. So either or, you know, it's it's take it or leave it. Either or could easily happen. No, we we're just we're we're. Uh, being skeptical on how Doodles will respond to all of this. Doodles doesn't follow Lyo on Twitter anymore, so there's that. I get. That is something. Um, God, I'll make a video on you because of your fetish being public, Lamau. Yeah, no, I can't do that. Uh, someone claimed that Doodles denied it. Um, good night, by the way. But someone claimed that Doodles denied the all of your opinions are invalid until Inframentator responds. Um, but yeah, someone said that that uh, Doodles denied the privacy complaint. Um, I don't know if other people can do privacy complaints. I've never issued one before because I'm not a little bitch. But with that said, why is the whole video listed in the privacy complaint? That's what's weird to me. And they answered with no. I think Doodles has spent too much time, too much time defending Lyo in videos. This is from Alex uh, to do a complete 180. I, I agree with that. Now I wouldn't be surprised, but I also agree. Like I don't know. I. Mm, it's interesting. It's, it's a shitstorm. I did say this would be a shitstorm. Now I did not know the magnitude. Okay, the the category of what kind of shitstorm it would be, but I knew it'd be a shitstorm. And the shit wins, they speak to us. Kumo, you still there? Yeah, yeah, I'm still here. You're quiet. Yeah. Well, I mean, I don't, I don't really have much to fucking add on. What uh, is there? What else? What's next? What's, what did you want to cover? Is there anything else you want to uh, cover? There is the Lyo statement from. Oh, I he made a Lumi. statement? No, no, no. It's from Lumi. Oh. But uh, forcing myself to take interest in anything Lumi does is is a tough task. Well, Lumi is, to be fair, a very interesting individual. So, like, I think something notable that I'm just going to kind of throw in there is, like, to, to just poison the well. I think, what do they call it? I think it's called a red herring. Uh, Lumi is the one person that I know uh, that, at least in terms of their interactions with the Fox Mafia, Came in and defended the, the defended the dolphin comic with a lollipop <laughs> argument while they oh. were debating the Fox Mafia. <laughs> that was particularly interesting. Um, Lumi is also the the one who uh, probably shoehorned the idea of identity politics into the Senate because I rem I recall the majority of my beefs with Lumi 
Um, anyway. Um, oh, wait. I mean, do you want oh, to read okay. it? Um, no, no, there's nothing. Uh, sorry. Actually, hold on. I want to know when this my, last Okay, movie. yeah, my, I was going to say, my beef with Lumi. So Lumi used to bitch about me misgendering them. Despite, like, despite, uh, like, they knew that they knew that I was actively, like, going out of my way to refer to them as they, them. It was just that it would occasionally slip because, you know, you're 1% of the population. You can't expect that change overnight. Um, and not only that, I, it wasn't even like, oh, I respect Lumi and Lumi's my friend. So I respect Lumi's pronouns. No, it was just, I, I started calling them by their preferred pronouns um, and making the effort. Just because I was tired of the fucking bitching and the the constant bitching and moaning, like it was a confrontation I was I was actually drained of having uh, with Lumi, and quite literally for the longest time, nobody in the Senate gave a fuck because that's how that's how much of a non-issue it is. Uh, I actually I don't know why people say Akuma is transphobic. I actually hold a similar standard. If you don't fucking know someone. They are not entitled to your respect. And so when when the pronoun posse comes in to say that it's the bare minimum, that it's basic human decency, it's basic respect to call someone by their preferred personal gender identity, um, the easiest, not even the easiest, the most truthful way that you should clap back is, well, I don't respect strangers. Respect is a two-way street. Um, yeah, and it's funny because Akuma has made this amazing point that for some reason gets downplayed and he just gets called a bigot for it, but respect is a two-way street. So if I'm expected to respect, uh, Lumi as he, him now, by the way, I don't give a fuck. I don't respect Lumi. Um, if, if respect is a two-way street and I'm supposed to respect your pronouns, well, shouldn't you respect my, like, shouldn't you respect, um, like my choices and rather than like imposing your worldview on me, like it's not even widely agreed upon that we ought to refer to you by your preferred pronouns. That is, that is in a vacuum. That Mainly is on, on the internet. Media. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's on the internet. Usually. It's on the internet and it's in your fucking 1% of the population hug boxes in maybe some schools. But let's be honest. The majority of people who go to those schools are only adhering to your hug box so they don't get their lives ruined. It's not a it's not it's not common rhetoric. And so it is valid to say that if you don't respect someone, then, you know, it doesn't matter if you feel like your pronouns are the bare minimum. They don't respect you, so they don't have to respect your preferred pronouns. It's actually a, a perfect example of this. Um, a perfect example is the fuchsia butter situation okay and this is one of the things that they did to sort of distract away from my issue with fuchsia back in 2020 you can go back to it you can check the comments and you'll, you'll see what, I, what i'm telling you is true so uh fuchsia made the video march 12th i go and make a response my initial response and then my i made three videos that year in total about fuchsia butters each one being disregarded because my pronouns mind you they're tell they're they're grandstanding me, finger wagging in front of me. You've got to respect pronouns. You got to respect that individual, which is really funny because Fuchsia is the same individual that said that I uh, was a cum chalice, that I need that I have a cum guzzling ego, that um, I need to suck their pink pube trans dick, right? So I'm supposed to respect this person. That's what you're telling me. Th this person I have to respect, but this person can mm. tell me that my very existence, my very breathing bothers them oh yeah it's, it's <laughs> again yet again it's this retarded fucking selective application and imposing of their rules and worldview onto you and let's be real let's be real fucking clear here to everyone outside of their hug box you don't have to abide by that you don't have to and in fact if you just had if you knew what to say when you're cornered by these like ravenous fucking idiots you could just say it's my choice not to participate. 
you are imposing your worldview on me. That is inherently disrespectful of my. That is <laughs> yeah. inherently not respectful of my choices. I, I actually have. So this, I, I, have I, a, I I'm not obligated to respect your choices because I don't even fucking know you. Um, imagine, okay, a Christian walks up to you, and you know what? Mm, yeah, this will work. Christian walks up and says, "Look, we're doing the celebration today for our Lord and Savior." This is a Jehovah's Witness, actually. Walks up and says, we're doing a, 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 a celebration today, ritual celebration for our Lord and Savior. Um, we would like you to participate. And you say, well, uh, I kind of, I don't really believe in that. And they go, well, yeah, but you have to respect our beliefs. So you have to participate because you have to respect our beliefs. That's kind of the whole thing I compare it to. Now, if I'm friends with someone, I will try my best um, I because I respect them. I, I, I respect my friends. I'll go out of my way to try it and work on that as much as I can. Yeah. But it's not oh, something where I'm going to adhere to an argument where they say where they say you're uh, where they say it takes it takes literally less effort to call them by their preferred pronouns. Actually, it takes more effort to uh, to completely adjust your vocabulary when you're speaking to or about someone that you don't give a shit about. That actually means you care more. So that's why I I actually I think. I think you and I just used to laugh and not really address it. But when they'd come in and they'd be like, why do you care so much? Why do you care so much? It's, it's like, funny actually, because I they say, why do you care, care so much? Yeah, exactly. It's <laughs> we don't care. You do. You say, why do you care so much when you're the one make, trying to make it our problem? Like, that's yeah. exactly what happened with the fuchsia shit is people kept bringing it up. Like the, my recent Doodle Tones video, someone was like uh, mentioning it and was like, why did you have to bring gender into this? And I was like, where in the video did I talk anything about gender politics? It's it's uh it's baffling because at the end of the day they're they're using a label they're like buzzwording transphobia to sort of like poison the well and demonize you or me too I guess it happens to me but I think I'm the more I think I'm the you, more like Adam you got to wax those balls Adam you have to otherwise you're bigoted oh you got to wax those balls get to oh it God. get those hands um, you know ready I think and, I'm and... definitely the more I think I'm definitely the more queer friendly creator here but like. Like at the end of the day, it doesn't make either you or me like transphobic. It's not because we have a disdain for uh, trans people. It's not. Neither. It's not like we're intentionally trying to discriminate against them on the basis that they're trans. It's just that I don't choose to participate in the pronoun game with people I don't even care about. You could get hit by a bus, and I would be unaffected. I would be nonchalant. I don't know you. I don't give a fuck what your preferred pronouns are. Mage, even members of my audience either. i don't care you put them in your you put them in your fucking uh in your in your bio from now on because i'm so tired of it i'm not even gonna avoid the confrontation anymore i'm just gonna mute you because i'm stay i'm i'm taking a page out of the art community i'm staying in my hug box i'm gonna mute you <laughs> and i'm gonna call you whatever i feel uh, whatever i see fit i don't care i don't, don't drink shit Pepsi or coca-cola they're really bad for you they're really no i bad for i forget you. what it was but I was reading, I was reading or listening to someone call you transphobic yet again, and it's pissed me off. This is the final straw with this like art commentary bullshit. Is they they want to sit here and parade around about pronouns and call someone transphobic, and I don't really agree. And Aku hasn't learned or changed from his from his mistakes, his transphobic transgressions in the past. And it's like, well, the guy was never fucking transphobic. <laughs> he like he never actually had any like disdain for they, well, a marginalized I dared group to of talk people. about yeah it's, it's because i dared to talk about uh, people who happen to be trans negatively or because i shit you not by the way the fck would keep in mind they said that i was stalking okay if i watched their twitter account i was stalking but when they were watching mine to then take my, what, a debate that i had in june uh in 2020 of june uh, well uh june of 2020 i said that backwards you know they were watching my Twitter to screenshot that and then also misrepresented, misrepresented the entire situation, tried to say that I went after those people. Keep in mind, Ooh. keep in mind that this was uh, like eight or nine people dogpiling me. And it's also interesting that the FCK says that I, I harassed them so much when yet again, this is a group of people who made who were focused on me for an entire year. And if I did anything in response to them, because the reason why the, the art community mentioned all that, Oh my, hold on, hold on.
<laughs> I'm lyophobic. <laughs> oh shit, man. Yeah, th th this is just. I'm absolutely fucking. Um... Okay, sorry, I'm back. Oh wait, wait, wait! Lyo is commented under the under his crystal video. Uh, what do you say? Let's go, lyophobic Harley phobe. Hi, um... hi, hello, chat. Um. It's it's one of those things where they they know that people are less likely uh, because the way they have their community set up. What was sent to me? Hold on. Oh, you sent something to me. What was that? Anything to say? Oh, yeah, I saw that already. Yeah, I'm I'm guessing this is yet another thing that's that's going to make him so so busy he can't have a conversation with me and he's going to go lying again in his new video. Um, that's just my best guess. But back in 2020. Uh, one of the things that they did is, you know, their aim was to, like they said, make it so that I was fucked, that I would have no way of retaliation. And um, basically, no one would listen to me. And that's exactly what they did. They did. I'm not going to say they weren't successful in that because for the longest, no one wanted to. <coughs> no one wanted to listen uh, or hear me out. Very few people did. It took me a little bit to build my own audience gradually. And that's fine. I like the slow and steady race. I'm certainly not going to social climb and, 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 and sell out and pretend to be some fucking figurehead and pretend to have morals I don't have. It's ridiculous. It's silly. And it, it, it puts you in situations like these. And I don't know why the art community doesn't really learn from that. Like ever. This, is, this has been a repeated thing throughout their history. Go through it. Ever since their DeviantArt ranting days. They would get in groups of people, start shit with someone, run back, dogpile the individual over the tiniest fucking thing, tack on as much as they can and sometimes for good reason sometimes that person was actually doing something really fucked up and many times it was just false accusations and so hopefully whenever this happens you know five six years from now and there's someone else in my position then they'll have my entire series and all this fucking history to freshen their audience with because that's what i want i want them to be able to have all the shit so when it happens again if this community somehow still fucking exists and it's still a zombie that's shambling around, okay, they can have all of this to go through and show their audience that this community has always been dishonest because I don't see it changing. I really don't. What's going to happen? I'm telling you this right now. There's going to be a new Art Tart hug box. There's going to be someone else that they flock to, you know, to teach lessons and hold people accountable like they love to tell themselves, those punchlines of theirs. And... Uh, it's just going to be a repeat and a repeat and a repeat. The art community is unable. Well, it's ironic that they want to talk about how no one else can learn from anything. And yet they are still doing the same shit they were doing years ago. Years ago, dogpiling people with nonsensical bullshit and trying to ruin people. That's all it's always been about, by the way. They, they, they just tell you all, the audience, the moral bullshit of, we need to talk about this, we need to come together and hold this person accountable. They feed you all that bullshit because they want you to think that they're a sensible, moral individual and that they have like these grand, um, these grand actual moral reasonings for what they're doing and not that they just enjoy it and that they can get views and clicks and you to listen to them. That's all it's been about since the beginning. It's it's the best way is autistic Game of Thrones. That's exact. That's the best way to put it is autistic Game of Thrones. That's they they think they're playing a Game of Thrones. The RTC and SEC are like the DNA oh, rank community. Never changed. Wait, 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 they wait, literally wait. came from that community. Did, did Leia like something? Leia something posted the. Uh, Leia something posted the uh, leak of uh, Lyo's script. <laughs> Lyo's script got leaked. Yeah. Oh, give that shit to me. ASAP. Download it now. Download it. Like, download uh, it. Download it. No, it's a it's a it's a snippet of it, I guess. I don't know where the fuck the leaked script is. Oh, this is this is about no. Oh, okay, well this is about shit that I hardly have any interest in. You can talk about it though if you want to. But it's fucking hilarious. He's like it's like no you. No you stink. No. -uh. <laughs> it's a screenshot of it, so it's not the full thing. I'm guessing Lyo shared it with someone, and then that person uh, shared it elsewhere. Probably that's usually how it usually happens. My script got leaked. My FCK one. Not my FCK one. My fucking uh, Slimmer's one back in the day a long time ago. 
that thing got fucking uh, leaked early on. But yeah, um, anyone have any questions? Chat, any questions? I don't know because Lumi's statement. I think it's. I think it's Lumi's statement. Hidden's actually here, so we can actually use her. No offense, not using in that way. Uh, Lumi statement is that the one called Lyo statement? Oh fucking no! I didn't get to read all of them. Fucking Gildan and Beckett were like, "Kubo, Kubo, Kubo! Please, please, we must, we must suck." Give us. Yes, I still plan on on Ponder Part Two. It's actually like seventy percent done. Uh, I just had to put everything like so. I had to put like the rest of the FCK series on hold because Lyle, you know, wanted to get involved. What happened with the Doodle Tone stuff? I only know of Lyle and Peaches, and I genuinely forgot Doodles was involved. So to explain, uh, Mad Libs made a thread, and in that thread, dared to acknowledge. Actually, this is another reason why I think they're a cult. I forgot to mention this to you all before. You've probably seen it if you watch my videos, but Mad Libs made that thread. Okay, a couple days before the premiere. Okay. Mentioning Doodle Tones' role play. Doodle Tones then made a video. And in the video, mentioned that they were groomed, and but they also admit that they were doing, by their own timeline and screenshots, that they were doing degenerate shit long before they were groomed, including role play. And yet Doodles and Lyo have been using the grooming to excuse the degenerate shit so that if you, and also Doodles' audience too, so that if you talk about the degenerate shit that Doodles is getting up to, the diaper shitting, the age regression, the vor, and a lot more, a lot more, you're, you're victim blaming. That's what they say. That's your, your victim blaming. Uh, thank you, Hidden, for that. Yeah, role play. Mind you, Doodles' excuse is, well, I didn't, I didn't, uh, I didn't make it sexual. I didn't make it sexual. But you allowed it to get sexual. And here's another thing that Doodles never acknowledges. Doodles made an alt account to return on the roleplay, and the reason why Doodles made that alt account was because the grandmother found the main account, and, well, this is pretty odd, well, thought that uh, Doodles, Susie, had a mental illness. Well, why would, why would that be? I mean, that's, that's a pretty interesting thing. I mean, perhaps the grandmother, uh, by the way, actually, we F in chat because Doodles, I believe, brother, told the grandmother about what Doodles is getting up to. So, the brother and the grandmother know about Doodle's fetishes, and I especially feel—I I don't know who to feel bad more. I don't know how, who to feel bad more for the grandmother because you now know that your grandchild—that that is your lineage, your bloodline—is that, uh, or your brother who is your, your older brother. You're looking up to your older brother, and your older brother uh, loves the idea of, of shitting in a diaper. So I, I I have like a conflict of interest there in my heart as to who to to um feel for uh yeah f and chat f and chat except she was an unpopular role player because they hated the diaper yeah so there's literally a complaint before there was ever uh before doodles is even groomed they were complaining about how no one wanted to role I play with them anymore doodles on twitter we're gonna do the countdown uh 4 39 p.m mountain time i followed doodles on twitter let's do the countdown i feel bad more for the grandmother i do too you know because that's like you know their their grandchild that's their their lineage that's their like it's fucked man it's fucked it's there's are some dark aspects to this shit i no doodles didn't ask to be groomed but they certainly they certainly as they admit put themselves in very questionable terrible spots on the internet and participated in very degenerate shit it does not surprise me that someone who is in those circles got groomed you um well, do we have any questions towards you? I mean, aside from is Lyo going to call me? Um, I say meaning Senate. Is Lyo going to call me? And uh, is Senate ever going to grow a pair and quit squealing about this whole situation? Lyo is so afraid the first of me. I'm not going to defend Lyo. You can't tell me what to do. Brooke unfollows Lyo on Twitter and refuses to apologize to me. Uh, imagine your grandchild being a degenerate. This shit sucks, Wrath. When we changing the channel, um, are you gonna are you get asking? a hidden in here? I, if hidden wants to come in here, yeah. Hidden, would you like to come in here? Oh, hidden, <laughs> hidden, hidden. Here is trouble and make it double. I had to. 
I have another, ask away. Literally, guys, ask whatever questions you have for either of us. When are we going to see the hood style boxing match between Akumo and Akumo? What? I, I guess they're wanting us to box each other, like hood style. Wait a second. Dude, there What's are that? 968 uh, just new, re new search results when you control F Kumo in fucking Senate. Holy shit. So you and Kumo beca be became cum brothers. Oh, boy. Did you ever get an apology from the FCK members on how they treated you? Uh, yes and no. It depends on who you're referring to. Are you going to make videos on the docs that came out or no? Um, probably not. I'm working on a, okay, I might as well spoil this. I'm working on a full compendium of the shit between me and Lyle and what he's lied about in regards to me and him since all this started. But I, after that, I'll probably make additional episodes, but I probably won't cover the documents simply because it, I think the timing. I, I, I didn't, didn't say yes. And yeah, as for asking what's sure. your pastime? Uh, okay. Let me grab the invite. Uh, my pastime includes spriting, drawing, uh, mugen. Um, another thing I like to do is just like make shit. So like it could be like paper, uh, little things, yeah. or um, can I make a pipe gun? <laughs> or uh, what would be some other examples? You like wood or paper, paper mache shit. Like that. those are just hobbies I have. Reading is another one I really like to read nonfiction, uh, and fiction as well. Both of them. Where are you at? Hidden. And there you are. Here is the link. Okay, it's not wanting to copy. That's really weird. You like role-playing, Akumu? Well, what do you mean by that? Like D&D? &D? We talking about D&D? &D? We need to do you never sent me your playlist. I forgot games. about that. We you like to, to make uh, like um, a Senate Hunger Games? Yeah, we should do one of those. Yeah. That would actually be really fucking hilarious. Were you there for the last one that I did? No. Oh, my God. We're going to do that. Yeah, it's a build-your-own fighting game. Uh, yeah, like little paper things. Like little... Um, what would be a good comparison? There's this Optimus Prime thing that I made a long time ago when I was younger that you put together and you weave like... Uh, you take like little um, threads to make the joints. Um, I've played D&D once, I think. Once or twice. Um, one experience is really good, one experience is really bad. It really depends on the people who you play with, and a lot of the people that play D&D, not all of them, but a lot of them, are really fucking weird. So, it depends on who you play with, and after my second time playing, I decided not to. The time Lyo simped for Amaranth in his lion mask. Unless Thomas forced Aaron to partake in that Rosa call, I am having a hard time believing she's abused by him considering he disavowed Jordan uh, disavowed Jordan for him. Oh, Hidden is here. Uh, so apparently Lumi made yet another again, another Senate server called the Supreme... No, that's not Lumi. That's actually Hidden server. Uh, do you read manga? Uh, yes and no. Hold on. I'm going to have Hidden come in. You guys keep asking the questions, but I'm going to have Hidden come in. Ahoy! Oh, hello. I hope I hello, can be heard. Hidden. Hello. Hello. I hope I can be heard. I have literally no idea. Yeah, yeah, people can hear down. you. Nice. Hi, welcome. Yeah, look at me. I'm scary. I'm a Senate mod, obviously, you know. Yeah, when did you become a Senate mod? The red coats are coming. <laughs> um, two months ago, I think two and a half months two ago, months maybe. Ago? Oh, so you're new? Okay. Yeah, I've not been there for very long. No, I'm not Sunny at chat. I am not. I am hidden heroin. You can follow you me British? on Twitter. No, I'm not British. I'm German, actually. What, what okay. happened That's to Sunny? Right. You mentioned something about what that. happened to Sunny, number one D1 Glazer of Lyo Convoy. <laughs> Like, if it wasn't Ephron becoming uh, getting promoted to head moderator, I thought it would be Sunny. What's going on there with Sunny today after what Peach has put out? Um, that's a pretty good question. I wouldn't fucking know because here's the thing, right? I didn't know all of this was going to happen today. It did, 
um, the Supreme Court mm -hmm. existed before everything went down. Mm -hmm. It just so happened mm -hmm. to be mentioned within the, you know, the statement that was put out. So now I have a community of like 350 people that I have yeah. yet to figure out yeah. what to do with. Okay, I got some advice. Delete it. No, <laughs> <laughs> it's it's either it's either deleted or if you really re I don't think it's salvageable. Give it to Akumu. <laughs> well, Make it his know. problem. Make it How his many problem. people did you have um before all of this? Like, are you saying it like it hit three hundred fifty today? Yeah, here's the thing. Yeah, delete I it. Over no, oh, Jesus. <laughs> Originally, that was meant to be my community server because I was planning on getting into commentary and shit like that. Um, now I have an audience that I didn't expect to have, which works out in one way or another for me. But yeah, um, I, be very careful because, like, when I say that when it comes to the art hug boxes, they move from ship to ship to ship, and so considering you said you hit 350 today, it sounds like a lot of them are uh running to your server in hopes that it'll be the next the next uh hold people accountable teach people the lesson crusade stuff oh no 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 that uh i've been very adamant on telling people that is not what no I'm no to, that, that but... do, do not okay zoch do not don't, don't don't insult hidden like that okay that is don't two different people sound completely different one's nasally the other one is not <laughs> Everyone th always thinks I'm heating. That is incorrect. I don't I know like... how. Because if you listen to a single fucking SCC call, you can tell the difference between heating versus everybody else. Yeah, really. No, like people mispronounce my name all the time as well. And it's like, no, I am not heating. I am hidden. Like, you know. I've only ever heard Heaton interact very briefly, like sparingly in Senate calls, and then I made the mistake of sitting down to try and watch Heaton's videos before. Yeah, they squawk. And I wanted to fucking yeah, I wanted to hang myself. I wanted to paint my wall even. You I wanted to put the, the, the cherry pie that. on the wall behind you. Yeah, I don't know how anybody sits through that. I, I imagine it's just people. I imagine Heaton's audience is just people who want to kill themselves. They're just looking for another reason. They want that 14th reason. So, uh, um, people probably mistake. Okay, so what's going on right now? Because I heard that there was a call going on today with Lyo in there. Um, That is correct. There was a pretty brief call with Lyo because Lyo is, or was at work when all of this was going on. So Lyo was only there very briefly, addressed a little bit of it, like it, I missed half of it because I'm currently juggling like three different servers at once, um, including Senate. Um, and I joined much later. He left the call eventually, which left me with the people in Senate to answer questions. I have no idea if he's going to make a longer thing about this and address it properly. Uh, he hasn't, as far as I'm aware. Um, and I haven't been speaking to him very much today, apart from, you know, things crashing and burning okay. and me cleaning it up. Well, uh, is there any any news on that call? Or I mean, I expect he's going to be even more. Well, now he's actually going to be busy, uh, considering the whole uh, situation that popped off now. But is there any news on that call? Because you know, people are. You got you got some people saying we should do a call on Twitter, which I agree. And you got some people in his comments saying that I'm scared to call him, which is really weird. Uh, but um... good question. I mean, I'm still very much going to push for this call to happen because I think it's a lot more productive than making videos back and forth um, rather than, you know, that. However, I do not know when and how he'll reply to this because I kind of just occasionally poke him, run away, poke him again, run away. Um, so I am probably trying to get that call to happen. I'm unsure when it will, though, because right now he has the reply to the allegations with Jay and Jordan on his hands. Then and now he Peaches. Has, yeah, now we have Aaron and Lumi that he's probably going to reply to in one way or another. Um, and then he has a bunch of background stuff he's working on. So I am unsure when I'm going to make that call happen. I'm going to make it in one way or another. Okay. All right. Well, that. Uh... What about me? What about me? Why don't I get? Why don't I get a call? With, uh, with, uh, <laughs> what about you're me? You're not cool enough. You're not cool enough for me yet. You have to earn that. 
I mean, I've been cool enough for them to lie about me for an entire fucking year. So, I mean, no, -uh. not cool enough for me, bro. That has to be Slash learned. really, really is peddling. I don't know if I should be. I don't know if you're somebody I should be trying to impress. I mean, people get you confused for heating all the time, for Christ's sake. So, I, I mean, one walks and the other doesn't. I, I don't get it. I, yeah, Shh. I mean, we'll see you're if you can my impress fucking me joke at all. With your autism. Yeah, I'm gonna ruin the fucking joke. It doesn't make any sense. Love to see it. I'm, gonna, also, I'm, gonna, I'm like... going to commission someone yeah. making oh. art of you, having really awful things done to you. Me? And I'm going to have an emphasis on grabbing you by the horns. Yeah. Uh, right. Yeah, I'm not really. Think, not, think, no, uh, think no. Septi Paws. No. <laughs> think Septi Paws. No. No. <laughs> How do Grab I by the horns, boys. <laughs> no, just no. Just no. I'm good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Akumo, Akumo, it's going to be real. Okay, okay. I think, I think, I think, I think you go back to the backstage now. I think you go back to the backstage now. All right, all right. Uh, go on, figure out how to do it. Go on. You're doing great. I've I'm being sarcastic. You think I was actually going to kick you out? You want me to kick you out? Oh, is that it? Do it, do it. No balls. Well, don't, don't you tell him what to do. I can do whatever the fuck I want. No, no. Now that you told me to do it, I'm not going to do it. Oh. <laughs> you ruined it. Uh, I'm seeing questions Price from me in chat. Do I just steal the stream and answer them? Yeah, go for it. Go for it. Okay. Once somebody asked me how I came across Lyo. Um, I've been in Senate since April 2023. It just so happened that I got active like maybe three months ago properly. Not because I care for drama a whole lot, but because there was an art contest. Um, and just so happened that I also am a like person with moral and ethics. So they kind of, you know, were like, hey, do you want to be a mod in here? I'm like, whatever, I've got the time, right? So I started being a moderator in that server. And now, you know, look at me. No more morals. No, no more morals. Only, no only. More mor my morals you know. aren't real. Yeah, basically, I'm just burning things down now. Um... <laughs> I just think it's I think it's fucking stupid to come on the internet and be like I think rape is bad. Rape is bad if you guys didn't know. I don't like <laughs> rape because rape is bad. I have morals. Sometimes guys, you should always ask permission. Don't take things without asking. That's bad. I think it's fucking stupid and pretentious and really condescending. So anyone who comes on the internet doing that is just like how is anybody taking you seriously? I I think it's just fucking hilarious. Like um, like it reminds me so much of Peaches coming on stream, going Frisky Doodle. You know, if you're making comments about how you want to see people get raped, that's actually sexual assault, and people in society Ooh. frown upon that. What it's like the more you know. No, we're talking about we're talking about the comment they made. I'm not letting that slide. I actually have ethics and morals, so they made me a Discord oh, admin. Oh, Let's that yeah. Ethics and morals on yeah. the internet, okay? Because when someone comes on the internet and says you have no morals, just say yeah, I kill babies. What are you gonna do about it? <laughs> like it's just it's such a tired it's such a tired losing battle to act like a good person on the internet because you can't please anybody. Yeah, so there's a, there's inevitably gonna be someone that you piss off. Inevitably. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, just even not doing something will piss someone off. Mm -hmm. So, but when it, when it comes to, like, your server, if mm -hmm. you read, don't want it to be like the Senate, okay? Watch out for really just, like, crack down on the art audience that joins. Not all of them are like that, but a good majority of them. I mean, I just to prove my misleading. point, I think um, you're misleading. go to, what, what am I misleading with? There is no, there is no fucking, there's no shot in the hell that a normal person is going to have a Discord server that isn't going to turn into a cesspit unless you are like, unless you're just completely transparent. Like I, my server has been running strong, perfectly fine for the longest time because one, I don't just let anybody in willy nilly. I don't give everybody image perms. Yo, and you got to gatekeep. Yeah, I have. You have to gatekeep. And two. I don't sit here and like preach on top of a soapbox to my audience. In yeah, fact, so I, you're gonna attract soapbox preachers, and yes, it, just, it becomes. And a nobody magic. loves preaching on a soapbox on the internet more than a fucking pedophile, and that's what the Senate's problem was for the longest time. Um, and not only that, 
Okay. Not only that, you also don't need to make fucking server rules. It's unnecessary. I I have rules in my server, but it's not like I really even care to enforce them. If I want someone gone from my server, they're gone from my server. I don't need to explain myself. Well, I if think the whole does something that I, I, I think is the, out of line, thing? I can kick them. I don't need to explain myself. You remember the whole punishing thing with Baji making people draw uh, yeah, uh, yeah, that's, the stupid that's a really thing. weird if you uh, just throw them in like resolution server, just use the fucking ban button. <laughs> like Or 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 what I like to do is um I got a, I have a cuck chamber. I just chuck them into the cuck chamber. Or even better, I just take away their fucking like it, I take away their perms and they just can't even use the server anymore. So thanks for being a free member. Thank you for thank you for making the server look bigger. You can leave at any point. Lyo's Book of Omen server is also shit. I don't know anything about that server, but I oh, it's the mind. server. It's the server where uh, his Discord admins were allegedly um, preaching like preaching to underage girls about why they shouldn't be lesbian because God said it's bad. It's that one. <laughs> what? Okay. Yeah. Um it was a whole thing. He was like, they've been dealt with. <laughs> <laughs> I've handled I don't know what you guys. expect from me. Yeah, I've over handled handle it. Yeah. Uh do you know why he released that call with a crystal flame on the on the twenty fifth? The um the entire call or just like No, he didn't video? release well he 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 gave snippets of it in the video, but in the hmm. video he admits to um he he admits that he's gonna rush to get the conundrum video out before mine. Which it's a little weird to post and upload that when you're denying the uh, accusation that you're trying to do damage control. And then there's the part where Peaches admits to knowing Slimars is a minor, which mind you, she said this before, or Peaches said this before the video is done, right? Which which means that Lyle lied when he said i doubt peaches knew that there were miners in there um so like my i I just i'm really i this is one of the things i want to ask him directly but i can't and it's just why did he think it was a good idea to post the clips from the call that completely contradict everything he's been telling senate up until this point good questions i don't know much about the conundrum video i know the crystal video a bit more intimately because i helped him like i helped him with the script on that um so i know that one was originally released because people were starting to run around calling uh aaron a predator and a groomer which is just factually incorrect um because of the threat that crystal had released on them um I have my opinion on that threat, and I've talked to Crystal about it, so um, this is not new. Um, but I know that was part of the reason why he initially released that big Crystal video. Not um, the Crystal video, the call that he released in it with, with Peaches and Crystal, the one on the 25th. Because, hmm. um, like, if you're going to you know make these kind of claims, why would you release a call that contradicts them to the public? I, like... I know I get that he's rushing in that he, he and whatnot, but at the same time, it doesn't. It's it's either he didn't think before he did it, or he thinks that his audience is stupid enough that they're not going to you know catch on. Yeah, the the part of like I'll be fucking honest, I don't know anything about that. So the conundrum call, the only relevance I had to that was I was in the like actual call where conundrum was. Um, while that hey, was no, being streamed. Who gave streamed? Lyo admin in his server again? Hey. I didn't do it. motherfuckers did that? I have nothing to do with that. You shouldn't have given he deleted Lyo the admin Lumi in his thing. own server. Yeah, he deleted the Lumi post, which is a little odd. Yeah, he said, I have admin again. Good for yeah. him. I thought he owned the server. It was. I thought no. ownership was passed to him. So no, who owns the so. server if not Queen owns- Serafina? I would ask Seraphina. Actually, uh, Seraphina's fucking. Uh, I joined Seraphina's server to immediately get banned instead of verified, and I was like, "Why the fuck did you ban me?" And they're like, "I didn't ban you." Um, hold on, let me pull it up. And then they gave me this, and I was like, "Bruh, um, let me find it. 
Let me find it. Because I think this is just bullshit. It's just the same fucking same old, same old. It's like, why don't you just like tell I them see, to cry about no, it? I um, see. They no said, one's taking us most seriously. Certain... Was username. Oh, Paul is here. Hey, hey, could you explain what I got wrong in my video? Since you wanted to. Plus all the lies on Akuma's. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, perfect. You want to come on, Paul? I'll gladly invite you on. I'll gladly invite you on. Anyway, they said uh, most people are not comfortable with having you around. <laughs> There's not much I can do. It's like, why don't you just tell them it's like to, to suck it up? I will gladly invite you on, Paul. I'll even I'll even mute Kumo and it'll be a, a one to one. And you can tell me all the lies that I pushed. OK, Damn. can I can I can I tear into Matt? Can I tear if you want to speak to him afterwards? Yeah, okay. but I okay. I've because like he's, he's been in run. my comments constantly accusing me of shit. And every time I question him to be specific, kind of like Ephraim, he refuses to be specific. I would hey, Paul, love how much did you pay that escort in that photo? <laughs> also, on, two, two people asking uh, Sarah left the server a while ago and Lyle has had ownership for a while as well. It's just with today that a lot of things went wrong and he had to regain um, admin privileges. It literally led to me being demoted as well, which was kind of annoying. But then again, I wasn't in the server when the statement dropped. So it is what it is. But I have mod back now, so I'm officially a Senate mod again. You're officially a Senate mod again? Yeah. What happened? You demod Lyo. <laughs> I do. I am not an admin. I am only in mod. So. So I'm, there's uh, there's two there's a distinction in in Senate with uh, admin and mod. Okay. Yeah, like it is distinct between they're called whips and presiding officers. The whips are the normal moderators, and the presiding officers are the admins. With um, I cannot. Well, I don't think you're gonna Senate. be a mod for much. To be a hero, <laughs> to lead on, on the stream. What's up with the Supreme Court, by the way? What nonsense is this? That's Hidden's basically. Uh, it, it it'll become Senate 2.0. I'm telling you right now. It's it, the, everyone in there that moved from Senate is going to be expecting the same thing uh, beforehand. Estimate Hidden. We're going to have to put you down before this ends. That's fair. Uh, Cable asks, "What's Senate like nowadays? Like, what's the server members like?" And in those what's on. Um. Senate has changed quite a lot. I think a lot of people are still on Senate from like a year ago. Um, it's different these days. Um, Baiji is no longer part of Senate. A lot of other old mod staff is no longer part of Senate. Um, the calls and the way gallery calls are handled are very different from what it used to be. Um, we also have me now, which means I sometimes yell at Lyle, but you know. Well, I mean that might help yelling at Lyo, but I think ultimately, considering Peaches and Lumi apparently wanted to make changes, and if if their story is true, both of them, and they pushed for these changes and Lyo didn't, uh it's I'm just gonna be honest with you, it sounds like a wasted effort. Oh, no, no, no. The channels uh, or like the changes that Lumi and Aaron wanted are already in Senate. A lot of the things that have changed over here have been because of Lumi and Aaron. So these cha like changes are already in there. So it's not something that still has to be changed. Like, obviously, there's a lot of stuff we still have to work on one way or another. Um, but the changes that Aaron and Lumi originally wanted, they're already in the server okay well like okay um so red carp said he wants to come on and inla wants to come on i don't think paul is gonna is gonna come on no i think i think, I think he might have scared paul away oh no paul, oh, paul if you're still paul. there you can come on i'll be nice i won't I insult won't. you i will does Senate still have that weird Lyra artwork removing rule breaker wall? No, we don't have that anymore. We do have art contests where you can win rule immunity for, I think it was a month or so, um, if you place in it. Um, but we no longer have any sort of strange rules like that. And if we had, I'd be very upset.
Such a weird thing to do, Paul. Okay. Um, Inla, Inla, what did you want to come on for? What did you want to come on for? What did you want to give me an idea? If guys, guys, Paul's not coming on. He's not coming on. I would love for him to. I'd even, you know, make the environment nice and cozy, nice and and cozy for him. But he's not going to. Uh, Baiji has not been banned. Baiji left that. Why did uh? Why did Lyo quietly demod Baji? Why was there no call berating Baji for it? Normally there would the, be. Fantastic question. That was before my time. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, uh, do you oh, know about the oh, December 10th, 2023 call Akumu. that was held about ammo? Akumu. Beckett read the entire 14-page script of Lyo. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so that's the thing to check out later. That is something to check out later. But yeah, do you know anything about that December 10th, 2023 call with, with about ammo where Peaches and, and Lyo were... Um... I know that call happened. Um, I wasn't there for it because surprisingly I have other stuff to do. Um, but I know that call happened and I know that ammo is going to be addressed eventually one way In or another. In a video? Um, I think it was originally supposed to be one. It might just be a Google Doc. I'm not in charge of the Amaretta situation. Well, I know a that... little bit and I'm not going to go spill in certain details that were given to me, uh, you know, because it's, it's not too relevant to this, and it, it is it, its own thing. And they can, you know, there's nothing wrong with them talking about ammo. Ammo's no victim or anything like that. Uh, to to Senate, I don't. And I, to make sure to make this known to chat, I don't want to suggest ammo's a victim of Senate or anything like that. Just that I find it interesting that Peaches and Lyo in the Senate did this call, grandstanding somebody for doing something the FCK did, and yet there was no call, uh, grandstanding Peaches and berating her. And uh, and in front of all the peanuts over this whole thing, there was only stuff done privately with Crystal Flame and calls. Um, and it's just it, it's uh, you know Lyle wants a specific example of hypocrisy. That that would be another one. Oh hi Crystal, I remember you. This is a question for Kumo, but has D Weasel DM'd him after the Serafina video? I know he deleted it, but D Weasel did delete the video too. But uh. I don't, Kuma, that's for you. Who's asking? Uh, Zodj or Zedge? I, I'm trying to read that name. Uh, me and D Weasel uh, spoke in private, hashed things out. We both, uh, he took down his video and apologized to me. Answer Inla's question. I remember you. Yeah, no shit, honey. Lol. What, where's Inla's? Uh, I don't have time to come on. Just refer to my last chat. Did you message me? Um, no, I think uh, the question was for me. It's why I was labeled as um, and last. Why was I labeled as devious and gross by the Senate in terms with Crystal? What do you think I did? Um, do you want to hear the truth? I have no fucking idea who you are. There it is. There it is. Found it. The thumbnail yeah. is uh, Kumo, thanks to Kumo. But yeah, that is endless question right there. Yeah, I found it like genuinely no idea who the fuck you are. Um, I have. Oh, they're the uh, they're the zoo and pedo apologist uh, and the uh, abuse apologist. That that's Enla. You Enla, said you my name and you're all hidden. Uh, could you Enla? Could you send me the clip of that and I'll, I'll if if without knowing who I am or what I even did. Well, this this is for you. I can't answer for you. Oh, that's fair. Like, yeah, I did bring you up. I brought you up because you were talked about um, in a negative light before. Let me put it that way. Um, also, I, I need to correct this right now, but the quote unquote call that you guys are referring to is a voice note. It is a single voice note that I sent into the Senate. And I'm sick and tired of it being labeled as a call because I don't do calls. It's a voice note. So it was a voice note sent in. Yeah, it is a voice note that I sent into the discussion chamber because the situation was going on and people were constantly talking about it. I got really tired of it because at the time I had not spoken to Crystal yet. Um, and so I made a so voice you, note because I got tired of typing. So you regurgitated their rhetoric about Emla just because you had heard them speaking negatively about Emla before? I 
swear to god i probably saw some shit but let's be honest i'm not as terminated online as half of these other people so chances are mean, i saw you, mean it. you saw some shit or do you like or am i right that you just heard them say it and you're like oh it's safe safe to say they're bad then i'd be i'd be more understanding and uh and patient about that because I, I mean it's a it's a fucking echo chamber it's a hug box they promote that and if you were part of that and you're no longer a part of that and you no longer wish to be a part of that i don't think anyone here is going to hold it to you if that was the case well yeah like let's be honest i probably saw some shit um but thank fuck i don't remember half of it so no i mean what what do you keep saying you saw some shit it, it just sounds like you're implying like there was anything for you to see to suggest any of like to, to corroborate any of what you said. Unless you're saying you saw some shit as in you saw them talking shit about Enla. Because Enla objectively didn't do anything. Like Enla interviewed Gilded Poo and criticized Gilded Poo on a live stream. And then Peaches comes in and subtweets and then in Enla's chat says that Enla is a zoo and pedo apologist. So what did you see? The only thing I heard so far was that Enla shares spaces with people like Gilded Poo and stuff like that. So I, I constantly hear you shit about like Gilded Poo, but Gil what did Gilded Poo do then? Well, that's the bitch that owned like terabytes of zoo porn and tried to invalidate. He didn't own terabytes. He exaggerated. It's kind of strange that you would say that <laughs> without fact checking it. Terabytes or not, he still owned it. That's my issue with that. He had um, he had small shock images from the shock shock era on a on a hard drive he hasn't used in two years and yeah, actually sure. a hard drive he shot he shot recently but hadn't used to troll anybody in two years yeah i mean i still have problems with some of his other content which includes trying to invalidate aaron's grooming stuff like that i'm so going I to invalidate aaron's grooming right now she not only plagiarized somebody else's fucking grooming grooming story but she can't keep her story straight or consistent to save her own fucking life anything else i mean I what else did gilda do that's bad i i mean you can disagree but i mean i have fucking i have like receipts and i'm going it's going to be in my video how she can't even keep her story straight and she plagiarized somebody else's story fucking bar for bar. So what what else did Gilda do that's bad? That's the the only two reasons why I don't like him. I don't think I have to justify myself for not liking somebody's content. I mean, I can understand if you don't like his content, but I mean, you're like referring oh, to him as on. if he's like, as if he's like Voldemort. He's a bad guy. Okay, so uh, they're saying so. Lyo did hidden. Uh, she said so you have no issues. Lyo sharing space. Um, can you, Lenla? Do you have evidence of uh, Lyo doing the same thing? And I'll gladly share it with. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. Hidden. Uh, hidden. Whether it's sharing space or not, are you okay with the fact that Lyo uh, was not only defended by, but it allowed to be endorsed and interviewed by a fucking lollycon? No, and I also criticized Lyle for sharing spaces with Gilded Poo and trying to get onto other people for it. He didn't share a space with Gilded Poo. Well, Lyle but did. But he was buddy-buddy with Mr. Sen. Mr. Uh, it doesn't look like a child anymore because it has cat ears. He was buddy-buddy with Sen. What are your thoughts on that? Oh, okay. I got something. Keep this conversation. Uh, but hold on, I have something I can share with you guys now. What about doodle diapers uh, in the uh, in the age regression diaper role plays that started before they were groomed? Lyo's associated with them knowing the full context. Hell, he even uh, he even like scorned uh, fucking Medicar for even daring to make fun of doodles for it. So what about that? Yeah, like I don't think negatively about doodle. Um, if you guys want to do that, that's on you. And I'm not going to tell you not to do it. I'm not going to sit here trying to fight you on that. You're allowed to have your opinions as I'm allowed to have mine. Well, the, I think not, the issue is that people are opinion. taking what we say and saying and, and using, like, for, and Lau did the same thing. Uh, is is If we dare to talk about the, the, the diaper shitting and the age regression kink, we dare to speak about it. We dare to even make jokes at it. The, the argument used by Lyo and Doodles and, and the defenders is, well, you're you're blaming a victim or you're uh, denying the grooming, which is neither not, has not taken place. And even Lyle said in his video um, that I was that I was I was he basically said I was doing something akin to that, implying it. Even though you know, if he watched the same video that Doodles made, 
he would know that the degeneracy came before the grooming. And I think that's what the issue is, is not that um, it's it's not that per se, but more so just the angle that Doodles and, and Lyo have, especially in his video, the conundrum video, have taken it. I mean, I, no. I, did, I did hear about the timeline issues when it came to that. Um, I've not seen Doodles address it, and I'll be honest, I have not spent my time looking into that, because as much as I enjoy having drama videos as background noise while I draw, I don't get particularly invested in these situations. I have my opinions on specific people with specific, you know, situations that mm -hmm. I hold well, that's regardless invested of in the situation inherently. I actually want to press that further. You were talking about, well, he owns he owns or owned zoo porn. I actually want to press that even further. So what about uh what it, it, and I'd love this, I love this because we're it, I think we're more than fair to do a what aboutism here. Okay. If Gilded Poo having very minimal and very low bit just for the sake of trolling contents that you can still get today off of 4chan archives contents of people abusing animals that he used for trolling two years ago if that makes gilded a bad person then what about all the other shit that lyo used to do that was not only adjacent but equivalent in, well, i think I it was in more recent memory than gilded what about that well, unless I see proof of that, I'm not going to. What? Uh, wait, 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 wait. Do you? Does it need to be explicitly like fucking low bit videos of animals getting like raped, or is 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 it okay that Lyo used to post and ping everyone with like a fucking a turkey with the the a turkey with baby doll parts on it with hot dogs stuffed inside of it? Is that not suggestive enough and fucking gross enough for you? No, it, it is. It's just, I've just not trolling is well. fine. If just trolling is fine. Oh, so trolling isn't fine. Exactly. That's my point. Like, whether so or not Gilded fine. used their stuff uh, for trolling, I don't care. I just Well, I think his it. point is that Lyo grandstands Gilded when he's done shit akin to it. He's done shock. Uh, even he, I think when they spoke, he said something along those lines. And that was something that they used to do back in, in, in uh, and, and when they were younger and whatnot, that was a normal thing for them. And Lyo's apparently, I've actually, actually, no, not apparently, I've seen the image and, and what Kumo's talking about. So it's interesting that it's Lyo even, still... That image isn't against. even the worst of Lyo's bullshit, too. I, would you like me to send that image to, to Hidden? I mean, Have you seen that to. image? I imagine I Hidden's already seen it. Yes, I've seen that image. That is yeah. not news to me. So hidden, I just want to know like what this like at what point or what at what point is it not fair game or like at what point is it like still okay for you to like demonize Gilded Poo despite him not having done it in years, like two years. He hasn't done it in two fucking years. And just the just the uh the thought of the hard drive existing was enough to rile people up. He hasn't done it in two fucking years, and he's even gone as far as to shoot the original contents after wiping it everywhere wiping any other existence of it why is it okay to grandstand him any further i'm not saying that it is here's the thing i'm not lyo and i don't have to inherently agree with all that lyo does just like everyone else i have my criticisms of lyo's behavior before all of that but i would also like to remind people that i've only been part of senate since april 2023 so anything that comes before that i've only heard or i've only seen through other people I do not like Gilded Poo. I'm not sitting here going, wow, Gilded Poo is the worst person ever. But I am saying that I disagree with a lot of his views. And I also disagree with a lot of what he's done. Um, and I draw the line. That is not a person I want to be associated with or interacted with. But I've also stated to Lyo and to you guys on stream that I don't think it's fair for Lyo to demonize you people for sharing a space with Gilded because he's done the same fucking thing, so he doesn't have a right to put that on you and grandstand about it. Does he have to associate with Gilded Poo? No. Does he have to be nice to Gilded Poo? No. The reason I personally started heavily disliking Gilded is when Gilded sat on Twitter and told Nezzy to off himself. That is, that, yeah, that is, yeah, that I, is I, where I, I genuinely drew the line. And those are actually that's a weird line why... to draw because it was it was a very obvious attempt at like sympathy baiting. Well, you don't. Well, Ren, I'm not trying to do guilt by association. Mean. I think we're just trying to make the point that yeah. guilt by association is a flawed argument, especially because Lyo's favorite tactic when he can't respond to something is guilt by association. 
and it it, it Lyo of all people in general it's a bad argument but Lyo of all people using that is really asinine more to the point uh <laughs> going to twitter and saying guys should i kill myself should I kill my Twitter? Twitter. Should I kill myself today? It is inherently fucking disingenuous and sympathy baiting because the, the real the reality of it is they're just blowing it out of proportion and going, guys, this drama is getting me getting well, to me so what, bad. What, what, I'm what gonna kill myself. Don't me. make me a martyr and white knight for me because the reality of this is these people don't come onto Twitter and suggest that they have suicidal ideation until they're amidst fucking drama. And getting curb stomped by with their own like getting spat back. I got I got a better point. To make. I got a better point to make. What what I don't what I don't like about what Nezi did in regards to that because I don't doubt her being suicidal. But what I find really weird about it is is two things. One, her saying that this has been talked about for four years. She knows that it hasn't been because the FCK server just now has started gradually coming out since my series. It hasn't been talked about that the the sexual harassment accusation she made and the false doxing accusation has been talked about. And the reason I talked about it so consistently is because no one knew about it. You just seen people in the chat start talking about the Ponder video and not having seen it yet. No one knew about it. Everyone, hundreds of thousands of people have seen her and Ponder's two videos on me accusing me of doxing and all kinds of shit. No one knew that it was false. No one, yeah, Nezzy is a Nezzy monster. No one knew about any of that. So, but me talking about it's a problem, and yet Senate and a lot of people make the defense that that uh, it's four years old and so does Nezzy. Why are we still talking about it? And yet the FCK server hasn't been talked about for four years. Uh, it, it's been it's been talked about as of twenty like late twenty twenty three and and now. And uh, uh, secondly, why is it people just having a conversation about what they did? What not not that people are falsely accusing Nezzy, just that having a conversation about what Nezzy monster did is is so shocking to the point of, of reaching suicide when she could sit there and accuse me of doxing to hundreds of thousands of people with no fucking second thought about it. Knowing it was false two days later, doing nothing to retract it while I'm getting berated by those hundreds of thousands of people. And but I didn't, I, I didn't run to Twitter. face the music for all of that shit. It's guys, should I kill myself? Guys, I, I feel I, like I everyone would be it. better off if I'm not here. On fucking Twitter.com. So I don't think Gilded was out of pocket for that. In fact, I think more people should have said that. I think he was out of pocket with it, but I also think that it's ridiculous. But, but even then, more to the fucking point is like, okay, if you if you just don't like Gilded Poo in your yeah, personal opinion and you guy. don't want to associate with him, then, then no, hold on, hold on, hold on. Where I was even going with that is because your initial justification for saying bad shit about Enla was that Enla, you, you, what you saw was that Enla shared a space with Gilded Poo. But now you're walking that back and saying, well, no, I don't agree with Lyo that you guys should be chastised for sharing spaces with Gilded Poo because I only dislike Gilded Poo in my personal opinion. That was wrong. But uh, my original argument was that I saw Enla's name solely used in negative light. So I went with that, which is on me, by the way, for not doing my research. Right. I'm not I'm not saying I'm not saying, oh, my God, I'm like so in the right for saying this because our Lord and Savior Lion Convoy said it. Um, but like, obviously, I went with a pe like person I've trusted um, for two so months, I'm, more or less, um, more or less trusted. You know what I mean? And I uh -huh. looked at it and I went, okay, fine, I'll go with this for now. And I did not do my research, which once again, that's on me. But you know, it is what it is. No, and here's the thing. I I oh, get shit. with the way sin it is in the hug box stuff. I I mean, I don't like it because I certainly don't like the guilt by association thing with with doing it to Inla, doing Dude, it to me. The fucking Fox Mafia for trying to do the same thing. They tried they were like, why are you talking to Gilded? You, well, you here's the us for you to be. Well, here's choice, the thing. I'm I'm verifying this before people. I can talk about it because I want to share this with you, hidden while you're here. I'm trying to verify if I can beforehand. Um, one sec. Sure. But it's it adds to the whole guilty by association thing, and as as to why, like, why really? I I mean I don't want to say no one should trust Lyo, but at the same time. This is something he clearly goes out of his way to do just to make people look bad because he's upset with them. And I want I want to be able to show you this. If if not, if I can't show you it on stream, I'll show you it afterwards. But I want to make sure I can show you it on stream beforehand. 
um, because it's something that um, is neat. Do you guys know who Laka Mocha Laka is? He has called out a lot of old AC. I know who Laka is. Laka did the Junkie stream. But yeah, no, what what Kumo's issue is and what my issue is is the guilt by association that, that Lyo does so much that Senate has started doing it and his comment section has started. It's like it's become a big thing that he does. Um, and like, for example, the, you know, the people you surround yourself with. And yet uh, for, for me being in a server with Gilded, when uh, there's many people in his in in senate that he surrounded himself with in the past and didn't want to get rid of the, the or that he surrounds himself with situation now that not only him and peaches have been like debunked on time and like tirelessly but like why is that inherently like if anybody associates with me a year after the fact that or not even a year after the fact like why is that like how is that like what is the crime there i just want to know what oh you you made a you made a mistake you made a poor you made a poor like decision regarding someone's mental health at the time, at a time where you had like very poor mental health. Uh, okay. What was, what was the offense there? What was the offense? W was it a kid? No, the per the chick was a fucking month older than me. Okay. Was I being malicious? No, prove that. <laughs> was I being callous? Not really. I was fucking voice cracking and expressed my discomfort. But of course, Lyo and Peaches don't ever want to say anything about that. Uh, it's all just you encourage someone to cut themselves. No, then they'll never even do that. They'll say I'm, they'll say I made her do it. Like I had a fucking gun to her head. Uh, no, I drove her to doing it. Like I sat here and coerced her into doing it. Like they can never keep their story straight. One, but even so, let's entertain it. Let's let's say for even a second. Let's say maybe they are right, which they they aren't. Let's say maybe they are. What is the fucking crime? What is the offense? That what means... is it? Is it is oh he he this one thing we're saying we're we're blowing out of proportion about him. Uh yeah, this totally happened. So if you ever share any spaces with him, he's probably making people do it in that space or what like what is the fucking implication? They'll never actually elaborate on what that could mean. And actually, no, they kind of do elaborate. They like to they like to act like the situation is plural, like it's happened more than once. I mean, that's fair. Um, I have my opinion on that situation, regardless of whether or not it was consensual. Um, and I do actually dislike it, so I do fault you to an extent for it. But that's whether or not on... it was consensual? It was consensual from what I heard. At least that's what you're saying. What do you mean from what you heard? Did you not did you also not hear the clip, the fucking out of context clip they parade around they parade about to, to sort of shut down anything I say? Because I mean I've... it doesn't shut down what I say, it just contributes to what I say. Have you not heard the clip? They no, love I've... that clip. Have... I have not heard the clip. I heard what happened, and my opinion on it is whether or not it's consensual. How have you not heard the clip you by sh... now? Because I'm not interested in bullshit like that. Like well then, why do you feel inclined? Why do you feel at liberty to have an opinion on my situation if you won't even, like even look into it? People have shown me the banner that you had, and I heard that you, the situation was consensual. She did it because she wanted to, not because you made her. That is what I heard. Okay, so then why? But even then, like you, so you're admitting you don't have the full extent. You've seen a banner, and then you've heard like hearsay about it. So why are you entitled to having a, like, why are you at liberty to, like, make judgments on my behalf? Well, because I think whether or not it was consensual, you should have stopped her from doing it. Because I was going to stop her from doing it over the internet? Did they also yeah. explain to you, hold on, did they also share with you how I explained that this person was going to, like, a fucking Streisand effect? If I told them not to do something, they were ten times more inclined to do it? He's got DMs for that, and I, I don't think they yeah. In any case, my opinion is you still should have tried to stop her if you didn't want to do that, or it was you don't you know, know not if possible. I didn't try to stop her. Well, did you? Yes, I tried to stop her on many occasions, and not only that, I'm more than atoned for it afterwards. He's got a how? video that explains it as well. If you, what do you mean if you how? Don't... Like there was that one out of context clip. That looks fucking awful, especially when it's, you know, the fact that it has no context, right? That, that that can be used to misconstrue 
and paint any sort of narrative they want. That's all there really is to, to back it up. The rest, the, every other interaction that is even like that there is a receipt for between me and Asta is that I not only not only did I tell did I like discourage and beg her to stop fucking doing it, but even if it was too late, I at least told her to go bandage it and clean it so it didn't get infected. And that is like the only fucking receipts. And this is why I offered them if they want to dig into the fucking situation. I offered them to which they all declined to see anything. I offered them to see it because if they would have looked into it for even a fucking second, they would have seen, oh, this is clearly just like out of context. Okay. So hidden, I can share this with you. So this is DMs. I've just been given the go ahead to share this with you. This is off topic, but this is an, um, yeah, I'll show it on stream. Okay. Okay. Showing it on stream okay uh, no so... hidden hidden you know what uh actually i remember the first time i got confronted by senate they said well you should have stopped her and then i explained that very same dynamic do you know what they moved the goalpost to because i know it's what i it has to be what moved to your head next can i i, I can probably just take a guess right go ahead okay why why didn't you remove yourself from that situation is that not what you're thinking right now Nope, I'm still okay. on the, you know, you should have stopped her in that if that was not How possible. was I going to stop her through through a phone call? Well, you could have talked to her. You could have talked her out of it. You don't think I had tried that? Well, I assume you had tried it. Because I okay. assume you all didn't else want fails. this person to hurt themselves. It all else fa wait, wait, wait. And not only that, why are you still holding the position that I should have I should have uh, tried to talk her out of it when I just explained to you she's the very type of self-destructive person that if you tell her not to do something, she's she's going to feel more inclined to do it anyway? Why do you... Or, or at that point, is it just logically I should just... If I knew that what I was going to do was going to make the person fucking do it anyway, like, that I should do it? Because I feel like morally, I would be less inclined to do that. Uh, well, if you, you know. sort of have, if you sort of have a, uh, if you sort of have a a impression that, or a, not even a, an impression, reason to believe what you're what you are about to do is going to bring about a the act the exact opposite of what you intend. Wouldn't you like morally? feel inclined not to do what you were planning to do well yes my point is like okay so were there other people was it just you and her in the call there were there were other people it was basically yeah, she people. invited him to a, a group chat um to of other people that egg that behavior on so even even if he in that group by at that point right like even at that point even if he said something, there were other people egging it on. So, like, I, I don't, unless you expect him to, like, that Optimus Prime meme, you know, drop ship to our location to stop it. I, I, I don't get the, the, the thing. This kind of reminds me of the, um, the Wait, Senate had, stuff. Had, with, has uh, anyone ever shared with you the fact that, like, when I first entered the group chat, they were they were trying to desensitize me to it. So, going as far as to victim blame fucking Bianca Devins. No, that um, would have been my next question. My next question would have been like, if the other people were in the chat, what was their stance on the thing? You just said it was because encouraging they were it. Basically the entirety that. of the group chat is yeah, them encouraging each other to self harm. I mean, if at one point they're like, "Is this just a self harm group?" <laughs> like it, it, the dumbest fucking question because that's all it even was to begin with. Fair point. Okay, so in regards to the. Uh, people forgot she got Kumo to, yeah, yeah, that is another thing too. That's, that's the thing that's also not talked about. Like, okay, so here's a point that I'd like to make. I made late before in the stream. So people are going to hear me make this again, but I, I think it's odd. Okay. That Lyo's excuse for Peach's behavior in the FCK is she was groomed. And you yourself said that that was relevant because it explains her behavior there. And me and you disagree on that because I don't think it, it's relevant because the groomer wasn't there, but you're not. So, so Lyo's stance is. That's important needed context for the FCK, despite the groomer not being there. But in this situation with Kumo, where he's, there's no context given from from Lyo's end on the fact that this is something that you know she got him to do, 
initially and was trying to normalize for him, putting him in group chats and dragging him on uh, and dragging him in there, surrounding him with people that were trying to egg it on. And then he's in a call where other people are, are egging her on to do it. And he's already tried getting her to stop multiple times and it's gone nowhere. But that that's okay to he he laugh at. I'm not I'm not saying either or you can't laugh at either. I'm not making I'm not trying to draw that line in the sand here. I'm saying the people that draw the line in the sand aren't consistent with it. You can't laugh at peaches. You can't laugh at doodles, despite the fact that degeneracy came before the 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 grooming. But with with Kumo, they can wield that against him and laugh at him for it. It's it's inconsistent, is what it is. One minute it's okay, even though she resulted. In his issues, even though she was very clearly from the messages pushing him into doing it, they can laugh about it. They can mock him for it. They can wield it against him. But Peaches, whose groomer wasn't in the FCK, whose groomer probably didn't even know of the FCK's existence, you, you that's apparently needed context if you talk about the FCK. It's not needed context when you talk about Kumo, but it's needed context when you talk about the FCK and Peaches' involvement with it. Or, for example, Doodle Tones. OK, they say that you're uh, providing misinformation or that you're misrepresenting it if you don't provide the needed context that Doodles is groomed, despite the fact that degeneracy came before the grooming. When in Kumo's situation, she was the one pushing him into doing this. It wasn't the other way around. And yet they misrepresent it as though it was him pushing her into doing it. Make that make sense to me. That's that's the one thing that just doesn't like wrap in my brain as to, OK, this we can laugh at. This we can talk about with no context. These two other things we claim is needed context when they have nothing to do with the other. No, I agree that is context that has to be added, and I'm glad I've been giving that, like, given that context because that puts the situation in an entirely different light. So, you know, that is important context, and people who take that context out of the equation are misrepresenting the situation, great. and you know. I'm sorry, Kumo, that this happened to you, that this person tried to get you to self-harm. That's not okay. Well, he's not wanting, like, you know, that or anything. He's just wanting that 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 inconsistency to be pointed out because it's you wielded against him time and time again, and yet you you're not allowed to talk about the shit with doodles, despite the fact that it came before the groomer was even he had even met like so that the okay so kumo got into self-harm directly because of this directly because of this and because of because of asta it was it was, it was a subsequent consequence to this but they don't mention it when talking about it in live streams in the senate and in videos making fun of him for it but then with with doodles you have to apparently mention that Doodles was groomed, despite the fact that degeneracy, by Doodles' own evidence, came before it in 2013 and 2014, before they met the groomer November 2nd of 2014. That's the whole thing that just doesn't make any sense to me. And that's the, the issue that me and Kumo have. We're not looking, you know, for um, some kind of, I guess, pity party or anything like that. It, I know he's not. He, he, would, he just wants to move on from it. Um, because that they came as a result of it and he's been, he, but when it comes to, you know, doodles, can't talk about that unless you mention the grooming. Otherwise you're shaming a, 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 a victim peaches. Same thing with the FCK shit. Apparently you have to mention that. Otherwise you're cutting context. That's what Lyo has said. That's been his standard that he said in the conundrum video and, um, for doodles and peaches, by the way. That's why I, I I really suggest you watch that video and then you watch the Crystal Flame video like back to back. Watch them both back to back. You'll see what I mean. Um, actually, it might be better chronologically because if you watch the Crystal Flame video before the Conundrum video, because the Crystal Flame video actually has the call from the February 25th discussion that they had, which is before the Conundrum video, and they talk about the Conundrum video in it. That if you want to be pedantic with your with your timeline. But that's 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 my issue with this whole thing is it's okay to it's not okay to he he ha ha laugh about certain things you get judged for it but then it's okay for them to he he ha ha laugh at these things when the 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 sheer setup of it all is so ass backwards that it makes no sense. Fair point. But one thing that I'd like to share with you because. This adds to the whole thing that I, you know, Lyle has hardly fucking changed at all. Don't worry, Inla, I'm going to get you in here. 
but I would like to share this because I now have permission to do so. This is jo just a robot in Lyle Convoy's conversation about me. February 23rd. Okay? Mm -hmm. So this should already give all of you a good look as to Lyle's intentions here, which they love to talk about intentions. Lyle loves to talk about intentions with all this. And like, no one talked about Peach's intentions with the Camila Cuevas stuff, though. And I'm not saying she had bad intentions, just that why was it not a conversation then? Because she didn't like Camila Cuevas before. So let me show you this. Because I now have been, you know, I'm good to actually show everybody. Because this, if you, Lyle, since Lyle wants to talk about intentions, let's talk about intentions real quick. I'll entertain it. Here you guys go. So, just a robot shares a screenshot of my TISM report video, Mad Lib Speaks on the FCK. This is February 23rd. Akumu is a scumbag, and I'm going to snap him in half the moment I get it. Akumu is a lot of things, but he was a POC miner who was lied about by big channels. I don't agree with a lot of the things he has done, but he has the right to defend himself from lies and slander. He hasn't groomed anyone or posted lolly or anything. Sorry, I'm using my finger right now. My mouse is acting up. Cheap piece of shit. No, he just actively hangs around pedo and zoo defenders. So this this is his mind you, this is February 23rd. And you guys might be asking, well, why would Lyle be saying that around this time? Why would Lyo be saying all of that around this time? Well, it's pretty simple. As he admits in his uh, conundrum video, not conundrum video, his a crystal flame video, that he's been he got inv invested in all of this because he knew I was going to talk about Peach's involvement. It's February 6th, by the way, is when he found out by Xeranthropy. And I'm, I'm betting you know that. I'm betting he probably had a conversation with you telling you that I planned on talking about Peaches and that he knew ahead of time. Um, no. Okay. Well, he yeah, he, go watch his A Crystal Flame video. I promise, watch him back to back. He admits it right in there that I planned on talking about the, that I planned on talking about Peaches' involvement. And that's why he personally started looking into the logs. That's why he was talking about me that way to Jar. Talking about the second he's going to snap me in half the moment he gets. So if we want to talk about intentions, what about that? But that's not, that's, of course, I can't, I haven't been able to show that until now. But there's that. And th that also goes to show that his intentions from the fucking get-go were to play guilty by association with me. So your thoughts on Jar at this point and then his stance. I, I, what do you mean by that? I'm going to need your, but yeah, that's, that, that I wanted to share with you because I wanted to get your thoughts. Because... Lyle wants to talk about intentions in this being malicious, and yet he admits January 6th to taking interest in the FCK stuff because he knew Peaches was going to be mentioned. Hmm. Then he admits February, then he has the call with February 25th of the Crystal Flame, where he admits he's rushing his conundrum video to get it out before mine, even says that I can get it out before him in, in one of the clips, then says... Then, mind you, Peaches admitted to knowing Slimars was a minor in this call, but this was this this call was held before she made her Twitter thread. That's nowhere in her Twitter thread, or his Twitter thread. Then we we fast forward a little bit. Okay, conundrum video comes out the next day, a few hours before my premiere, where he claims that I'm going to lie and misre misrepresent the situation. So if if someone's trying to control the narrative and misrepresent things, it obvious it looks like it's Lyo, not me. From now that we have everything in, in full context. I mean, yeah, that's interesting. Because originally when I brought up the... So I don't know if your audience knows this um, about the call that you were planning to have with Lyo. But when you originally brought it up to me, I later got in a call with Lyo and brought it up to him. And I offered him, I was like, hey, you should have a call with Akumu. Because with Akumu, I think, personally... The issue can be resolved relatively easy if you guys just talk to one another. And so he agreed under the idea that I was going to be the mediator in the middle. I obviously carried that to you. And at the time, he gave me the time frame of next weekend. Um, I carried it to you. You obviously were reasonably suspicious because of the sudden switch up. So you weren't immediately on board yeah, with was, me as a yeah. mediator. Like, I couldn't even fault you for that, and I still don't. Like, I still am not sitting here being like, oh, no. Yeah, so, should, guys, yes. originally, for context, originally I had just a robot who's a mutual of ours that has no stake in this and also has a bias in favor towards Lyle, which is just a robot likes hopeless peaches. 
okay? I had just a robot offer a mutual a call and have Jar be the moderator, okay? And Lyo didn't want to do it because he said that just a robot didn't like the art commentary community, which doesn't make any sense because Lyo has told me that he's not that community. So why would he be worried about that? Unless, of course, Lyo now considers himself in some fucking way a part of it. And then Hidden spoke with, with, with uh, Lyo, and he wanted to do a call then after Hidden spoke. And then he was fine with it, with Hidden being the, the moderator of it. And that's why I found it suspicious. Well, not only that, why the fuck does there need to be a mediator if he's going to speak to you like an adult? It's it's such a weird if you're if you're there to mitigate peace, why is it like why is it he turns down just a robot who likes Lyo um and is neutral? Um why would he turn that down and then be like, Oh, well, here's my new Senate admin who moderates my server or whatever that's only been here for a couple of fucking months and is probably going to be more inclined to defend me uh, over, like... And it's like... It, it's even if that robot, wasn't your intentions good enough. hidden... Yeah, exactly. But even if that wasn't your intentions hidden to be a biased mediator, I'm thinking that's what Lyo expected because you have a stake, someone in this, as being a Senate mod. And that's why I didn't trust it. Because I mean, that's fair, yeah. With with Jar, that someone that likes the both of us has zero involvement in the situation up until recently allowing me to use this DM because it really goes to show Lyo's uh, intentions from the get-go before any of this popped off. Keep in mind, guys, I want to note, that DM was a conversation uh, February 23rd with Just a Robot, right? So that means that was after my premiere was set up. So Lyo was pissed off, not because I had done anything to him, but because he knew I was going to talk about Peach's involvement with the server and my video was coming out. So, it, it, and, and yet Lyle wants to talk intentions and being malicious and all this shit. It, it just, and that's why I wanted to call with him. And yet he's been dodging. And, and another thing, I think I mentioned this before, I might not have. If, if, if Senate's not like a cult, why do you have, like, and I'm not saying this to berate you. I'm just saying this in general to, to my audience. Why do you have someone like Jack running to people's DMs? I'm going to let in land now, though. Uh, why do you have someone like Jack running to people's DMs, demanding them to only listen to Lyle and no one else? Why do you have Peach Reaver saying, don't listen to Akumo, Akumo or Kumo side of things? It, they don't matter. Or why do you have... Uh, actually, can you... I, I, this is perfect you're here for this. Actually, I'd like to ask about this. The call with Mad Libs that they tried to do, where they tried to invite Mad Libs in, do you know anything about that? Because she let me know, uh, let everyone know about that in the Zay stream, that they planned on trying to drag her in there to berate her for misinformation over the Doodle Tones roleplay stuff. Do you know anything uh, about that? Interesting. Heard nothing about it, nor in the mod chats, nor in the Senate itself. Um, so I'm surprised that's even a thing. Um, not sure where that was heard from, because I certainly did see nothing of it. It was it was something uh, she, had, she had informed me of, that someone reached out to her from the Senate, uh, maybe, maybe Lumi, I don't know, um, trying to drag her into a call for misinformation over the, the, the document or the thread that she made, not yeah, the thread that she made talking about doodle tones and well, specifically doodle tones involvement with it. And um, so that happened. That sounds kind of cultish because why are you saying something's misinformation when it's not? That's real. That, I, 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 don't, I don't get that personally. And then you have Lyo on the February 28th call talking about intentions, how he's a figurehead and then lying, saying that Toasty Vanilla was on the innocent party list, at, but he said it was the cleared list. Same thing, tomato, tomato. It's actually called the innocent party list, but Toasty Vanilla was never on that list. Um, on top of other stuff that he made claims of in the in that call to the peanuts. Um, it, it why he won't get into a call to hash this out should be I. Other than it just seems like he's he's dodging it. That's the only thing I could think of because. You know, that whole time that I had offered it through through just a robot to have that call, he was having calls with various people and, and trying to get control of the situation. I mean, so I've just, first of all, I've, I've just looked into the Matt Lips thing. Um, it really wasn't mentioned anywhere, so I don't know where the, like, Matt Lips got that information from. Mm -hmm. um, 
like not as far as I've known. Okay, I, I will. I'll ask her for a screenshot. Um, I, I actually want to. I actually kind of want to provide some insight there. Um, you said you've only been a Senate mod for like two months, so I want you to know. Um, when they are planning to get someone into the server to badger them, they go in private and DMs and demand that they come in and talk. And then if that doesn't work, they come in and parade about it in the server and say, eh, they're afraid, or, eh, they better get in here. Um, or or if they fucking agree to it behind the scenes, uh, that's also another. So like before my call happened where Peaches was like all giddy about how she was going to get in there and berate me, uh, Peaches DM'd me and said, you and me are going to have a little talk, mister. Um, or you need to an answer for this. And that's sort of how like, if I'm not mistaken, how pretty much any Senate badgering session goes is it starts by whoever wants to badger you is going to get in your DMs and tell you, we need to have a talk. And then it progresses into the server. So I don't think inherently that if there were talks of getting Mad Libs in the server, that it would be in the Senate server, um, especially given how underhanded and sneaky Lyo is trying to be. Yeah, no, that's changed a lot. The reason for why that's changed is very simple, because nowadays it is no longer just Lyo on a call. It is usually mm -hmm. Lyo and a few moderators. And the reason I'm saying that that was not mentioned was because we would have gotten a notice if that call was going to happen. So people could be there because we need people to moderate the peanuts. So the audience members in both chats but also we need to be on the call itself to make sure things are going Is on. Is it an impossibility that Lyo would have acted without your guys and would have acted without consulting uh, you guys? I'm not saying it's impossible. I'm saying it's unlikely. It's unlikely. Correct. Okay. Well, I've, I've asked her. Um, she, she may be busy and might not be able to provide it. I'm hoping she gets back to me while we're streaming. Because uh, I don't want uh, it's going on four hours. Shit. Um, I'm really tired at this point. Inla, what did you want to say? You wanted in here. You wanted to say something. Well, I just wanted to help defend my friend Kumo, but he did fine defending himself. So, uh, but I I guess okay. Since I'm here, I might as well like just like we know that Leo says a lot. Not just about me, but just about like Vlad and Kumo and Akumo and other things. Like, how many, how often do people actually ask Leo for evidence of the things that he's saying about people? Like, how many people have said, Get in like, here, Sonny. <laughs> Get in here now. Oh, Damn it. Sonny's here? Get in, Sonny. Get in the here. Red Carp wants in here. Sonny, I think, might want in here. Get in oh. here, Sonny. Well, you think you're doing lurking? I, I, I actually, I can add to to Inla to give an example. You could probably find this if you search it in the server. There, when they were talking about the amino stuff, uh -huh. uh, get in here, and, and the amino's claims and whatnot. The screenshots that came from amino, Lyo randomly out of nowhere, like they you're were like, said it, it probably sunny. came from me, which is weird because I had nothing to do with that. Like I have no, I have no idea what any of that stuff is about. I had nothing to do with it. But he just said, oh, it's probably from Akumo. So if, if even if he's not outright lying and he's just saying things just to assume things, he's contributed to a lot of uh, misinformation in the situation, which is ironic because then Senate went on to trying to say that they want to correct misinformation, but the person that they'd have to correct the most about it is Lyo or Soft Mink. Probably Lyo more so. Like saying that I gave Mad Libs a pass, which in what way did I give Mad Libs a pass? Do you do you agree with that stance? Not quite, because from what I've seen from your videos, you do actively criticize everybody that deserves to be criticized. Like once we had our conversation, I actually went ahead and I looked at your videos. So I did actually go through them. So um, it's not that I like agree with it. I think we've had a problem, and I'm going to be very honest about this, I think we've had a problem with people in Senate just mindlessly agreeing to Lyo whenever possible to get into his good graces without ever looking at stuff before they're going to, you know, say something. And it is annoying, um, and I've tried to push down on it, and I've tried to push back on it. Obviously, I'm only one person, so I can't magically fix Senate overnight. Um, but a lot of the claims were people just 
repeat or go with stuff is either because they're not doing the research they should be doing, which has happened a few times. I'm not saying that it hasn't happened. And I'm not going to sit here and pretend Senate is this perfect little place where nobody ever has dumb takes or makes mistakes. Obviously, a lot of people don't, you know, do the research they should. They just regurgitate what things like what they think is the popular opinion or the liked opinion. And that has happened a few times, um, which is why more often than not, you will see me in discussion chamber, which is the, you know, arguing channel more or less where I will disagree with people and push down on things. Um, obviously, I can only go of my research and what I think or do. And even I will ma make mistakes sometimes. I'm not infallible. And I don't want to come off. So, you know, I just, I think, you know, that is a claim that I don't necessarily agree with simply because I don't have enough research at the moment. I'm still going through the through your videos, so. Yeah, and that's fair. Like, you know, I don't think Akumu or Kumo are sitting here thinking that you're going to know everything because you've said you've only been a mod for like two months. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. And so, yeah, it, it makes sense that you're relatively uninformed about a lot of this stuff. And especially if you're invested in it mostly for peacekeeping or moderation reasons or uh, conflict resolution, then it makes sense that that you don't know a lot of this stuff. And... uh yeah, I mean, obviously, you kind of just, at at the moment, because you haven't seen all of the evidence, you kind of just have to take our word for a lot of stuff as well, uh, or take it with a grain of salt right now. But what, what we're trying to get across here is that there is a lot that you don't know for someone that you're already trying to go to go to bat for. Oh, yeah, no, like, I'm actually very appreciative of how civil this conversation has been going. Which is why originally I was willing to have a conversation with Akumu solely because I've noticed it was a very civil conversation. It wasn't just straight up like fucking, you know, dockpiling and shit like that. Um, and right now, still, like, I was nervous coming on the stream, admittedly so. No, honestly, I, was... I, I think you're very brave for jumping into this call, especially with these two, because Jesus <laughs> Christ. But uh, implying, huh? Well, yeah, what do you imply? <laughs> what, what, what do you think mean? I'm implying? implying? What does that mean? What does that mean? Oh, oh yeah, they're yeah. very scary. But uh, no, I yeah, it, it's it, it and that's something that has not happened on my side either. Where I've been, you know, my server has been very publicly available. Nobody who like nobody under like an alt account at least or who is under an alt account anyway, nobody from the Senate has come into my server trying to get in contact with me and try to explain their side or show me some evidence of like, this person's a horrible person and you shouldn't be associating with them. None of that has happened. In fact, I don't know if you were, I, I mean, I, I know I've been hampering on about this in multiple streams, but like, I don't know if you were there in that February 29th Senate call where Leo says that he knows there's an alt of Septipause or another predator in my server, and he's choosing to withhold that information to use as a gotcha later on. And he thought that we would, quote, eat each other alive over it, just knowing that information. I, it, someone who is genuinely wanting to look out for victims of predation wouldn't do that. It's also a little ironic considering Senate is also eating itself alive right now. So. And in fact, when one of my moderators, North, who also has his own channel, but he came in trying to ask for the name of this septi this potential septi pause all, and they immediately banned him. Ooh. So they've never tried to reach out to us for a conversation, even though we've we've tried to reach out to them, albeit in often kind of trolly ways. But regardless, conversations have been attempted and have failed. Yeah, which is like why I'm more or less trying to come here with, I don't want to say neutral because obviously I do have my opinions, um, but like with a stance of at least allowing you to speak your side and not immediately um, shutting you down. Also, Kuma's not angry with me. Like, we're not beefing. Are we beefing? Do we have beef? Oh, who are you talking to? Uh, um, you. Yeah. Me? Yeah, you. Mm -hmm. No, I mean, I don't have the energy to beef with you. Um, I think I definitely was trying to press you because I, I don't, I'm not really a fan of like 
regurgitating rhetoric, especially if someone admittedly doesn't really know what they're talking about. I just think that's really not even just disingenuous. I just think that's really fucked up. Like, I'm not going to moral. I'm not going to preach morals here. Um, but like, I do have like some standards and I think that's like definitely the bare minimum is like, is just like flat, flat out, like unironic slander. Um, I think that's definitely something I do draw a line on is I don't do that. And I don't take kindly to like other people doing it. And you know, I might have a slight bias to Gilded Pooh, but not so much that I'd sit here and glaze the guy if I thought he was indefensible or if I thought he was fucking awful. Um, and especially with like the guilt by association thing is, you know, I think I, I like to think nowadays I'm a pretty decent judge of character. If Do you, do you think I genuinely would keep Gilded Poo around after like interacting with me for the short period of time? Do you think I would genuinely keep Gilded Poo around if I thought anything people insinuated about him was true? Well, no, at least I would hope you wouldn't do it. Do I just do true. I come across it? I'm barely even fucking 20. Do I just come across as a guy who likes pedophiles and dog fuckers? Well, I hope the fuck not. I mean, have I if I rubbed you the wrong way, like I might be into that sort of thing or cool with that sort of thing? Not necessarily, no. I don't I'm just asking, like, do I give do I One give out a file or dog fucker vibes? That I think that's the short the short. <laughs> do I give do I give those vibes? Currently not, no. Well, one no. thing I can, have I can you ever, vouch. Hold on, hold on, okay. Emma, hold okay. on. Have have you ever seen any of my content? Do I sound like I'm like do I sound like I'm appealing to a certain crowd that might be into that sort of thing? Nope. Oh. Okay. And so that's sort of what I mean is it's just like it's unfair to just do the guilt by association thing because we're talking about like the art commentary community who is painfully uh, conscious of this fact is that people will do this sort of thing. People who are Twitter brand will say, oh, well, you were friends, so you must have known is like they got your mans. They, I heard they got your mans on sex assault charges. Yeah, the nigga you be hanging with the nigga you be hanging with. That's the sort of shit that the art community does, despite bitching about it like vehemently um, when it happens to them. And so, yeah, I'm going to get passionate. And yes, I'm going to press you if you're like engaging in that sort of rhetoric in those sorts of uh, talking points, e albeit even just a little bit, because it's really fucked up. You know, I'm not going to preach my moral compass to you because, you know, we're on the Internet. My moral compass doesn't really exist that much like. But, like, you know, it's just, like, I'm not going to sit here and, like, talk nicely to you when, the, like, if I view that as, like, a like a, a transgression, you know? Yeah, fair. Uh, I have a question because I just remembered it. And I don't remember who it was. But um, with the danger of YouTube fucking murdering me. But um, Aaron mentioned that there was a server in which people were writing very sexually graphic fanfictions of them and Lyle um, and, you know, kept going on to, you know, until that. Do you guys know which server that was or why it was that was either happened? the Fox Mafia or the Lagovert server. I think I, I can't say a whole lot. I've heard something be said like that about Fox Mafia. I can't be specific because I wasn't in there and I didn't even know of what that was until one day I got like a screenshot of someone of people in Senate. I think it was, yeah, Lyo mentioning that I had Fox Mafia people in my Discord, which to this day I still don't know who he's talking about. And also, that was, yeah, that was my first whole really introduction into knowing about those people. But I have heard conversations be had about Fox Mafia going into detail about uh, Peaches sexually so nice okay yeah thank you. I, I think I what pisses me off about the fox mafia thing is how they they instead like to like harp on fursky doodle and act like like use fursky doodle as this big damning example when vlad has explained to me that no there was actually a lot worse going on and i looked into the fursky doodle thing and i'm like oh it was just really like obscene hyperbolic language they weren't actually saying they want peaches to be raped um in the video that they're referencing and so that really annoyed me because if you know if these fox mafia people really were so fucking objectively awful um then like why lie about them and i'm not denying that i think they are just as fucking weird as the senate if not weirder 
That's I, I didn't like them from the jump. I was mean to them from the get go. Um, actually, fucking who was it? Who was it? Um, I'm trying to think. Somebody not not even just Vash Lancet. I have people who like who like uh, ditched Fox Mafia before before like the whole thing who came in and like literally like will corroborate the fact that every time I was in call with Cash Warfox, I unironically told him to kill himself in gratuitive detail as the set likes to put it in this I was very descriptive and I always made sure to emphasize that I was a hundred percent serious that I thought he should kill himself um the, that was that was my relationship with the Fox Mafia was bully and berate them and then use them and get use any information they give me proofread it behind the scenes with Gilded Poo make fun of them when they when they bitch about me talking to Gilded Poo um, and then bully them some more until I eventually it's like okay I've milked this cow dry uh, now it's time to make it clear that like hey by the way I wasn't going to fucking defend you you're a bunch of pieces of shit um, but no the Senate. The Senate didn't even care to find that sort of thing out. They are just like, oh, well, you're in their server. You're in their server. They, they don't care to tell you that if anything, any messages they might have seen of me in their server were of me bullying and berating these people and demanding information. And at one point, the only time I might have sympathized with anyone was when Fursky Doodle was explaining to me what medications they were on when they told me their grooming story. Because I had personally been on those medications before. And yes, people who are on like Respiradone and Stratera are inherently more susceptible to manipulation and coercion. By yeah. extension, grooming. Yap, yap, yap. Shut up, Enla. Uh, but no, no, no that, that was a yap fest. But I okay, I but it's saying. but it was it was productive anyway. If they would have taken even a fucking second, which I'm sure they did, they they could have shown that my interactions with the Fox Mafia were the majority of them were hostile. So I don't know why they do this guilt by association thing with me and Akumu and say we're like Fox Mafia, uh, zoo zoo and pedo apologists. It's like where the fuck is this coming from? Do you want to corroborate that claim? Gilded is here. Oh, he is in fact here. Look at that. The philosophy of Kumo. Yeah, he, he gave us a philosophy lesson, Chad. He gave us a lot of philosophy. I mean, lesson. I could sit here and yap about uh, philosophy, but that would take even Does longer. anyone have any questions? Because I would like to begin wrapping up the stream. It is going on four hours, okay? I don't want to have to have a stream this long ever again. I'll plan them out next time like I used to do with my uh, my Kai Wai stream. That you guys enjoyed fun. I know was. that I know that Crystal was asking if she could come in, but uh, she just wanted to clarify information about Jibs. But that's that's yeah, your that's decision fine. if you wanted to continue that discussion or not. Um, wait, wait, wait. Who's who? Who said what about Jibs? Oh, Crystal Flame wanted to come in to clarify things about Jibs. But if that's not what you guys are talking about, then I don't know if uh, it's relevant. What What would be the information about about Jibs? I have no idea. Just statements that they're making or misconceptions. A uh, lot of things are moving very fast today. Yeah, yeah. Um, throw them the link. How about that? Throw them the link, and uh, depending on what it is, but we kind of moved way past uh, jibs and the documents because I, I'm not really particularly interested in Lumi's document. Uh, Aaron's and and uh, Cosmics were particularly interesting because of the whole. Uh, leave this one for that one thing and uh, the conflict resolution statement gave me a real good kick. It was a, it was a holler, it was a hoot. But um, All right, well, I'm going to head out. Uh, you guys have a good time. Hidden, I wish you luck on whatever you decide to do next. Uh, Don't miss Kat. Shush. Uh, Get out of here. Just my advice if you decide to stay in the Senate. I don't really care if you do or not, but like just... If if someone tells you something, even if it's Leo, just try to ask for the evidence of what they're yeah. saying. Even if you can believe, but also verify. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure Mally Mauer. Uh, are, are these questions that. for Hidden or are these questions for me? Oh, I was just so telling much. Hidden that. Just general advice. No, I was, right. I was reading Gildens. Gildens. Oh, okay. I should probably have popped it that up. Silly All me. Right. I'll just take my leave. Bye-bye. Bye. Adios.
Sorry, I am... Oh my god, this computer. Uh, I'm a bit out of the loop, but what did Lyle accuse you of, Akuma? So, there's a couple of things. He accused me of... He said that I'm the false accusation supreme. That I was going to misrepresent the situation to paint it... Uh, to paint as though Peaches was okay with degeneracy around minors. And then said that I was slandering Doodle Tones. And that was just within the, the, the conundrum video. A hidden... Are you, does that mean that you want to come on, or would you like to ask through through the uh, the chat? Oh, Dreamer wants to beef with Gilded. Let's see how that goes. Not on stream. I'm not. I'm not doing a screaming match. I'd like to come on. Okay. Um. You know what? I'll throw him the link. Uh, he, are you cool with that, Hidden? you cool with him asking yep. some questions? Sure, as long as he stays civil, we can have a conversation. I think he'll stay civil. If not, I'll throw him to the backstage. As you should. I can't find... Uh, Gilded, I have, I have thrown you the link. It was ringing. Oh, Gilded is ringing. Okay. I really miss Paul. Does anyone else miss Paul? I miss Paul. I wish he came on. It would have been so fun. Because he's been he's been whining in my comments for a good while. Question for Akumu. What's next for you after Peaches and Lyo? Uh, gonna have two Yap Masters in the call at once. Yes. Yes. It's gonna be a Yap Fest. Prepare yourselves, chat. Uh, Gilded joins the call. So, uh, what's no, after? I don't have the energy for the yapping. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, so what's next after? Well, I'm going to continue the FCK stuff. That was the plan. And then after that, I got a couple of other video series plans that I've been uh, working on in the background. Um, but it really just depends on how long this shit goes for. And if Lyo wants to make another video that I have to dig into and point stuff out with, but um, or more like that I want to, than I have to. But uh, oh, gonna... hey, uh, Akuma, I think I'm about ready to to pop out. I'm assuming you're cool with that. Um, no, you're not allowed to leave. You're it, chained to this. This, this is bye. Uh, it has. Excuse me, hidden. You're sit you sound a little too enthusiastic there. <laughs> yeah, oh, I'm sorry. yeah, actually, hidden. Yeah. <laughs> Celebrating well, my boy's like leave. Stay out of spite. What? No, I would never be spiteful. Like me? No. Why I'm do you such... have a GTA Three profile picture? Why not? Uh, also, that's anyway, my art. Um, oh, wow! I actually, wow. I actually, that's that's pretty cool that you have like a art style that made me that looks like the uh, GTA art style. That's pretty cool. Um, no, actually, I come in, before I go. I actually wanted to uh, give a sort of a public service announcement to uh, oh. Emmy. To Emmy. Uh, oh. yeah, we're on to you. We have your files. Uh, I want this fucker dead, clean shot. Um, I will be airing out uh, Emmy's bullshit. I've already given. I've already given a bunch oh, of shit to my. Omnia. Yeah, I've already given a bunch of shit to Omnia, Emmy. Um, Omnia now knows that you are not a fucking victim. Uh, Omnia knows the extent I, yeah. of your Come bullshit. Back, Paul. We miss Paul. Yeah. Come, come on, Paul. Anyway, uh, Omnia knows. Okay, Emmy. I'm going to be making a video. You're oh not boy. going to be exempt. At the end of my Peaches video, oh, I referenced go. your bullshit. Uh, and no, that wasn't just a bluff. I have everything. All right. So uh, thank you for having me on. I just kind of wanted to shoehorn that in there because I know Emmy kind of lurks. And I think Dice was in the stream earlier. And I, I'm assuming they're still buddy buddy. So Dice, you know, it, it'd be a doll and pass it on to Emmy if Emmy doesn't happen to be watching. Uh, what's what's in the private chat? Sorry. Uh, I'm not. In the, oh, the it's because Guild is Guild <laughs> waiting. Guild is waiting. Oh, okay. so, yeah, well, anyway, I'm your yap fest. Yeah, I'm done yapping now, Emmy. I'm, I'm coming for you. Nice. Also, somebody just asked, "Are you worried that Lyo is going to go out of his way to bring up every bad thing that you've done, like he seems to do with anyone that has beef since you are now me? associated with Guild and Kumo?" No, that question is towards me. Don't steal my thunder. Um, no, I am not worried about that because, first of all, he knows I'm here. Solayo is aware that I am on this stream. And second of all, 
I'm not doing anything that's incriminating myself. Like I'm not sitting here. Well, yeah, well, while. okay, but 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 to be fair, mm-hmm. but to be fair, his whole thing is surround self with. So, um, I I it wouldn't shock me if suddenly he wanted to to throw you under the bus. I mean, he can try. But uh, gilded, gilded. Uh, what is your opinion on Mister Andrew? I have no fucking opinion on that. No, I haven't watched it. Don't plan on watching it. I got no horse in that race whatsoever, and it. I, no offense, don't care. All right, gilded. Here he is. Ask your we, questions because this has got to get wrapped up. Okay, amazing. Uh, so my first question is, keep why does civil. everybody assume that I'm gonna be uncivil? What the fuck reputation is this? <laughs> I think it's because you're a wild card. I think that's what it is. I'm not. I'm not a wild card. What do you mean? I'm a gilded shithead. Anyway, um, so I guess my first question that I had just Thank you. Um, Thank you. My first question that I have, uh, I don't, I don't have very many. I think I had like two. Was. Uh, what exactly is going on in the Senate right now? Because I've heard a whole bunch of like information, like a bot took over, and uh, a whole bunch of people are just leaving. And more importantly, is Ephraim still there? Okay. Um, fair question. Let me just try to give you a quick TLDR. So what happened is that um, Lumi and Aaron, so hopeless peaches have released statements regarding their experiences with Lyo, and it resulted in Lumi demodding a bunch of people, including myself, so nobody could delete that statement. And it also apparently included demodding Lyo, which made it so that the bot regained ownership of the server, which had to be undone now so that we could, you know, work on things again. Um, For, you know, a bunch of people left, that is correct. The Senate has bled a bunch of members. They're all mine now in my server, so, you know. Also, yes, Aaron is Peaches, for those who the are second unaware. second box. Yeah, it's mine now. I can, I can commit crimes now. Um, anyway, but to answer your question if Ephraim is still there, I would have to look that up. And I have no issue with doing that, so, yep, he's still there. I Why knew is it. your interest if um, if George is still there? Good old George the monkey. Because because he's a hag. Uh, but another uh, question that I had was, have you watched the call that Peach has released between, it was called uh, Raven, a- after Raven Call 2 or something like that. It was just Peaches and Lyo. Yes, I am aware of that call. I I understand that the call tries like super hard to make Lyo look like the bad guy, and I hate to. I'm like the last guy to like defend Lyo on literally anything. But am I the only? Am I am I crazy for thinking that that call actually makes Peaches look really bad? How so? Uh, she sounds manipulative, controlling, uh, starts off acting like she's a five-year-old. Despite what her claims are, it doesn't sound like what she claims. Um, it just sounds like she's uh, stressed, actually, if anything. Lyo is accused of being several things, but which are probably fair. But as a result of mods in that server quite literally backstabbing him by recording a private conversation and sending it to peaches so that peaches can hypocritically i might add go after lyo for things that she has done quite repeatedly both before and after the rosa call so like i'm i'm watching this and i go into it like I, i'm expecting lyo to be like an absolute dick and whenever I'm here, I'm listening to it, all I hear is like a defeated 38-year-old that is basically like had his nuts just crushed in a vice. 
by somebody who was being blatantly emotionally manipulative. I mean, that is your view on things, and I will not sit here and try to tell you otherwise. I disagree, but I also disagree on a lot of things with you, so that like is not surprising. A lot of things. Like, I disagree, you know, with telling people to game end themselves on Twitter. I disagree with... Wait, sorry, can you repeat to... that? I didn't hear that. Oh, I said, I disagree with telling people like Nizzy to kill themselves on Twitter. Mm -hmm. That is one of the things. I also blatantly disagree with your videos that you made on Hopeless Peaches grooming. So that is also something that I disagree with. Um, I disagree with using stuff like zoo porn as quote unquote trolling, even if it was two years ago. Um, stuff like that, you know? So why? Okay, so I I'm going to go through this one at a time. So the Nezzy thing, <clears throat> the reason I posted what I posted, which, by the way, wasn't telling Nezzy anything. It was actually in response to somebody screenshotting something Nezzy said. Nezzy has me blocked. So th there's no way I could ever say anything to Nezzy on Twitter anyway, um, nor do I have an interest to. Secondly, um, I think people that go out of their way to during drama – uh, use suicide uh, for a sympathy bait are pretty obnoxious. And that's how I view it. Um, it. It's pretty weird timing that the FCK leaks come out and then all of a sudden, oh, look, I'm suicidal now. Now, you can choose to be more sympathetic than me, and that's fine, right? But the reality is, at the end of the day, is I think that is inappropriate behavior given the context of that situation. Um, and I think that's something we're just gonna have to agree to disagree on. But in my, but, uh, it's the second thing. Did you actually watch the Peaches videos? Yes, I did. So how, what, what was your conclusion with those videos? Um, that I disagreed with you and that I disagreed on a lot of stances you had in those videos with you. What, 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 what was the main takeaway that you took away from those videos? that you're trying to invalidate somebody's grooming story. How am I invalidating the grooming story? Well, first of all, you were trying to say that it is fake or that it has been fake. And the other thing that you said that I remember quite vividly is that you tried to frame it in a way that Aaron was at fault for their own grooming. And that, you know, yeah, both of these statements are wildly incorrect. Uh, number one, um, uh, at no point in that video did I say whether or not I thought the grooming was real. In fact, actually, there are there is a comment in below that video where I said I actually believe she was groomed, hundred percent. And in fact, went as far as to say that in fact it, it, uh, that is the worst case scenario, which is something I said in the video is worst case scenario. She's telling the truth because in that scenario she is. Uh, <laughs> A hypocrite at best um, for not, you know, reporting at least the mother who was allegedly a child psychologist that she was explicitly told apparently by the mom that was OK with that. So uh, that is uh, since she's a mandatory reporter, she would go to prison for at least a couple of years in Kentucky for violating that. So the fact that wasn't reported, I found interesting, given the fact that if I or you or anybody uh, refrain, was, didn't report a crime, we would be chewed out by hopeless peaches for not reporting a crime, which I show that actually in the video. I show a screenshot of her chewing people out explicitly for not reporting a crime, hey, saying it was inconvenient. Uh, another thing, uh, what was the other thing that I said... Uh, the main takeaway, sorry, I missed something there. So there was the, uh, so like, yeah, I never questioned whether or not, or I never, not to say I shouldn't question, I, I never said that I didn't think she was groomed. At no point did I say that. Secondly, I would love to know where exactly I blamed her for being groomed. Don't make me rewatch that hour long video just to find you in <laughs> some place. Yeah, well, I mean, are you referring to the line jailbait? I mean, that too, yeah. <laughs> Do you know what jailbait means? 
it is a very derogatory term, last I checked. Uh, it's not. Uh, one sec. You got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, he is a dad. Okay, relax. Okay, okay. He's, he's, I think he's I'm pretty certain he's a dad. If not, that's a person in the background. But man's has got shit to take care of. Sorry. Uh, apologies for that. So, um, the jailbait term is a male term, primarily. That term is a term of fear. So, in other words, whenever you have two guys that are, say, hypothetically at some event, right? And one of the guys you're hanging with sees a girl... And that girl looks to be or is factually underage, but looks older or what have you. Uh, a guy will be like, yo, dude, like that's jailbait. Like stay away from that. Right. It, that, that term is meant to incentivize other men to not fuck up. In other words, if that guy in, this, in the, grooming, uh, the grooming story had any friends at all, which I don't think he did because obvious reasons as i said in the video by the way that no matter what he's still the piece of shit in the story which is the part that everybody seemed to miss conveniently i might add i do um, remember that part i can um advise to that i yeah. don't have any specific stance in the video other than i remember hearing that part yeah so uh if he had had male friends which he most likely didn't at all they would have said stay away from hopeless peaches she's jailbait that is not a derogatory term to insult women or blame women or blame children for their actions. In fact, if anything, like what that just does is incentivize guys to not take advantage of minors in that situation. Like that, that's kind of the point of the phrase and to keep the guy out of prison also. Uh, so whenever I said jailbait, I wasn't saying, oh, you know, Hopeless Peaches was doing it all herself and it's all her fault. Nobody would say that. I didn't say that. And the assertion that that was the meaning behind that is so woefully bad faith that it, it, it borders on insanity. Like, I cannot come up with another explanation for why anybody would come to that conclusion. Maybe the problem is a lot hold of on, people. Hold on, hold on, what did, hold on. Uh, I don't keep your thoughts there. What what did uh, Dreamer just say? Something did did what? Dreamer say something about uh, Gild, uh, Gilded's kid? I don't know. I wasn't. Hold on. Where was it said? Oh, okay. Never mind. Never mind. I can't find it. I found it. What I don't know if it matters, but I, I found the comment about Dreamer that I think people are referring to. What does it say? It says his kids are going to self-delete eventually. Nice. But remember, How about we don't remember, do that? Dreamer about... is the, the, the moral high ground here, folks. <laughs> yeah. Um, but anyway, no. I, I think the problem is, and I'll take responsibility here, um, I'll take accountability. There's Akumu's favorite term. I, I will take fault for not explaining what I meant by jailbait. Um, that term is 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 very colloquial. Um, and a lot of people um, came up to me asking me what I meant by that. A lot of actually just women got confused whenever I said that. But I want to make it very clear at no point in the video did I ever intend at all to suggest that peaches was in any way to blame for what she alleges happened to her period like there is like and it went even as far as to say that no matter whether you believe the story or not or whether or not uh the what i said was true or not about that jailbait theory doesn't matter because in either case he's still a piece of shit yeah yeah i can also corroborate that part yeah, so like I'm, I'm just making it clear that I don't know, like I don't fully understand where people got that, and the only explanation I have is that I failed to explain what I meant by that. So, and if that's the case, fine, that's my fault. Um, and as far as the zoo porn part, 
I, I just have a really great question. Why does everybody feel the need to say quote on un, uh, unquote for trolling? That that's like a really weird phrase. Well, you said it was for trolling, no? Question mark. Yeah, I did. But the quote unquote, it seems like you're trying to instill some amount of doubt in that claim. Well, I'm assuming I'm giving you the benefit of doubt and saying that it was for trolling. Well, I mean, I don't know. Like that that's fine. Uh I just see it as I, I I was confused by it because whenever it it sounds like people are saying, Well, you say it's for trolling, but really you just fap or to it or whatever, like some weird no, fucking no, no, no. shit that's, like that. That's not what I'm insinuating for me. It's more like I don't think it's something appropriate to troll with. So I don't put it under the umbrella of trolling. So for me, it was quote unquote because I wouldn't define that as trolling. I think that's a little I bit mean, too far. I mean, to be fair, there's not really an appropriate way to troll people. Like, trolling by its very nature is an inappropriate action, right? Like, actively trying to, let, let's be real here. Trolling is just harassing people on the internet. Would you agree with that? I mean, yes but sometimes uh, some people do it more maliciously like maliciously than others well that's what i well right well i i, I would say that actively trying to get people to be upset like on purpose is, is malicious i mean yes but like you know there's malicious and really malicious you know i mean yeah t people do take trolling to an insane degree but all i'm saying is that like I don't think there is a way to appropriately troll someone. Like, it's a pretty frowned upon behavior, just in general, across the board. And so that's kind of what I'm getting at. So, like, at a certain point, it's like, well, saying that posting bestiality porn is inappropriate. I mean, technically speaking, so would scat porn, so would gay Indonesian porn, right? Like... Like I, I could like none of that is a, it would be appropriate. Doesn't matter what con like uh, what uh, trolling context it is. Um, but you know whatever. Uh, I'm four chan brained, and to be real with you, I'm trying to uh, to slow my roll, I guess, on that shit. So, um, it, it like spamming people with porn and shit. But, uh, but no, like with the, but the point is with the previous two claims, especially like the peaches thing, like that is just absolutely not the case. And I've, I vehement, vehemently like deny the allegation that I was intentionally going out of my way to suggest that the grooming story was untrue. The only time that you could come close to that is like the second video where, I went alleging plagiarism. I'm not alleging plagiarism of the story itself, which is what a lot of people got from that, whether they were for or against me. I was complaining about the format of her video nearly ma simple, matching yeah. Yeah, nearly matching the format of Illimation's video. That that's what I was getting at with that. And a lot of people took that like way further than what I where I was going with it. Uh, Red Corp, I get you want on. I really do. It's just late. Um, this is already one of my longest fucking streams, if not the longest. And I don't want this going five fucking hours or six. Um, if Hidden is comfortable coming on to a stream another day, you know, I'll I'll gladly stream again and talk about all this. If you guys are enjoying these streams, I'll probably uh, do it more. Why not? But uh, why, why is but, Gilded Poo here? <laughs> I'm not gonna keep going with this. <laughs> Sorry, I, I just love that people are like so fucking upset right now. He's literally a destiny simp. Okay, I mean, Gilded is here because he had questions for Hidden, and Hidden was fine with being asked questions about Senate. It's pretty. It's a pretty simple fucking concept. It shouldn't be hard to grasp. Yeah, I mean, so the thing is, it's like, look, I, I think a lot of it boils down to Hugbox, you know? So, like, like, no offense, but I've seen the things that were said in Senate, and a lot of it is just insane. Um, but my question is, if you are giving me the benefit of the doubt 
on the uh, trolling bit, then how come everybody in the Senate, including yourself, uh, from what I've heard from other people, so you can correct this if it's not true, um, are so gun ho in defending uh, Lyo when he says shit like uh, Inla being a zoo apologist? I mean, I brought this up earlier. Um, you probably didn't hear it. But and when I and it also up. to add to his point, I don't want to cut you off to be a dick, but to add to his point, the DMs are just a robot where he says that I'm, I hang with pedo in zoo defenders. So just, just wanted to add that in there for acknowledgement, but. Oh no, that's, that's completely fine. Like those are claims that I would have to look into before I go, I agree or I disagree. Like, obviously. Um, I, like I said, we had this like conversation before. We have the things where we disagree on. I mean, me and Akumo in our DMs literally have an entire instance of us disagreeing. I'm not going to be a cunt over it, obviously. Like, I'm not going to be a dick over it. But, um, like I said, you're not necessarily a person that I would want to associate myself with. So I don't have a very high opinion of you. And I think I'm allowed that. Um, sure. But at the same time, I agree that people in Senate do have to do their research before forming opinions and not just running with what they are presented. So I did my research on you. I saw your conduct online and decided, okay, you're not a person I want to surround myself with. Well, so look, I'm not I'm, going to. I, I'm not going to sit here and lie to you. I'm not a good person. Okay. I don't, I'm not, I'm not this morally right, self-righteous fucking looney tune on the internet. All right. I don't give a shit about 90% of the morals that people want to throw my direction. In fact, to, to point to fact, I think morals in of itself, generally speaking, are useful only in that you can stand on a soapbox and weaponize them against other people, which is what 90% of the internet does. Um, I, I exist in spite of the sensitivities and the nonsensical uh, moral sensibilities of half the people in the Senate. If I went in there for five seconds, I would be booted because the very first thing I'd hear is some whiner complaining about some weird weak spot they have in their armor as if that's somehow supposed to stop me from attacking them through said weak spot. So the, the point is, is that uh, I'm not a, I'm not a good person by any stretch of the imagination. The big difference between me and Lyo and a lot of the other people in the Senate is I don't sit around pretending I'm a good person. Then as dreamer so beautifully painted for everybody, then go and say things that are uh, more morally repugnant to basically everybody than the things that I've ever done. So, <laughs> I don't have these hypocrisies because I don't hold to these sensibilities in the first place. So, I mean, but yet, huh? Hold on, there's I, something I really odd we, that I want to point out here. This inferno. What? What? No, I was about to say like, uh, we love we love self awareness of like I'm not a good person. Like, it's life with that. What are you looking for? What? Okay, so I noticed something odd here. The, this infernal individual is is constantly giving me their Discord saying, if you want to talk after the stream, sorry if I'm coming on as pushy, not that I'm trying to put off. And also, at the same time, and this has been going on back and forth for like a good hour or two, Red Corp has been doing the same thing. And I don't know, I just find it really weird. I'm thinking the, there's the same person behind that account. It's really odd. <laughs> You let Dreamers, since Dreamers impersonator, what are you talking about? Was was there an alt account pretending to be Dreamer? Is that what? Someone was impersonating me, impersonating me to say Pooh's kids will off themselves. You have the power to prove it. Okay. Well, if it's not obvious, I'm not. I'm hardly paying attention to fucking chat. Okay, but I, is All chat? Right. Did you see two different stream uh, Dreamers? And, and then, hold on. This is so autistic. Well, what, what did you say about self-awareness? I'm sorry, I, I completely missed. <laughs> no, I, I said, when you said you're not a good person, I'm like, we love self-awareness, you know? Like, we love when, when people are aware of themselves. Yeah, well, um, I, I, I would believe that, but, like, most of the people I've met from Senate have the self have no self-awareness at all. 
Well, like I mean, Efron. I mean, yeah, some of them are very much obsessed with agreeing with Lyle. I think we touched on that earlier in the stream where you said there is a subset of people within the Senate that very much sits there and just straight up repeats everything that Lyle says, which is not great because you should form your own opinions and then go with that. But that is apparently pretty hard for some people, so... Well, I mean, uh, fair enough, I guess. Like, you say subset, I say the overwhelming majority of the people in the server. Oops. Like, the, I mean, like, I've seen the chat logs and everything. Like, for example, the server was built around blood sports. Have you seen the server, like, pre-2022? I've seen parts of it, yes. Yeah, like like what it is like what it was then was insane. You know? Like there was some crazy shit like like men sending uh lingerie photos of themselves to thirteen year olds, people telling thirteen year olds to kill themselves. Uh oh god, what else? Uh people making other people punish draw feral porn. <laughs> Baji moments. <laughs> yeah, like you know, uh spamming servers with feral porn, you know, like mine. Baji. Yeah, uh, right. I'm just I'm just sitting here and I'm like, and then and then Lyle magically changes the direction of his server. And then all of a sudden I'm exactly a bad. Yeah, yeah. And I'm suddenly the bad guy for doing actually similar things to what Lyo did or what not what Lyo did, but rather what Lyo was previously OK with. Um, <laughs> so because he changed like, his song and tune, he's he's singing a different one now. Yeah, and nobody wants to actually sit down, watch my videos, and honestly listen to what I have to say. No, the typical reaction is, I want to listen to the Gilded Poo video so I can come up with every possible way I can dissect and spin every other line to fit of my narrative, which is uh, interesting. Um, because I've said all this shit for like two years and absolutely nobody was like, yeah, I see that dolphin going in the inside of a vag the vagina of a horse. I think that's, that's terrible. Why would he spam your server? That isn't even an 18 plus server with that kind of stuff. And why would Lyo justify it? Nobody asked these questions. They just swept it under the rug. I mean, fair. Like, I'm, I'm not saying that I agree with what Senate was before I started modding. Well, I don't think um, he's saying you do. If, I think he's. I think he wants no, to make no. the point that Senate and Lyo, Lyo knows exactly how the Senate used to be. He was perfectly fine with it being that way up until Peaches appears in Lyo's life. Then all of a sudden, Senate starts changing its direction conveniently right around the same time they start collabing with one another, and he starts attracting an audience that let's be honest, it's not going to stand for that kind of shit and doesn't like it. I mean, fair. Like, obviously, Aaron and um, also Lumi brought about a lot of changes that, in my eyes personally, were, like, very necessary to Senate. Um, and I think it's important that these kind of changes happen, and I would not be modding for that server if I well, was not thinking that it's going right. in a good direction. But... But my 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 the reason I brought all of that up, because if I'm going to be condemned for something I did two years ago, then how come that entire server isn't being condemned for things it did two years ago? Like you I mean, you you know like it doesn't it doesn't track. I guess it's mostly because it's starting to change, and I'm not saying that whatever happened in that server before the change was good. It deserves criticism for what ha for what has happened in that server. But then the excuse the is that it's 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 different now. But then that ex excuse doesn't apply to Gilded. I, I think mean, that's... is Gilded different now? Uh, he hasn't. I have. Have you spammed any servers? I haven't seen him uh, spam any servers. I haven't with, spammed with... any servers. In fact, not only have I not spammed servers, I left like thirty servers. Um, I fucking shot the infamous hard drive on video. Like, uh, I even told, like, multiple people that I, I'm not doing that shit anymore, largely because, like, I lost, like, uh, uh, all of my memes that I had later added to the folder in question. Like, 
I, I haven't done any of this stuff, but the thing for two years, in fact, the last time Lyo can point to any of it was literally in 2022. That's the last time he can point to me doing anything like that. Um, and he doesn't even give the context of that situation anyway, which is interesting because there is a bit more context to that, but whatever. The, the point is, is that I haven't done these things for a number of years. I've made no excuses. Right. I've explained that I was 4chan brained and was being an idiot, thinking that the Internet was the Wild West that, that it was when I was growing up, because, like, I'm 35 years old. Um, but but the thing is, though, even despite that, I, I take full uh, blame for that. I've never denied doing the things that I did. And, and in fact, I'm. I don't even want to talk about this on my own channel. So I went and I made a video for Kumo's video. Uh, like, so it's at the end of Kumo's video where all this is explained. Cause I don't even want to address this on my own channel anymore. I've been trying to, you know, go past it, but then I have like the entirety of the Senate for two years, especially namely Lyo and hopeless peaches, like just straight up calling me a zoo file actually it started off, uh, which is calling me a right winger. Funny enough. I, I was originally just a right winger. Uh, so, and that evolved into me being a zoo file and then a zoo enthusiast uh, or sorry, zoo collector, and then a zoo enthusiast, and now it's the recent claim I've heard is zoo sadist. So, uh, yeah, it just keeps compiling and compiling and compiling. Um, I don't know. I, I just find that interesting. And yet, for some reason, I'm the bad guy whenever I'm like, look, Lyo's exhibiting the exact same behavior two years ago that he is today. It hasn't changed in any way, shape, or form at all whatsoever. And yeah, so and, and, and I'm I'm fucking literally Voldemort. <laughs> I mean, fair. Like my only argument against that is that obviously Senate is trying to grow away from that kind of behavior. I'm not saying you're not, before you get onto me for that. I'm not saying you're not. However, you are still exhibiting behaviors that are frowned upon in one way or another for different Absolutely. reasons. So, you know, the argument, like, it, it doesn't equate necessarily completely because Senate is trying to move away from that and be better while you have kind of stagnated on the point where you are, which isn't to say that's bad. Like, you have obviously made parts of yourself better. You're trying to improve a little bit. Um, so that's not something that I would equate necessarily, but you'll try good for you. I, look, here, here's the thing. The only accusation I've ever been upset with is the zoo claims. Um, well that and calling me a right winger, that, that was pretty fucking annoying. Um, but, uh, but yeah, like actually even calling me a fucking alt-right Nazi. That was, that was also very entertaining um because like these are just insane claims it's like the same thing with kumo like calling kumo a cutter or not a cutter but a a cutter enabler is just an insane claim that is completely asinine actually really fucked up i gotta say <coughs> you know but but whatever who am i so like all i'm getting at is it's just that 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 specifically you want to a cute like there are a million things you have every right to criticize me on, okay? You don't have to make anything up. You want to call me, uh, you can call me all sorts of shit. Uh, you can call me ableist straight up because, yeah, people that are able are superior to disabled people. I mean, I can walk, cripples can't. Ha ha. All right? Like, so, like, you can, you can get away with calling me all sorts of things. but But calling me very specific coincidentally specific to lyo's niche claims is a little insane um that, that's the part that i take issue with same thing with kumo uh you know and that's kind of my entire point is like you know you want you want people to look at the senate and say oh look you've changed so much but then the Senate likes to double, triple, and quadruple down on claims they've made of people, trying to destroy them online for years and never wanting to 
apologize or bend the knee on a single issue at all whatsoever. Like, I don't know. I think that's a little crazy. The only person that ever defended me in any way in the Senate, by the way, sadly speaking, was monstrous. And I say sadly speaking because she's no longer there. So, yeah, but the point is, is that uh, it, it's it's bothersome. And this is why Akumu and Kumo and myself have been on the Senate's ass like the entire time is because this, this entire time that that like everybody's like, oh, my God, Gilded Pooh made this video going after Peaches, ignoring the fact that Peaches did three fucking streams in a row going after me, calling me a zoophile, straight up saying I fuck my animals. OK. And. You know, I'm supposed to just ignore this. Lyo, uh, I make a Lyo video. Oh my God, you've been harassing Lyo for two years. But Hila but Lyo throughout those two years has mentioned me with way more frequency than I have made videos. This is why nobody let it go. Is because if, 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 if Lyo had just shut up, if, if Peaches had just shut up, I would have never made a single video about them. Fair enough. Or, uh, let me rephrase, at least if they hadn't lied. So, and that's, and that's kind of like, it's just this weird hand wavy culty thing that the Senate has. And that's what bothers me. And honestly, to be frank with you, I don't think the Supreme Court's going to be much different, especially since it's comprised of like, Almost the entire staff in the Senate. Yeah, it's my server. I know it's your server, but I don't think it's going to change anything. I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. God, I agree with Gilded. I I don't see that those people because uh, you you said that it went to 350, and these are all Senate people leaving Senate, flocking to your server, thinking it's going to be the exact same thing, and they're going to treat it the exact same thing, and they're going to make it uh, an, an art hug box. Oh, well, not, not only, well, not only that, like, all of you you mods only left now because it's convenient. Like, this is the most convenient time to leave. You wouldn't have left a year ago. It took Peaches making a Google Doc alleging that Lyo was, like, what, the 15th person that she's ever met that has oh, a penis that abused her? Like, I don't, I don't know. Like, like, I'm just saying, like, you waited until that moment. It's a little weird. Zedge has a... a... Zedge has a question. They say, uh, this is a question for Gilded. Didn't Lyle call Vosh a Shota lover with no proof? Yeah, yeah, he he did. Like, literally just pulled that out of thin air. Yeah. Um, I don't, I don't, like, I was on Twitter in that Twitter thread when that happened, and it was just completely random. Um, it, it was, it was because, actually, the, the only proof that existed was that a guy who actually was a Shota person was following Vash. That was it. That was, that okay. was the whole, that was it. It was the whole thing. Um, so, but yeah, like I'm just saying that I don't see this any being, because all of you guys were okay with this. Like none of you sat down Lyo and said, you know, like maybe we need to like sit down and scrutinize all these claims against these people. You wait until peaches makes that. And here's my, my really good question. Why is it everybody in the Senate instantly, or not everybody, but the people that left instantly believe Peaches, but nobody believed Jordan? I haven't. I have watched Jordan's video once, and I don't have a stance on it. I have much stronger feelings about Jay's video. So I, I, mean... think, I think I can provide an answer to that. Uh, it's because it's because Jordan spoke with apparently Fox Mafia people and Kumo. That, I think that's that think that's why, and that's not necessarily an answer for you. That might not be your stance, but I think that's exactly why people didn't want to listen to Jordan's story, but immediately believed Peach's story, like like that. Um, and also, why aren't we talking? Why isn't Senate talking about intentions? Because everyone else. Right, Jordan. They they talked about intentions with me. They talked about intentions and what I've been doing recently. But with Peaches, no conversation about you know what are, what Peaches' possible intentions could be with it. Because the the timing of this whole thing is pretty convenient. 
the whole FCK shit happens, and then this happens. And I'm not saying, you know, for for certainty that's what caused it, but it's it's an eyebrow raiser, and it certainly it, it looks like Peaches is throwing Lyle under the bus into the wolves with this, but um, people are people that didn't want to believe Jordan are you know immediately believing Peaches, and I think it's because uh, Jordan apparently spoke with box mafia people and spoke she did Kumo. he didn't so uh uh peaches or uh, uh jordan at no point ever spoke to a single fox mafia person at all period full stop um like or at the very least didn't pursue them i should say so that's never happened it, it is actually just completely made up um and, and and the reason i say this is because what happened unless i'm the fox mafia people apparently uh what happened was is that jordan was correcting me on something i said in one of my videos about jordan um and then kumo uh pursued a discussion with jordan that's what happened there was no jo oh, in so fact it, it's probably the guilty by association but v being vague about it enough to say guilty to say yeah. fox mafia solely it, just to, to, to uh, demonize <laughs> Yeah, in fact, I was in a VC with Jordan where uh, Jordan shows a screen cap of Fox Mafia people trying to get a hold of Jordan and then laughs it off and uh, blocks the account. So, like, not only did Jordan not talk to Fox Mafia people, but actively blocked them. So, uh, on Twitter. So, yeah, it's just a Kumo thing for, for daring to speak with you and Kumo. Yes. And, and the thing is, is that I find it bothersome that they are somehow not believable because of their associations. But Peaches can be an association with people that spammed porn in front of minors, but is instantaneously, like literally more heinous than what anybody else in this drama has done uh, as far as association goes. And, and then all of a sudden, got to believe her, got to listen and believe instantaneously with no scrutiny of any kind whatsoever. Let's just disregard the petty shit at like the end of her, her document. Let's just completely ignore these straight up lies she says in the document. Let's just, let's just ignore all this stuff and instantly believe Hopeless Peaches. It's a little weird. It's just strange to me. It, uh, the, I have the, a, a question for you, uh, Hidden. Uh, mm -hmm. Ghost DXC, is this the Ghost DXC? Is this the, or is this someone just like using the name? Uh, question, what's the purpose of the Supreme Court? Because if it uh, if its job is to look into the case of child predation, they should stop. So that, that, that would be more of a question for you. Oh, holy shit, this is the Ghost EXE. So wait, this is Holy Majesty? Wow. Yeah, and to be very clear, no, uh, whoever asked that, I'm not Fox Mafia. I'm not in Fox Mafia. In fact, I'm not a pedo hunter, nor have I ever been a pedo hunter. It's... Um, I, I, I was in Fox Mafia before Fox Mafia was a pedo hunting server um, in 2018, before most of you were able to even join the internet. So, like, the reality is, at the end of the day, I was not Fox Mafia. In fact, you know why Gilded Poo was in Fox Mafia in the first place. I'll tell you why. I was asked specifically I to go in there to... Like to what? The second you said that, someone actually asked, why was oh. you in Fox Mafia? Yeah. Well, the, the reason why is because I was explicitly asked to, quote, rid the server of its blue-haired population. I was triggering people, like tens of people, a day. I was spent every single morning in that server with the sole intent of making as many, many people triggered and leaving as possible to the extreme. I got into uh, like several uh, dog pile streams where or dog pile VCs where I accused half of that server of, of basically just straight up being pedophiles. So like just to piss them off. Uh, <laughs> uh, I mean, like it was literally, uh, well, I mean, and let's be, I'm going to be real with you here, by the way, if there was no law and everything, and there was no eyes looking, I do think half that server would start banging animals or children. Like I legitimately think that that's how low my opinion is of the Fox mafia people at that time. So 
the point is though is i was there explicitly to troll everybody knew that if you would ask anybody in fox mafia this question they would have all told you the same answer in fact not only was i there to troll i was banned from uh from being in streams with with kaz he ba okay. he barred me from can, that. Can hidden? Uh, I, I I get the point of your yap fest, but can hidden answer? Her I don't yap. God damn it! Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um. So no, the Supreme Court is absolutely not a place for child predation. I am not interested in being a predator hunter. I am Based? not interested in dealing with that at it's all. It's a lot of stress, and if you like, if you if you go about it in the worst fucking ways imaginable. Um, it becomes a fucking mess. So yeah, it's a good thing that you're wanting to avoid that. Yeah, I'm not interested in that. I am interested in eventually uploading videos, but they will have nothing to do with like grooming, predation, stuff like that. Because I don't feel equipped to deal with that, and I don't want to fuck these cases up, so I'd rather not touch them at all, you know? If this yeah. is the Ghost DXE, it's pretty interesting, because this is, this is the guy that voiced me in uh, the Ponder videos. So, it's, um, it's neat. Uh, hopes, hope, uh, hope, hope things have been chilling. It's interesting to see you're back. Yeah, it, you're it's, yeah, it, uh, I, like, look, pedo hunting is cringe. All right, everybody needs to fucking stop. Stop it. Um, so, Ghost, if, if, <laughs> if you are, Holy Majesty, uh, yeah, the, you voiced me in Ponder and Nezzy Monsters videos, um. Uh, Back when I sounded like a squeaker. Yeah. Oh, that is true. So Ghost is a pedophile. I mean, I'm kidding. I'm <laughs> no. I'm kidding. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that was a really bad joke. But uh, no. Um... It, will this new version of Senate all allow, contain all the, hold on. Will this new version of Senate contain all the joke rules that are also enforced, thereby making them real rules? Also, are you aware of how cringe that is? Considering Hidden already said they have uh, no intentions on uh, doing the, the predator hunting, um, you know, then there's probably, that's probably already answered your question. Yeah, well, we will have, they're not called rules of nature, they called a different thing, there will be something similar, but they're not going to be enforced as seriously as well, this they're is. hiding it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, so here's here's the issue, like, you say it's not, like, this just sounds like a, a fucking, it sounds like a cheap Senate clone. Like, it is, I, I've said this, and I've not hidden this, it is, uh, pun intended, um, but I've not hidden it, but it is literally based off the Senate template. And the only reason is that it was pretty easy um, to remake a server with that template. So yeah, there's there's stuff in there that is Senate related. But the difference is, first of all, Lyo has nothing to do with that server. It is literally my server and the server of people that I trust. Um, and oh, second of holy all, shit, five hours. Okay. Finish this up, finish this up, wrap this up, and then I'm getting off here cooking. Okay. And, and... I just have one last question and I'll bail. Sure. Um, why would you create a server intentionally to spite the Senate server whilst remaining in the Senate? Does that not seem like a conflict of interest? Uh, it's not because this server was not made to spite the Senate server. This server was made because I planned to get into commentary and I needed a community server. This server has been planned longer than this entire situation has been going on. So it is not a server to spite Senate. I'm not interested in it spiting Senate. And there's literally multiple announcements at this point where I told people that this is not a server for anti lio or NTA like House of Representatives from Sarah. Uh, it is literally my community like server, and I'm not interested in petty drama between different like fucking servers. Uh, well, I mean, you can understand how it looks that way, given that was linked in conjunction with people leaving over. Yeah, drama. yeah, it's, it is a little odd to say, "Hey, uh, leave Senate and uh, and join Courthouse." I mean, no. yes, I get that. Like, I'm I'm not saying that people are wrong for yeah. assuming this has been made to spite Senate, but this is not the intention of it at all. It just happens to have unlucky timing. And the people that did join, you know, good for them. 
welcome to my home, I suppose. But it is not so I can be like, oh my god, I'm going to like keep this like audience for Lyo until Lyo is back. This is my audience now. And if these people, you know, annoy me or, you know, they do shit that I don't like, then they're going to get booted from my server. Um, because these people deserve a community and they deserve a place where they can hang out and have fun. And if my server happens to be that, good for me. I, I guess I guess the worry is is it's it's just going to end up being Senate two point considering it's comprised of only Senate people. Yeah. I, I mean, and I'm gonna I'm gonna have to say, uh, I I agree with that stance that it's probably gonna end up being that, and and that's the thing with these hug boxes that the art community make. They always move from one thing to the next to the next. That's why they move from peaches to to lie out. And before Peaches, they were in other servers. Uh, Ghost DXC's Cloud9 is one of them that they were very popular in. Uh, he could probably attest to that in chat. Uh, before that Darkness Stone server, they move from server to server to popularity based at that time. And so it, it really does seem like uh, your server is going to be the next hot spot where they sit there and cope and see about whatever. And probably, uh, yet again... Just, just keep telling each other the same things, reg and, and with 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 no challenge whatsoever to it. Kind of like the way Senate has been for a good while now, uh, because Senate presents this idea as though it has challenge to a lot of its ideas, and maybe it does behind the scenes occasionally with admins recently. But me just being in there talking about my like the, the FCK stuff, people were constantly trying to jump down my shit over it. And that was that was in 2023, by the way. Before I got randomly banned out of nowhere, and I have been never given a reason for it. Um, so, and, and other people have, have, have had their shit jumped onto them before for, for daring to disagree with Senate. I've seen people in Senate lie to other people trying to figure out what's going on in this situation. So, I, I get that you're doing this for your own audience, but at the same time, if it's comprised of people from Senate, I see it just becoming a Senate 2.0. Even I if that's mean, not your intent. Yeah, absolutely. Like, I'm not going to fault you for these kinds of assumptions. The only thing I can do with that is prove you wrong eventually. Um, but that will take time. The server has not been out for almost 12 hours. So it's it's not like I have immediate change that I can show you. Um, I'm not going to stay here and be like, oh my god, you can't fucking, you know, sit here and criticize my server. Like, no, you, you are allowed to have your assumptions about this. Um, and, you know, I'm currently not a content creator yet. And even if I come to be a content creator, the next question is, um, you know, how popular will I be? So for me, it's just like, Kumu, if you want to fight with me again, get on call again, please. Like, don't just fight yeah. me on the fucking stream chat. And if you don't want to fight me on call again, then go to How about sleep. this? Place. How about You're this? So tired and grouchy. I... So. Okay, you were enthusiastic because the Kumu and Gilded won't call you on your shit when the pickup on it because they care more about optics than I do. What? what? Yeah, oh. you are younger than me. Then go to bat because you're younger than me. Like, jeez. It's well, hold long on, past hold your on. bat what time. Is, what is his problem? What is what's happening? What is his problem? I don't I don't quite Who, understand his problem. His problem. I don't know what's going on. Oh, he went on earlier about um talking about I don't fucking remember. Oh, he said I'll translate. You are absolutely correct, but I'm chronically online and I want to send a junior half box and refuse to admit that. So I'll continue to pivot. He is oh. correct, but I'll allow him his opinions. I mean, time will tell. Time will tell. That's that's about it. Uh, yeah, so I, uh, that is on the bright side. If it does become a Senate 2.0, uh, more content, new hug box to talk about. Um, so there's that. And to the person asking if I'm going to cover old ones, I will probably talk about Darkness Stone server and perhaps Cloud9. I got a couple of them. I got a couple of uh, HTMLs that people have given me. Someone gave me like an entire like uh, archive of Cloud9. I've got a couple of other ones that I might talk about. And I got way more shit I could talk about with Senate. In fact, I damn it, I wanted to read Soda Pop Barbecue. I really wanted to read Hold a on. lot of their messages. Hold but... on, I do not care more about optics than Kumo does. I don't care about optics at all. Like, what do you want about? Quit doing coke. 
I think I, I, I don't know. I, I have no fucking idea. Um, <laughs> but how about this? I got an idea. When I'm free again, I will set up another stream. I'll let you guys know uh, four or five days, everybody, audience included, four or five days in advance. If you guys want to come back on, have this conversation again, because we're going to talk about Senate again. Because I don't really feel like making a video on Senate. I still can if you guys want me to. But for the most part, I like the idea of showing some stuff on stream. And I've got an entire folder of hilarious shit. Uh, particularly, I, I didn't get to show you all. Um, uh, Soda Pop Barbecue is really hilarious, completely normal. Uh, definitely not bad shit insane uh, comments about how me, Kumo, and Gilded want Peaches dead. That's, that's, a, that's a thing that he, he did. He went on tangents for about two hours in, in the Senate. Uh, that, I, mean, that we, I mean, that our glory and stolen valor. Okay, that we're mad about our glory and our stolen valor. Um, I mean, so I didn't get to that. I wouldn't be that upset about it, but go on. Oh boy, <laughs> I'm just saying. Like, I'm being real here. Like, if she like tripped and fell into a wood chipper, you wouldn't catch me crying. Like, the the, the hot take. I prefer Kumu's take on the ponder than the FCK leaks. I'm I'm listening, but uh, you guys I don't mean, want to view it as spurgy or rude. I don't care as much. Well, of course, I don't want to be I don't want to be spurging out to hidden. I want to have a, uh, a a funny conversation. No, no, actually, okay, hold on. It has nothing to do with me. I was explicitly asked to be nice and threatened to be removed from the call if I wasn't. What? <laughs> oh well, I didn't yeah. say I was going to remove you from the call. I just said yeah. I put you like, backstage. Well, yeah, you said you put. Well, it's the same thing. Um, you're removing me from the conversation. So, like, you can't say like you care about optics because, like, I was literally told that I would be removed from the conversation, even if temporarily, if I was spurging. Like, what what am I supposed to do at that point? That's like saying, "Wow, Gilapu, you care about optics so much," even though, like. You know, you said the word cunt or because you, you didn't say the word cunt when you were asked not to say cunt. You know, it's like, no, I, I, I care about, you know, not being removed from the stream. That's, that's different. Right. Wait, All right. why is Dreamer still going on? I'm, I'm I don't up. know. I, 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 he's crying so hard. He said, "Why don't you tell White me to take White Knight Era?" Oh. Okay, uh, Hidden. Do you know who this dreamer person is? No, I have no idea. Sorry. Um. Yeah, I have no idea. Um. I, I don't know. What well, look, look. I about. gotta wrap this up. Well, I thank you guys for being here. Um. It's it's been fun, and I'll do this again sometime if you guys enjoyed the stream. Uh, but this is this has gone on way too long. Okay, I'm tired. I I gotta yeah. chill. I gotta cook. Isn't that night time? It is. It is actually. It is. I got wrapped up in a lot of a lot of stuff. Um, it, I I have to can only blame myself. But yeah. Um, thanks for coming on, Hidden. Thanks for coming on, Gilded and Kumo and uh, Feggy and Inla. Next one we have, we'll have more people come on. Um, hopefully, these people can return. We'll see. We'll see. But, um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna end the stream. But if you guys want to talk in the uh, stream yard thing stage afterwards uh, go uh, for it I, I have to go to bed same it's literally 3 a.m here all right okay so we're all going to bed great <laughs> yeah. all right talk to you guys another time and uh, hope you guys enjoyed the stream bye Later.